Continental dominance has been achieved. Through sheer force of gas and profanity, Canada submits to a comedic monster like it's never seen before. Jizz and shit jokes from a different location than usual. You guys having a good time or what? Montreal, the Just for Laughs oh Festival. Goodness. Another uh, rousing day. Good, Good morning, everyone. Here, uh, in Montreal. Oh. I, I hope we can keep our energy up. I, I'm can a little keep it up from yesterday. I have to get it. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yesterday we had a lot of energy and a great radio show. Oh my God. I, I know. Uh, I'm a little banged up, and I'm sure you're a little banged up. Just a bit. <laughs> I, uh, we went out for steak out. dinner. Yes. And um, I, I said to myself, you know what, I don't really, I don't think I'm going to drink. Yeah. And then that fucking waiter just kept pouring wine like it was water. Yes, he did. So I'm, uh, it was, uh, so I'm kind of hurting a little bit. It was which pretty is good. For me. I know the, um, I just, I woke up in a panic, looked at the clock, and it was about 6.40. Yeah, really? <laughs> like, I think 20 minutes or so, there's a show to do. And I think I, I'm a part of that. I better, yeah. I better get up and get over there. I don't think I could pull off the sick day. <laughs> Not uh, all the way up here, just call up, yeah, I'm just, oh, I don't know, something I ate. Food poisoning. <laughs> something I ate at the casino at 2 a.m. <laughs> a tequila worm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I took a nice uh, coleslaw shit, though, and I feel way oh. better. Fuck. The, col the coleslaw at that fucking place was awesome. It was really good. And I don't, I mean, who, who eats coleslaw? Right who, who talks about it? But it was so good. It went right through me, though. Yeah. Well, I had some grilled asparagus, so I woke up, took a piss, and was like, ah! What is that? <laughs> it's like fucking potpourri coming out of your, your pecker. It's funny, guys, but I had, a, uh, I had a filet mignon light on the butter. I mean, it was really an enchanting evening. <laughs> <laughs> then we walked home, and, um, well, I almost got arrested for talking to hookers. Ooh. And it wasn't like like when Jimmy talks to hookers. I mean, just... You mean they were actually women? <laughs> <laughs> we walked all the way home from the restaurant, and when you get back to St. Catherine, uh, you know, the whole Just for Laughs festival is happening, and at the end of the uh, Just for Laughs, it gets really fucking seedy. And me, Chris, and... Um, and who else was there? And Billy Mac. Yeah. We decided to talk to some of the horrendous hookers. Not because we were looking for anything. Well, you got to watch what you say. Well, yeah, but then the, a homeless guy came, uh, you know, came around with a hat. So I started taking money out, and there were there were cops around. Oh yeah, it looked like and, you were. And Chris goes, "Man, if he pulls, Billy, you want to talk on Mike?" Yeah, look at Billy Mac. Because Billy could explain it better. And then uh, they're scared if I t if I pull out another dollar, we're going to get arrested because now we're showing cash. Right. Exactly. You're conducting a transaction in their eyes anyway. <laughs> a transaction. So, uh, Chris and I were trying to, like, oh, keep your hands in your pocket, man. Yeah, because I, I like talking to street people, which is fucking a weird little hobby I have. And uh, the, the, they were horrendous looking. They were ugly. And uh, <laughs> they were trying to they were trying to get me and Billy Mac for a two-for-one special, 40 yeah, bucks it was, each. It was, uh, it was about 40 bucks. 40 yeah. bucks each for a two-to-one uh, special. Yeah. All right. Uh, not a hint of a body on them. Uh, no teeth. The one was pregnant. And one was pregnant. Oh, you so you're getting uh, like two for one. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, that was the two for one special. That was the yeah. two for one special. <laughs> the fucking fetus. <laughs> right. Wonderful. I got a, 
<laughs> I go to the one that was pregnant. I go, what's your deal? She goes, I, I need fucking money. I need to pay my fucking bills. For like, sexual Whoa. intercourse. For, yeah. Uh, yeah, she said that, too, for sexual intercourse. And we're having, a, we're having a good time just talking to them. And then all of a sudden we notice there's three cops. They just finished their meal. And they're right outside. I, what was it, like a peep show or something? Uh, yeah, actually, it was More like uh, yeah, one it was of the a peep show, and then all the the best parts of town you guys gone to. Yeah. Huh? It was awesome, and they're, they're telling us it's like the old Forty Second Street. Ooh, and it, and I was asking Billy because you know he's on the job. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, the the cops are are eating, and the and the hookers are right outside where they're eating, and they just allow it to happen. Yeah, well, the, the which one is girl strange was, to me because yeah. in New York they yeah. have shut everything down. Yeah, she was speaking obviously French, and we didn't know what she was saying, so she could have been saying, "Hey, uh, officer, these three guys are like you know, right, right, trying to get hooked uh, up." And, and then it was it, it was, was screwed. It was obvious we had to move on because the cops were looking at us like Greg right. Opie Hughes in locked up a frog. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'd be great. Oh uh, God. And then I was just pulling money out for right. a homeless gentleman. That, that made you nervous, right, Billy? When I started pulling the money out for the well, homeless yeah, guy? Well, yeah, because they don't know what you're going to pay for. You were giving the guy like a couple bucks for his uh, travels over the United States. He was an overland no, truck driver. I think he's a musician or something. Yeah, I, I think, think he's, he's full of shit. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at. I'll bet he had a problem with drugs. Oh, you think so, Jim? I do. Literal Jim. <laughs> but the cops started moving in closer and closer because they're like, all right. There's nothing going on here, but we, you know, you're making us look like assholes. And they were filming a movie too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was an actual so, movie set. Well, yeah, it was a little weird. Yeah. So they weren't uh, actors or anything. They were hmm? real hookers. No. Oh hell no, man. Pregnant and toothless. That's wonderful. Forty dollars. And then some black broad who's saying her daughter is going to be some big YouTube R and B yeah. sensation, but I'm not allowed to say her name because then you know that her mommy's a, a hooker on the side. <laughs> Did, did she, 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 work goes, the, she goes, don't tell my family I, I, I'm down here. They don't know this. Oh, no. But then did she give you a hint by opening an umbrella, Ella? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got her did, name on YouTube, but now yeah. I can't fucking Didn't she play. work in the morgue? Wasn't she a body washer yeah, or she, something? She was trying to tell me that she, one of her jobs, she works in the morgue. And, and I guess the morgue people are racist because she said that uh, for many, many years, they would put, like, white makeup on, on dead black people's uh, faces. What, a, is that I, like a final joke? <laughs> why would they do that? Yeah, why? She wouldn't explain, but she's saying that's why I'm proud that I work at the morgue because I've been able to change some things. What? She's, I, she's, what, what was her change? I don't, right? I don't, that, we didn't understand. But she's, she's on the white face, Sam. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's Al Jolson, Sam. <laughs> she says she cleans out their noses and their mouths, and it was disgusting. So. Boy, you really know who to hang out with. I, absolutely. Jesus. Because then we're walking the festival, and it was just a bunch of fucking boring assholes, right? Yeah, no, it was pretty boring, actually. Yeah, so. <laughs> Wait, were you, where were you? Because they, they used to do the nasty show in a place called Club Soda. Is that where you yes! were? Yes! Right oh! out. The reason we, we stopped yeah. there was because it said Club Soda, so we wanted to take a picture. and then That's we got, my place. Right. And then we saw the girls hanging outside club, so, well, if you could call them, they were horrendous. Yeah, and like, behind the club. Right? Oh, yeah, sure. And then we're like, all right, fuck it, let's go talk to these people. Yeah. I've been in that peep show next door. I know exactly where that is. Yeah, <laughs> of course it's, you have. It's creepy, though. It wasn't even, I, I couldn't even get one off. I, I was, That's really, the one. They have the booth. They yeah, it was booth. awful. It yeah, was awful. Well. Yeah, well, those hookers are terrible. There's a little park right behind it, like a little we, hangout area. We didn't wander. We were right out front, and that was it. We didn't go too far back. I was trying to get them on film, and they, they would not cooperate. That was my whole goal. Now, why aren't you fessing up with who the, the woman was? Which woman? The one with the R&B singer. Well, because she doesn't know her mom's a hooker. I just fucked it up. But How great would that be to tell her? See. But why, why would, like, <laughs> well, I don't know from... I don't know officially if she's a hooker. I mean, she's in that area. She she did tell me, don't tell my family I'm down here. They don't know that. So she was, she was like going to actually adhere to that? I don't know. Yeah, I, sure. I'll take it to the grave. Believe, it's not and have blackface put on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be okay once she finds out. You know? yeah. It's hard for me to adjust, but, you know, you get used to it. <laughs> she's my mother. I'll try to find <laughs> it. Yeah, find out who that is. I was under Fess that. up. Really? Yeah, why not? Oh, man. You could be like the TMZ guy. This is her right here. Who's that? This is her right here. Oh. The mother? No, this is the, the broad. Are you sure the mother's a hooker, or are you just saying she I don't know. To be one? She, she, she's in the area. Okay. She was in the oh. area of hookers. Right. I don't know what she was doing yeah. down there. So, oh, boy, what's this download costing you? <laughs> Should we know her? No. Oh, okay. She's going to be uh, Montreal's next uh, singing sensation. Oh, we'll look forward to that. That's what the mob said. Oh, 
This sucks. <laughs> Terrible. The whole brain well, sucks. I'm just telling you what I did last night. No, I mean that. All right, it's a little monotonous. She's, she wrote it too. Well, you know, she, you know, one of her friends might hear her on the radio and say, you know, you, you know, you you sing, and she'd go, yeah, and they go, well, I got good news and bad. News. Right, right. <laughs> they played your song. You were on the radio on an international <laughs> radio show. Yes, but and that wasn't bleach on your mom's collar. <laughs> <laughs> Her mom was very nice. So. Oh. It was just a weird little, I don't know, I can't, yeah. it was strange. What time did you get back to uh, the not, mothership? Not, not late. No. Like 11, 11.30, somewhere around there? No, that ain't bad. Mm. I didn't see you leave. I, I came in while you guys were at the table. I didn't even yes, see you. Yes, you came uh, in with uh, the lovely and talented Amy Schumer and uh, Tom Papa. Yeah. You dined with them. Tom Papa walks around like he's a, a Hollywood star now. It's it's. I've never you seen that, right? such a mediocre man walk around with such confidence. <laughs> he, he's wearing like Hollywood clothes now, and he's. Uh, you notice that? Yeah, oh, yeah. he's the worst. This dumb Jack. Ever since he did the Liberace role, he's wearing seventy. Every night at the cellar, we've been attacking him physically. Okay. He walks in with these stupid uh, patterned shirts. Like, hey, I can get away with it. He's like, no, you can't. Hey, he's a big star now. Yeah, oh, he's a zilch. <laughs> <laughs> that was. Uh, Great dinner. It was wonderful. And Anthony picked up the uh, the check, which is... Well, you know. You hear I that, just, Gary? I Anthony just, picked up the check. I could just oh, write man. it off. I write that off. That was well, nice. Whatever that means. I'm write getting, it off. I'm getting at something, though. You picked up a, a huge check last night for dinner without even thinking about it. You're probably not even going to even fucking give it to the company. Be a bag of shells. Gary made uh, the staff pay for their sandwiches yesterday. Oh. See, people talk, Gary. Oh, could you get could you get a mic and explain why you made our oh, staff no. pay for sandwiches? How much was it? It must have been they, very expensive well, if you made them pay. Gary, we had an amazing radio show yesterday, and then uh, oh. I guess Gary, I don't know who wants to talk, but a, a lot of individuals talked to me, and uh, Gary uh, brought everyone to lunch, right? We all went to lunch. Oh, I didn't bring everybody. This to is lunch. like testimony. I love it. We all went to lunch. <laughs> Sam, not necessarily. Sam, what do you? What can you add to that? When you say, "I don't know who wants to talk," but individuals came to me, and you're looking at me, and Gary's in the room, uh, it kind of defeats the anonymity. <laughs> <laughs> but you love it, so I don't mind it. Uh, tell me what you know. Well, I mean, I know with the. the <laughs> four of us was there, or six. I think there were six. God. Six people. Jesus. Went to have uh, sandwiches at Schwartz's. Right. Uh -huh. And six people paid for their sandwiches. Uh oh. But they might not have been staff people, though. You, the company's not supposed to pick up just random oh. people's lunch. Like it was me. Your staff. They had a hat. They Troy. Had a, he's staff. Gary, obviously. Gary is, is he's, he's, he's he shouldn't uh, be staff, but he is. Okay. Staff infection. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Roland. Yeah, Roland staff. Uh, who else was there? E-Rock. Oh, wow. That's. Eight sandwiches right there. And, <laughs> and uh, well, Mark Zito. Uh, who? He's a guy. He works outside. Oh, well, he should have paid. <laughs> Zito? Yeah. yeah. But then I guess they had to get indiv individual bills for their sandwiches. Oh. Gary, what are you doing? Gary. How, how, how much could a sandwich be? It was 13, seven bucks. Yeah. 13 bucks. So why wouldn't the company just pick up the lunch? Everybody's getting reimbursed. <laughs> oh. oh. Nope, it's not coming out of anybody's pocket. Oh, but why wouldn't you just go, hey, man, I got all the sandwiches, and I'll figure it out with the guys. When yeah, it was cash only, and I paid for both cabs, so I was out of cash at that point. Oh, good excuse. But, but the company, they, can, write, good excuse. they yeah. can actually write that off, though? Like, yeah, they, they get paid back. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in okay. like, 18 months, yeah. you'll, get, you'll get that money back. It just doesn't look good that the staff has to pay for their sandwiches and hope that they get the money back, what, Hold three on. months later? I'm sorry, oh, pe people in the back seem to think that we have a fucking steel wall here. <laughs> Can, who's, can, can you tell them this is not the war games door? This is a curtain. Who's blabbing? There who's back there? Who's oh. blabbing? Oh. Who's back there? It's your breakfast. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, breakfast. Uh, yes, please continue talking. Yeah, I don't want them spitting in our breakfast. <laughs> Carry on, do whatever you like. <laughs> oh, so he didn't have any cash on hand. Yeah, we went to the ATM. Left. Asked him out. Troy Kwan, anything to add? No, there was an ATM right across the street. Were you kind of bummed you had to pay for your own sandwich? I mean, I'm used to it at this point. It's the principle of it, though, right? Ooh. Yeah, it would have been nice. But even, even if you get it back eventually, it's the principle. You it's, want... so, it's sort of expected at this point. Really? To be treated like shit? 
I was not treated like shit. It was just, you know, it's fine. <laughs> like what it shaking is. up the cage, don't you? I love it. <laughs> well, that was... Um, but we do appreciate Anthony picking up the bill last night. We had a well, great, great steak dinner. Yeah, yeah, it was what, nice. are, what are you going to do? It was good. And then, the, the, like, I hope that the glasses of uh, wine were yeah, going thought, down quite easily. I thought I'd have, like, maybe a glass or two, but that guy kept pouring it. And you picked a good one. Yeah. What nice, was that? A nice oh. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Then I decided uh, it was a great idea after dinner to uh, to go to the casino. Well, it wasn't that late. What time was it when I saw you leave? What time was it? About midnight. Almost yeah. midnight. Holy yeah. fuck. You left at midnight to go to the casino? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. I wanted to play some cards. <laughs> How did that work out? Well, <laughs> great. Yeah. And then bad. Ooh. Per use. Yeah. Uh, and uh, whoever says they don't serve drinks at the tables was full of shit. Well, they just kept bringing the captains and cokes. Our listeners are full of shit. They, they, give us, they give us wrong information all the time. Yeah, here's the phone call. It's like, oh, you know, they don't uh, serve drinks at the tables. And then the next guy calls, the last call was full of shit. That's every call we ever get on any subject. Apparently, everybody is full of shit. So uh, went to the uh, went to the casino. Uh, we, we sat down. Yeah. Keith, the cop, of course, uh, joining me to take the abuse of every loss that I have. And um, I started out with... Uh, with uh, two G's. Nice. I figured two G's is a good starting point. Two Canadian G's or two uh, American yeah, G's? The exchange is pretty even. It was even? And and I guess American money is just a little more than, than Canadian money at this point. Mm. So uh, if you make change at the table, they just do it at the Canadian rate. So they win right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> they win immediately. Mm. Um, so I, I, I was working it. I was working that two grand. And, uh, you know, I'm betting like... First, just betting. It was a $50 minimum table, so I'm betting some 50s, and you kind of getting the stack up a little, and then I just start betting some hundreds. And then, uh, wow, hit a couple of real good ones. So I get them them uh, chips. In the U.S., they're called pumpkins, the thousands. Mm. But here, they're white chips. I don't know what's that. Chips. <laughs> chips. <laughs> it's too early for that, please. <laughs> I beg you. <laughs> Started betting those. Yeah. I got the stack up to $12,000. Whoa. Walk away. Who said walk away? Strangle him. Uh, that would have been a good idea. Of course, the judgment was a bit clouded from the wine and Captain and Cokes that they don't bring you at the table that they brought me every fucking five minutes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, why leave with twelve grand when you could leave with twenty-four grand? Whoa. Well, I didn't either. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the stack start going down and dwindling, and uh, instead of walking away, I just you know, kept betting into the loss. And uh, I left with, um, with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Including lost, the original two? I lost the original two. Oh, also. fuck. God, if we just knew how to walk away. It would just just walk away. I know. I uh, I, I don't know why. I, I guess because it was, you know, it was still relatively early, 3 a.m. And you were saying, by the way, I don't know why. I think I have an idea. Oh. Because you have a problem. <laughs> 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 yeah. But it was, I told Keith it was just a reconnaissance mission. Right. To just see the lay of the land over there, what that casino is about. And then uh, we'll go in really hot and heavy on uh, Saturday, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always want to go in there and just take a, you know, $14,000 look around. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real money until you cash out. So I never look at it that way. I looked at it as the original 2000 Okay. So, you know, if I would have built it up to 50000 I wouldn't have cared that it I don't know oh, shit. Yeah, of course <laughs> I cared. Jesus Christ. Your reasoning. $1,000. Your reasoning in your own head there. 
Yeah, I like doing uh, that the rationalization, as they call it. I guess the theme of the night was walk away. I, I walked away from, um, you know, the, the hookers, and you walked mm. away. Well, almost walked away, I guess. No, right? I didn't walk yeah. away in time. I know. But, Jimmy, what uh, about you? I just, uh, I, I, went, I had a set to do, so I, I, that's why I couldn't join you guys for dinner, because I was getting there later. So um, I went with Amy and Tom, uh, Papa, and then Bobby Kelly met us after his set. So Jeffrey Ross in the restaurant also. I, at the end, I saw Jeff, yeah, yeah before yeah. we left. Um, and, uh, you know, we just, it was very uneventful at our table. We just laughed. We talked about Collins. Uh, uh, Keno, oh, Collins keynotes. Keynotes. He's coming in a little later. Yeah, it was right. amazing. Yeah, was I it went. good? Yeah. yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was great. I went. And yeah. uh, I was napping. Oh. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh. Quinn. Come Whoa. out here. Please. I love, I love, I love my coffee. <laughs> that was almost like magic. I mentioned Colin, and there he was. Oh, great. Why didn't I mention a girl with big tits? <laughs> <laughs> Colin Quinn, everyone. Uh, look, E Rock didn't want to come yes. out during that. <laughs> Colin Quinn. Sit down, Colin. <laughs> Take a seat, Carl. Good morning. Wonderful. Good morning, guys. Hi, Carl. How are you, Thank sir? Thank God you mentioned me. Yes. Your awful staff just had me sitting back there for like 20 minutes surrounded oh. by fucking Tim Hortons that you people were supposed to get that you're not going to get, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy bought donuts yesterday, Colin. What? He bought donuts for the crowd yesterday. Yeah. Did Jimmy? I yeah. did, yes. What a sport. <laughs> it was great. It was Very a nice. real moment to bonding with the crowd. I knew a guy that uh, he got thrown against the plate glass window by Tim Horton. The Tim Horton. He punched Tim Horton's father, and then Tim Horton came over and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> that little bit of trivia. I love that little bit of trivia. <laughs> it's, the, uh, it's the unknown Larry Gretzky. <laughs> I guess it was wow. Wayne yeah. was famous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Colin, we got to say it. The keynote was great. Thanks. I loved it. Did you work hard on it? Did you toil? I did, but I got very little done. I, you know... I feel like the other guys doing the keynote came in from L.A., so they had all those eight hours on the plane. Right. I, unfortunately, was on the plane with you guys and uh, yeah. sitting next to Amy, and a certain gentleman was blowing gas or the whole <laughs> How <laughs> terrible was Jimmy on that fucking plane? <laughs> that oh. was awful. Oh, it was brutal. It was delightful. I was flight so... attendant hated our guts. You think she Jimmy's noticed? Yes. yes. <laughs> Everyone noticed. <laughs> And I don't know why we answer his questions, because he loves oh, this. It was so ugly. He gets so proud. Amy, so happy. Amy almost threw up. I know. Yeah. If I would have got Amy Schumer to fucking vomit on herself in the plane, <laughs> I would have just got back on a plane and come right home. Mission nothing, accomplished. Nothing tops that. Yeah. <laughs> the farts are brutal. Holy <laughs> fuck. So, yeah, the, the speech was really good. It was... Uh, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. What is it? It's like the keynote. It's, it's just about comedy, or is it more two comics, or is it about the festival? Because you spoke a lot about uh, about you know comics and what we should be doing right and what the business oh, is not doing right. Right. It's great. I don't know. I just saw they did it the past couple of years. They don't really tell me what the hell it was about. You know. Just you just figured you'd. Uh, you know. I figured I'd really do what you want to do. Yeah. You, you mentioned some direction. Fuck them. You mentioned something in your keynote, and I wish you would have expanded on it. Oh. What part were you up for in in um, Austin Powers? I was up for the sun in Austin Powers. Oh. I know. I seem, a, I seem a little long in the tooth for it. But <laughs> <laughs> I really stopped them on that one. They're like, oh. <laughs> no, because that was interesting. During your speech, you were, you were talking yeah. about how Mike Myers called you. You had this part. Mike but Myers you were working on me. your stuff. I was working on my stuff. It was a combination of arrogance and fear. And, and it was like, oh no. I just kept talking. <laughs> and it was hard <sighs> to believe. Oh. And so then... Uh, <laughs> I just was like, yeah, man, I'm doing my own my own movie. You know, I had this script I was writing, <laughs> but his movie was like a go movie, like a big. Oh. I mean, it was there was nothing about. I gave like eight reasons why I didn't want to do it, and he gave me eight reasons why that was cleared and it was no problem. Yeah, I, but you didn't want to go in an audition. I understand that. No, I didn't have to audition. He gave me the part. Oh <laughs> my god! He gave him the part. <laughs> no, dude, it was based on the part I. Had, the only thing I had done, I wasn't like some actor, but it's like. He's like, yeah, I saw you do this Larry Sanders thing. Just do that. What you did there, just do that. And why, why didn't you? Uh, I think I was like, I, th I think it was a combination. I, I was scared. And I, was, I had this whole idea in my head. I was going to get my movies made. Right. That never happened. Yeah, I oh. found that it interesting. Arrogant. We were talking about that yesterday. Yes, it was arrogant. Terribly arrogant. But not as arrogant. I but, mean, that was a little bit of fear. I'll say the Crocodile Dundee thing is a lot more arrogant. Oh, and writing. That was 10 years before. Right, writing, rewriting the whole Rewriting script. the script. <laughs> rewriting one line. I have one line in the script. Reading the script. Just being like, this is not New York, man. 
And then rewriting it. And I was like, put the worst screenwriter of all time at the time. My poor girlfriend had to type it up. And then I go, she's probably thinking, why am I dating this ass? <laughs> you know, she's not even in the business, but she's like, oh, what am I doing? Oh, and you actually turned it in to but somebody. But they say, this, I think it's important to remember, they say if you act like, you know, like a success like that, you'll be successful. Oh, boy. But in these cases, it didn't work for me. No. <laughs> Unlike Tom Papa parading around in his multicolored shirts. You know what Rashi wear. Everyone's noticing Tom Papa's dressing. No, wait, I just wait. heard you guys. On oh, okay, okay, okay. I said it's 7.05, not, yeah. and these bastards are trashing poor Tom. <laughs> and he's not even Probably here. on here for three hours yesterday yes, doing he was. his best. <laughs> <laughs> that is a shitty thing to do. Yeah. Oh, we love him, though. I don't uh, like the pomposity of Tom's outfits. No, it's true. <laughs> that really irritates That's me. how we show love. We Tom's love the guy. Oh, he's a fool. But in all fairness, you know, no one knew the Austin Powers movies were going to be as huge as they yeah. became. No, it really does kill me when I think about those three, those three in a row. At what point did you like when you did that? Like, how far into it did you realize, like, oh fuck? Like, 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 how long was the movie out before you're like, oh, boy. no? Like years, years later, I was like, fuck it, man. You know, I didn't give a shit. I was like, I'm gonna get mine done. Once I couldn't get any of my, because if I had done those movies, I probably could have got my things done. That's how it works. You have to be in those things, and then you know they're like, okay, now we'll do your thing. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, right. But I made Seth Green's career. I mean, that's got to be worth something. Oh man! Wow. Yeah, I'm, that was a, that was a, a a really good story yesterday. Thanks. Oh, that's you know that. magic. I, I no, knew the story. I, it was, uh, but I didn't know all the. I didn't know you, the fear was the surprise. You're right. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, I didn't want to admit my gutless spinelessness. <laughs> if you're going to give the keynote speech, I have to be honest. I like that you opened up, Colin. I, I really enjoyed that. So. Oh boy. Were you nervous giving the speech? No, only at the beginning when stupid Todd Barry. I thought I didn't know. I thought Todd it was, Glass. Todd Glass. When uh, yeah, <laughs> when he said he yelled out "fuck Andy Kim," I was like, oh, "fuck you!" I didn't know who it was, and I'm just furious. I'm idiot. Oh, heckling. Yeah. Heckling oh, that was Todd Glass. Yeah, it was Todd oh, Glass. Okay. I don't heckle a keynote speech. But he yeah. was—he wasn't heckling Colin to fuck him up. He was like trying to agree with Colin. Like, yeah, I felt like you know. I know. To... He was trying, no, he was trying to like do a. I don't know. He explained it to me last night. He was very stoned. He was like, <laughs> I was doing like the guy that doesn't get the point, and I was like, right, but except I didn't know it was you. And, you know. <laughs> what an asshole. Was he mad? Was that? Was he mad? I was mad. I know, but I'm also asking if he was. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I know, Fuck, but. What will we be mad about? You should be apologizing. You handled it perfectly. You should be on bended knee. You were fine. Why are you mad yeah. at me? I was just wondering if he was mad. Well, I don't understand why you would even give him the uh, leeway to uh, to allow him to be mad. He has no right. But I'm not saying he would have been right to be mad. I'm just saying why. <laughs> Sometimes people act irrationally. Well, but couldn't you have said, well, uh, you know, although it would have been wrong, wasn't he, was he mad? Well, I didn't need to preface it with that. We all knew it was wrong. Are we ever going to go to strip clubs? I what hope so. Here? Let's go tonight. I think tonight. We decided Don't you guys have like was, a midnight show tonight? Tonight yeah. was oh, sex yeah. night or something. Yeah, right? it, uh, so when's it we're going to strip club show. at fucking 5 in the morning? I like a good 7 p.m. strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I like a nice post-dinner strip club. Where it's still light outside. Where it's still light yeah. outside. You go <laughs> the early them. customers. Yeah, one of the early customers. You get the girls when they first come in. They're oh. fresh. They're in a good mood. They're yeah. fresh. They're the day strippers. We've like talked about it. You walk in during the day and your eyes haven't adjusted. And you're just banging into things. <laughs> you can't, can't tell where the seats are. Yeah, you, and then when you leave and it's still light out, it's even more tragic. Uh, you feel you're just shitty about yourself. Sound like you're right. a vampire. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done that, but. <laughs> I like to be headed home by 7:45 p.m. I think yeah. that's not. Yeah, it's early, nice, early to rise. Nice 45 uh -huh. minutes in the strip club for right? a nice dinner, right? Yeah, you have a little dinner. Buffet. Sure. This. I used to know a girl who worked in a strip, what the hell was it called, in Port Washington. <laughs> Port Washington, ago. of course, on a Long Island. <laughs> Port it was run by these, like, terrorizing bikers. I didn't even know they were they like, all bikers on Long Island at that time, you know. Pagans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The pagans run all the strip clubs. Yeah. Don't touch the girls. Yeah. They used to back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How yeah. bad was the place? It wasn't that bad. Oh, it wasn't bad. But all it was right. like, I didn't know at the time that these guys ran the club, and I'm, like, talking, like, as if I'm in charge once again. I think the uh, pattern in my life is delusions of grandeur <laughs> in every situation. <laughs> and this guy just comes up, this big guy, like a denim jacket, like 1978, and just grabs my arm. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, meanwhile, he's like twice my size. He could have destroyed me. And she goes, he's in the pagans. Oh. Why did he grab you? Because I was like yapping off to her or something. Oh. Yeah, you're probably mouthing off to the girls. Yeah. Don't talk to them. <laughs> Let them do their work.
<laughs> what did you not want to think only for a dance? Comedian. No, I was I was I was a real free spirit sport. But you know, only comedians have to yap every two seconds. You have to uh, yap at all situations. I used to love those Long Island strip clubs, though. Yeah. They tried turning everything into a gentleman's club. Right. You, know, you used to have to go to the that city the... and sit there, and that was the twenty dollar lap dances and shit like that. But on Long Island, it was all about down and dirty, man. A couple of dollars in your pocket, you could give a girl a buck. She'll fucking writhe in front of you for a while and then move on to the next guy. No, it was like that in the city, too. It was, was like it? that until, like, 19... The Gentleman's Club came because of your people, the, the Italian mob. <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> My the, the bikers are like, hey, man, just bring out the girls, see some dudes. But then these Gabons get involved. Hey. And they're like, a gentleman. People enjoy because they enjoy being a gentleman. Italians, you know. <laughs> right, like, right, yes. right. They like the suit. Hey. And then they get the massage. <laughs> this is, <laughs> they we're going to open a classy <laughs> joint. <laughs> like, their whole thing is to try to be like Wall Street. Like, they wanted to assimilate the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the way the Irish actually did, where they'll be like the new wasps. But they just couldn't pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> so instead, they're like the outer things, like, yes, I have a suit. They have a couple of guys on Wall Street beating the balls off of brokers. <laughs> and then they always give out envelopes for everything, like, this is an envelope. Is an envelope. Gone. <laughs> that fixes everything. An envelope full of cash, full of ill-gotten gains. <laughs> yeah, here you go, huh? Hey, I appreciate what you did for me. An envelope full of ill-gotten gains. <laughs> yes, yes. And then they decided to fuck the whole strip club thing up. Yes. By making gentlemen club. That's correct. And uh, you, you gotta go in there, and and you know all you want is to see some fucking girl shaking her ass in front of you right. for some expensive uh, overpriced it beer. Too. Five yeah. star meals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You have to dress properly. Yeah, right. No hats. What? The yeah. Fuck is yeah. that about? You have to buy, or you want to buy the lady a drink? Right. No. no. Fuck her. Let her be thirsty. Right. How about <laughs> yeah. I, I want to buy the lady some cum? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let her be the whore she is. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, sorry. A yeah. lady's drink was expensive. <laughs> that was a little too harsh. <laughs> yeah, the ladies. <laughs> Jesus, sorry. And it was it was very odd. You could get away with not even giving the girl any money in the strip clubs because you'd have the bar, you'd have everybody sitting at the bar, and the girl would be dancing like two feet away from you because she's dancing in front of the guy sitting on the next bar stool. And there's no wall up. So you're just looking, going, yeah, and then she'd cut to you, you put your head down, she moves along. Right. And you, you get to see some, you know, no. some shit. Now they put up walls and all sorts of shit. You want to go in the back for a... No. <laughs> no. You want to go, yeah. We, we have the, the diamond room. Is over. The diamond room used to be the fucking but, bathroom in this shithole. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about? But it's a good psychological thing because they go, you want to go in the back and every guy, doesn't matter what kind of oh. misery you are, like, once she gets back there, she'll end up wanting to do something with a guy like She's me. She's going to dig me. I'm a gentleman. It's yeah, the worst when you sure. go in and you see there's a couch with a bunch of other people, like a private. It's not the ultimate private room. It's there's a, a bunch of people. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I can't Nothing come like this. Here. Yeah, I would always try to sneak one in during the lap dance. Like if the ass cheeks are on my dick and it's going tuk, 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 back and forth evenly, I'm like, I might be able to, to blow a load. And uh, <laughs> I have a couple of times. I've won a couple yeah, of times. Yeah. yeah. It's the greatest feeling. I love that you're trying to sneak one in. Oh, yeah. I love, I love that. that. And I love the uh, the audio. Tuk 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 tuk. Well, I'm yeah, trying. Yeah. To, what the hell's going on out there? I'm, I'm trying to. That's to, his penis head. <laughs> no, no, that's the motion of her. Yeah, it kind of is actually. Her ass cheeks over the. Right, dick. that's what I mean. Yes. <laughs> It's moving over your penis head. It's, yeah, it's a very, very uh, yeah. a steady motion. You need a Foley worker here to fucking <laughs> make the sounds. Yeah, and, and, but then you know, one time uh, a fire broke out. <laughs> <laughs> Radio the way it's meant to be. Yes, yes. yes. Kyle, what did you do last night? Anything else? Yeah, I had to go do my show, and then I had to go do a gala, and then I had to go do... Holy shit. Was, did you do Big J's? It was a full night. Well, how do you like this? One minute, I'm doing my show, the lovely Unconstitutional. I'm feeling so good. Oh, yeah. Then I go over to the big gala, Eddie Issa. It's like, how many thousands of people? I got to go do that. Right after that, I have to rush off to the Titty District and do Big J's show. I go in. I come in. He's on stage in jorts, like a true jerk <laughs> that he is. Jorts. Yes. He's wearing jorts, and he's like, Wham. and it's like a, it's like a crowd work. I spent the whole time trashing him because... It's a crowd work show. You're not allowed to do material. You just work the crowd. Wow. He opens up, working the crowd, all the people up front. By the time I got, 
Hey, and he's like, you know, he really is generous. He leaves a lot for you. Hey, what do you do? Why don't you go suck your 40 guys off, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Fucking That's go blow him. Work. It was nothing left by the time I got there. I'm like, oh, thanks, Jay. Oh, wow. Oh, he just That's destroyed the whole Except fucking Except to trash crap. Jay, which, of course, there was plenty of that yes. left. <laughs> you're, you're doing unconstitutional every night up here? Yeah. That's oh, pretty good. Man. I hope these people, these locals, go and see Colin Quinn's one-man show. It's amazing. It really you, is. Thanks. Is it odd, though, that it's a whole different country? What's that? It's a different country. So unconstitutional is like, hey, here's how things worked in our country. Right, right. It's yeah. a little strange. You've got to change it up a little bit, right? No, yeah. you can't really change it, but Wear a powdered wig or something. Powdered wig. Talk about the Magna Carta. <laughs> right. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, I really am a crushing bore. <laughs> no. I'm only going to get more bore as I get older, too. Oh, uh, you next think? Show. I like to do a show about electronics. I bet you'd like to do that, Anthony. I love a good electronics show. Wouldn't that yeah, be good? I can see the headlines. Colin's show is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> you working on another show? No. That's your thing now. You got to work on more one man shows. No, man. You're done. Yeah. That's it. Two and done. And you know who came in last night? Huh. Just to show the kind of clout I have in this society, <laughs> Lawrence Fishburne. Wow. Came in, and then we're walking over to the gala together. I'm walking in the gala. People are supposed to see, like, hey, Mr. Quinn. Like, hi, Mr. Quinn. Oh, and they're, like, shoving me aside uh, on the show. Nobody cared. Fucking Morpheus, man. Fishburne. Of course. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Do exciting. you know him, or right. did he just decide to come see you? Yeah, no, he grew up around the corner from me. Oh, so you know him. Really? I know him since, like, nine. No way. Wow. Come yeah. on. So you knew when he was in Apocalypse Now? I, I Actually, we were talking about that last night. I was on the bus. He had moved. But we were, we were on the bus one, like, uh, you know, just a city bus. And he was yellow. I, you know. I, and he starts telling me, yeah, I'm in this movie with Marlon Brando. And I was sitting on the bus going, yeah, Lawrence Fishburne cracked up. He lost his mind. Oh, really? I thought he was crazy. But he really he did. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Colin Quinn was off at the part of uh, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Uh, uh, yes, and Robert Kelly was off at the part of Colonel Kurtz. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, he was saying he came in here yesterday. He's brutal. One hour of sleep. <laughs> one of his eyes was all infected. Because, dude, they come in right away. They're like that. <laughs> he said he just got brutally hammered. Uh, like he oh. passed it on to DeRosa, though. Yeah, no, he was killing yesterday. Everyone. Were you on the podcast? You were on his podcast, or did he tell you what I did to his fuck in his room? No. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> he showed happened? a picture of a... Uh, Defecatory uh, moment you had in the room. Oh, did he? I, I had to take a shit, so oh. I told Bobby I got to use your toilet, and because uh, he's staying here at the height. Of course, I'm not. Yeah, um, and uh, I went up, and I was so proud of myself because he left me alone in the room. So I dropped a horrible deuce and then just left it. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and I put the do not disturb sign on the door just so the maid wouldn't come in and spoil it by flushing and cleaning. <laughs> and I, I left the fucking thing up, and I couldn't have been prouder. Wow. <laughs> but I, was, I, I, I really was disappointed in myself because I'm, as I'm doing it, I'm like, if I had one ounce of moral fortitude, I would shit in this tub. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> If I had one ounce of balls, <laughs> what stopped you from doing that? Because that... he has to be up here for a few days, and it's like, I, you know, him fishing my shit out of the tub. He might have just, uh, <laughs> it oh, might have been too much. Would have put yeah. him over the top. If it was his last night here, I would have shat in his tub. I just couldn't <laughs> pull the trigger. Yeah. It might have been like a sit-down moment. It was like, dude, I mean, we joke around, but see. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I gotta put my feet in there. Dude, you know? oh, what he God. said, the saddest part of that story, he was told that he told that on a podcast that yesterday was that he actually you used some ruse that he fell for. No, he was like, you were like, hey man, I have to go up to you, but you have to come with me or something. Like you had. To... There was no ruse. I, I wanted Bobby to come with me because keys demagnetize all the time. So I'm like, just come up with me in case I can't right, get in the room. Right. Kind of shit. I don't want to be up there with your key standing outside your room. Like if you know, if you couldn't get in. Maybe he can get a maid to let us in. So that was no ruse. I didn't know he was going to leave. He was, we we're getting the seats for your show. And uh, he's like, oh, I'll go down and save us a couple of seats. And I just decided, like, why waste it? It's here. Right. Why get rid of it without Bobby enjoying it, too? <laughs> it was about being giving. And I'm like, yes. But I wasn't a ruse. I didn't plan on doing it until uh, he left me alone. You should have left it in the tub. Uh, dude, without it, 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 it will go down <laughs> as nice, one of my great regrets. A nice bubble bath. <laughs> Make it a bubble bath with one fucking log that's just floating around. Oh, being to, for just for him to pull his curtain back and see my fucking festering yeah. log. <laughs> it's not too late. I, I think we could get this done. So. <laughs> that's I, what a fucking animal does. Yeah. Like marking the territory. Right. That's so. Yeah, but animals don't yeah. hide behind the tree and then laugh when the other animal stu <laughs> well, that's true. stumbles upon it. <laughs>
<laughs> they can't enjoy it like yeah, you Yeah, they do. can't. Yeah. They mean it. Oh, it's sickening. Wow. I feel like I wouldn't be so sick if there wasn't toilet paper involved. You know, if it was just like natural shit like animals, yeah. it wouldn't be that bad. But that well, toilet I, I, paper really. The toilet paper really ruins the whole thing. <laughs> it takes the natural out of it. Yeah. When I put the toilet paper on the side of the bowl. You have to, for anyone young who wants to try this, you put it <laughs> around, oh, uh, around above the water to, to, to ah! present properly. You don't want to spoil your work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just use it to frame it, not to hide it. Yeah, you don't, ha you don't hang something in the museum and then throw a cloth on it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Jimmy. Uh, it's all about implying, the presentation. <laughs> implying his shit is art. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, that's great. Yeah. Ah, Roland! Oh, wonderful. Just want to say hi. Oh, Roland's there, yeah. That was good. He, he was fun at uh, dinner last he's, night. He's, so, he quite, the, quite a few laughs at the table. <laughs> he's the, Sam Roberts. Roland is the best to travel with. He's yeah. out of his fucking mind, yeah. He was a lot of fun. We were, we were, we were laughing at uh, different um, things we were going to be doing here. I guess tonight was, was going to be sex night. Sex night? What do you mean, was? What do you well, mean? Well, no, no, I mean, we have it a show. is. You have a show tonight, a midnight special. That doesn't matter. We're sure. in, we're hey, out. This could be a good name for it, the Midnight Special. Ooh, oh, that's a good hey, one. Like Jot it. that down. Yeah, late and naughty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, going on first. I'm claiming first right now. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to wait for everybody claiming. else to claiming. Fucking you're not to tell, material. You're not supposed to tell people you're part of the surprise show. Oh. oh whoops. If you were, you'd want to go on first. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Has anyone done done any uh, recon as far as strip clubs go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a place called the Pink Taco. Is that a, is that a strip club? <laughs> I'm assuming it's a strip club. Well, that's these guys. Uh -huh. Where should we go? Wanda's. Wanda's. Oh, everyone's saying Wanda's. Wanda's, huh? Go to that guy. Is that good? What's up at Wanda's? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing good pussy or something. I'm like guessing. That. And good right. steak too. But I'm, oh. I'm almost married, so I've been a long time. Uh, I don't like a place that serves food good, and pussy. No, that's a gentleman's club thing. Again. That's a gentleman's club. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have some food for the people, the patrons, <laughs> when they come in. Our clientele. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here you go. All right, Wanda's. Write it down. Yeah. Well, is there a place a little below Wanda's? Like some place where they might be making meth in the back. <laughs> yeah, what's the next step down from Wanda's? Because you want desperation. You don't want girls that are making a thousand dollars a night because they're the oh. fucking worst. I want a girl who might that make thirty or forty dollars, <laughs> but, but needs a thousand. Needs it. I want. Oh, so, you're, oh, yeah. so your twenty looks like a. Oh, it looks like a thousand. I want my crisp U.S. twenty to look like a fucking like a beacon in the night. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Wanda's, huh? I went to a dump. I shot a pilot for MTV right before we came back on. This is like the end of 2000, maybe 2004. And uh, it was a terrible pilot where I was like a camp counselor and there was a fucking, I mean, there was a little, that was the Mikey the Chimp. That was the, th the pilot I did with the Chimp. Oh, this doesn't sound terrible. Adorable. No, no, no. It was, it was yeah. really good. They figured BJ and the Bear worked so well <laughs> that they would bring the Chimp and fucking Guy thing back. I, I understood the connection. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I really did fucking leave that one hanging there. I caught a hanger. So, it, but the, the was, chimp, and then you, and who plays modern man in that? <laughs> <laughs> One third actor. It was, uh, it was, um, it was not a good pilot. But I went to a strip club after, and uh, oh, it was actually right before we came back on. So I knew we were coming back. Take the chimp on. with you. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> then he ripped the clit off a woman and threw it, and because <laughs> she smiled at it, not knowing the teeth were a sign of aggression. <laughs> And uh, it was really great. They were all broke. It was upstate New York. And oh. I probably spent, I think it's the only time I've ever left this strip club broke because I got lap dances. But they were all real fucking dirtbag girls. Can you describe the sound? Um, <laughs> shunk, 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 shunk. Yeah, it was oh, like. And then the horse came. <laughs> <laughs> and then so did I. <laughs> It was uh, it was the only time I ever left a strip club broke because they were all so fucking desperate and dirty and every it was total nudity, like you know what I mean. You'd hand her like a few bucks at the bar and she would just pop the phone aside and let it flop. It was a fucking marvelous oh. place. <laughs> they all Sounds wave great. goodbye as she leaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was heartbreaking. <laughs> it's the whole story. I like it. Yeah, me too. It's a good story. Yeah, Thank so you. we're gonna we're gonna do that uh, tonight, I guess. I don't know before or after the fucking. That midnight thing is really fucking us up. The midnight thing was a, a horrible idea. I remember when I first heard it. I was yeah. like, really, guys? You're doing the fucking midnight show? Yeah. yeah. We don't have to do that, right? Yeah, you do. You can't get out of it now. Fuck. Oh, Christ. What do we have to do? What's our Nothing. fucking? We just say, hey. You guys probably shell out about eight grand to get us all out of it if you really want to. Yeah. Huh? 
We, yeah, we yeah. just have to go, hey, here's Colin Quinn. We don't Where's have to sit up be? for every comic. That's all we have to do. Yeah. Is it a Tim Hortons? <laughs> where, where is our show tonight? Does anybody know? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> anybody in the staff know where our show is? What? The, 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 that's the middle of the strip place. That's where it was last night, right? St. Catherine's Theater. Is, uh, is that uh, how far from Club Soda? At Metro Metropolis. This cocksucker is ignoring my perfect map quest directions and going right over my oh, head. Right wait, there. what did you say? You said I told is. you that's what Big J shows in the middle oh, of the strip club, club okay. district. All right. How mm -hmm. dare you dismiss me? Mm -hmm. Out of hand. No, I'll just go out and get. We can do it, do it during the Shut show. Up. That's enough. what I'm saying. Good point. You can't do it during the show. <laughs> Why not? What kind of ridiculous thing is that? You're gonna go to get a lap dance and get back to the show? Yeah, that's sure. nice. That's probably that's absurd. Yeah, that's I good. fucked a girl over the toilet at WNEW and made it back on the air. Ooh. Yeah, during the I like commercials. To hear that story. Yeah, during the commercials, he did. A girl that took. How about a, the time once a face came on and goes, "Hey, Opie, you want to blow up?" Oh, uh, Sandy, Sandy Kane. <laughs> oh, and I said, God. "No." It was my happiest moment because it was somebody with self-esteem. <laughs> right. Where she literally said in front of all of us, "Hope he's walking by the bathroom break." She goes, "Hey, Opie, you want a blow job?" And he goes, "Ugh, no." Like, <laughs> and that would devastate most ninety. You know, yeah, well, you sex. And she goes. What are you, gay? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, apparently if you don't take a blowjob from her, oh, that, from a fucking 90-year-old woman. A witch. Oh, great. Now she's going to sue us again. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Thanks for bringing her up. Yeah, she tried to sue us. Last and, uh, year, this time, we had to go to court three times. Three she times, was, she, was, she didn't show. <laughs> she, was, she was playing us, Colin. <laughs> she knew she had no case, but she knew she could fuck with us. She knows the system. Yeah. So we kept going down there, and she didn't show up. And instead of, like, you know, throwing the case out, they're like, well, we're going to redo this in a month. She got us three times to go down there. <laughs> three good. times. And each time, I started laughing. I'm like, all right, that's pretty good. I, 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 I wasn't mad. That's each fun. time walking back from the court, uh, I went through Times Square, and there she was. Right. She was supposed oh. to have been in court, and there she was with her fucking E.T. body and cowboy hat. <laughs> fucking, you guys know her? Horrifying the tourists. Yeah. The, her pictures are going everywhere now. She's horrifying. She's becoming a, oh, she's an terrible. internet sensation. She is? Why? Because she's know. a monster with a guitar. <laughs> right. So people are, her pictures <laughs> is, is uh, popping up everywhere. But she, she just, played us, yeah. Carl. That's and I'm hilarious. like, all right, that's all right. I can't be mad at that. Oh, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Fuck no, but Jimmy, uh, yeah, he took a broad into the bathroom. A girl that drove how many hours? Ten you? hours from Ten Cleveland. Ten hours from she took Cleveland. A bus. She took a bus. A local. She took yeah. a local from Cleveland. Yeah. And then Ten hours. In between uh, breaks, he went in the bathroom. We well, had I told you about... <laughs> I tell you about the time Jim had uh, during his phase when some girl would show up like this girl from, I guess a bit like a Craigslist, Craigslist runaway or something, and then we're driving her back to the, <laughs> driving her back as you do with a young lady, if, to, back to Penn Station, and uh, Jim's driving and I made some crack and she goes, "What do you want to have sex with me for two hundred and fifty dollars or something?" Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Ah, what a gimmick! <laughs> I, I guess remember they that. figure that wouldn't, you know, count if it's a cop. Well, she was basically saying, like, instead, yes. you know, like, the theory, you know, what do you want to have sex with me for a million dollars? But she actually had her. Had an amount. Yeah, she had an amount that's been yeah. previously negotiated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't think I ever fucked that girl. I know who you mean. I don't remember her name, but I remember her. I don't think no, I ever fucked her. She's a delightful person. She was. I, she was beautiful, but I didn't fuck her. I, I'm going to talk to the woman that has never heard us before and she's here she must be horrified Sad. oh my goodness she must be horrified i never heard there's a woman that never heard the show what but miss did you just get ears today <laughs> hi what's your name hi it's a katarina hi katarina, katarina. are you horrified I, I just need to know because these no, guys not are, at all I think okay it's hilarious. okay because oh, these guys are used to it but i, I, I you yeah. know someone that has never heard us before and is listening to this no not at all okay. yeah what made you come today who brought you uh my friend alex he's a really big fan alex and alex Thank you what what, what happened, Alex? You said, uh, I kind of want to bring you someplace to possibly end our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to come with a friend of mine. He bailed, so I called her, and she's like, yeah, I'm totally down, so she came with me. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. Why wouldn't she be first choice? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you faggot? It's okay. <laughs> but, you know, let's drive a wedge between this friendship. Yes, yes. Let's have them hate each other. Yeah, if you're on the way home, she will be like, yeah, why wasn't no, I first, by the way? Yeah. they would be like, no, you know, Don loves the show. Mm. I think we broke oh, up a couple of relationships yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah. Holy yeah, fuck. 
They just came to enjoy the show and we're beating them up. That one girl was really sexy. I got a nice email from her boyfriend. Oh, really? Remember Elliot the Artist who we yeah, talked about? Yeah, 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 yeah. But he was, he was fine. He, he's a big fan. And he said, hey, thanks, man. I love the show and I wish I could have come. Uh, so uh, we were happy as girls. She had a really good up. body. So uh, we were making her do yoga poses. I saw that yoga. I was here for that. Oh, you were here yeah, for that part. Yeah, okay. I yeah, escorted yeah. Tom Poppet now to the show and then left. Oh, right. She the sat star. on my lap for a photo. And uh, it, was, it was, you know, kind of funny, like, ha, ha, ha. But I was like, oh, fuck, her hiney feels good <laughs> <laughs> on my leg. Ah, that was crazy. <laughs> you must have loved getting the boyfriend's email. Ah, oh, I was so happy that yes. Elliot enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, he was a good sport. He was checking up on me. <laughs> he handled it better than I would have. Yeah, he was a good sport. That's how humiliating it is. No one, no guy sees me as a threat dog. Like, ah, that was cute. She sat in your lap, you little slug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Are you wonderful. single, by the way, Katarina? Oh, cool. How long oh. have you been single? Oh, sorry. You don't have a mic. I'm just curious. Hold oh, on. Troy Kwan Let, running in. Can we have a fucking uglier staff member do it other than Troy? Oh, you... If I'm trying to talk to a girl, can we not have the fucking guy in shape with the fucking cool tattoos? <laughs> yes. Could you... Yeah. Uh, I would say about a year now. About a year? What happened? Uh, it's just... We decided it wasn't working out. I don't know. Oh, okay. Bitch on wheels? I'm not sure. Yeah? Yeah. Do you miss him? No. Oh, good. Oh. It's amicable. It's not a bad thing. So you're dating now oh. just kind of casually? Yeah, I'm just enjoying life. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Play in the field? <laughs> Are you asking me out? Oh. 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 Hold on a minute, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe we can go to, to, to perhaps for uh, lunch. Uh, Jimmy just yeah. wants lunch. Let, let, yeah, let's go out for perhaps uh, some beans. Oh, beans. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <random. laughs> it's a random food choice. I would like that, yeah, so we can go hat shopping. Yeah. Hat shopping. Awesome. Yeah. Hat shopping. I'll pop my collar. We can go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. So All right, cool. excited. You're very lovely. Look what kind that. of work do you do? I'm a makeup artist. A makeup oh, artist? Yes. Oh, good. So she's looking like, all right, I could probably fix him until he's presentable. <laughs> <a little bit. laughs> like, two hours with that face and, and make him tolerable in public. Uh, 45 max. I am 45. Is that what you're saying? Sure. Okay. <laughs> I might be too old for you. No. But hold you. 31. Oh, you're too old for me. All right. Yeah. Oh. No, <laughs> joking. She's very pretty. She's really hot. Yes, All right, cool. you are. Yeah, well, go out. We'll have a nice, uh, a nice lunch. Oh, that sounds nice. A little Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't know if she was saying yes or not. Are you oh. saying yes? I guess I am, yeah. Cool. That's how, that's how you want to hear oh. it. <laughs> I guess I am. Yeah, I guess. Well, All right. I guess if I I'm, have to. I guess on the radio, yeah. But oh. how's she going to get home if the guy drove her here? Uh, I don't mean to cock block. No, we didn't. We didn't drive. You didn't drive? No, we both live around here. Oh, you live? Oh, oh uh, perfect. Uh, we go for Jimmy. lunch right back to the house. Take it to yeah. the take it to the <laughs> take it to the Hyatt. They have a lovely restaurant here. Yes, they have a lovely like bathroom eight, too. Eggs. <laughs> yeah, egg expectations downstairs. <laughs> Do you like eggs? Do you like egg puns? What a clever name. <laughs> egg expectations. Everything in there is an egg pun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, the yolks on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's awful. Right. The ovary omelet was a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, bit much. now, are you going to curtail what you say so as not to offend her for the rest of the show? No, I'm just going to. Why would I? I mean, I just, uh -huh. just talk about respecting and honoring women like I do every day. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I don't curtail anything. Wow. She's a good man. Yeah, absolutely. I don't. You know, some, that's my job here, just to kind of keep the guys I like, in <laughs> I like, check. Right. I like the fact the show is so ugly that Troy is the pinnacle of good looking. Well, he's <laughs> mediocre at best. I, I'm not saying that Troy is, the, is a model, but again, let's be honest, the company he's in, he's fucking, Troy's an 11 right now. <laughs> Uh, you know, Sam is the guy you want holding the mic. You know, he's, he's oh, kind of wiry. Sam. I don't know what he is. Yeah. Don't quite know what he is over yeah. there. He's just this biracial, <laughs> androgynous thing. <laughs> I guess we got a date, Jimmy. Yeah. It's looking real. All right. You didn't just say that for the radio, right? No. Oh, All right, cool. Oh, 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 oh. I'm noticing more ladies here today than uh, yesterday. yesterday. That uh, You might have blew the load a little too early there, Jim. Well, what? We have a tentative. Lots. <laughs> 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 A tentative, Dave, just in case something else doesn't pan out. What a scumbag. I, I think it's... We'd be, well, why don't we see if there's any other ladies? Well, that, uh, we do, I we, don't, I we do have a single gal here who came alone. A <laughs> single oh. gal? Oh, well, let's you? say hi to her. Just so I want to get to know her. I would have hey. assumed you're with one of the... That's good they have you sandwiched in between these men. I'm fine with it. Oh, good. Oh, oh. All right. You have very nice calves, I can see from here. 
Oh, Thank you. You're very welcome. He's always open with a compliment. Jim, you always, you always had good calves, too, I have to be honest. Jim yeah, I, I've been, and people are always surprised. Lovely hairless was, calves. Yeah, my calves are really white. good. Very yeah, bowling, yeah. bowling pin-like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my calves are really. Like upside down like bowling, bowling pins. pins. I wear knickers yeah. a lot to oh. showcase the calves. Language. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's uh, up, knicker? What's your name? My name is Kelly. Kelly? Yes. And uh, are you from the area? I'm from Toronto. Toronto. What oh. brings you here? You guys, the comedy Really? Festival. All alone? Wow. You just decided, uh, yes. I'm going to branch yes. out, take a little trip by myself? Yes. This was a huge bonus for me, yeah. Ooh. Wow. How would you like some real, a real bonus? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I saw you in Toronto in November. Thank oh. you. Did you enjoy the show? I loved it. Oh. Loved it. Wow. <laughs> Looks like we have a little cat fight here. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's, uh, she's nodding. What are you doing in uh, Toronto? I'm an accountant. Ugh. That's good. I know. No. Makeup artist would have been better to say. It, no, no, no. Jobs don't matter because oh. accountant it sounds like a boring job and kind of, you deal with numbers, but they a lot of times are the biggest perverts. Oh. Because, they, you know what I mean? They, they have this, this job all day where it's very, you know, uh, I, was, I almost said very numerical, but then I realized <laughs> how I would blow it with you by saying very numerical. Yes. But it's a very kind of stiff job, so you let loose in the sack. Oh. <laughs> 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 sure are getting points with her there, Jim. Yeah. Do you have nice feet? I see you wearing a little flip flops. You probably oh. have presentable feet. They're they're okay today. Today? Why do they okay change? Today. Yeah. Why are you okay yeah. today? That is, no, I that's, that's a good. Care, but they're, they're that's okay. a good foot. This is horrible. Not flirting. Talon like. You don't think I'm a good flirt? Oh my God, it's horrendous. <laughs> you, have good, you have good calves, and let me see your feet and your numerical. Holy fuck. Well, I'm working my way up. You can't go right for the clitoris. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, now, if I ask about the clitoris, it was just an illogical progression. Well, yeah, I asked about the ankles and feet. Oh my God. Is it eight o'clock yet? <laughs> What's wow. your name? Kelly. Kelly. Okay, you said that Kelly and Kitter. Very nice. Kelly. It is nice to have women at the show. Kelly, the uh, single. Yes. Why? Yeah. Why? Yeah. What happened? This is a very good question. No, I haven't. I don't know. Are you I like damaged goods? Hmm? Are you damaged goods or is a lot of baggage? Yeah. No, no, not really. Daddy issues? Maybe. Ah. <laughs> he likes the daddy issues. What? Anthony, you like daddy issues. Well, way. Anthony requires them. The only way. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be on your resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a good daddy issue is um, very helpful. <laughs> to swoop in like a predator. <laughs> How old are you? I'm probably too old for you guys. I'm 34. That's a good age. Oh. I'm 45. I get, you, know, it's, you, you look very uh, young. Though. Thank, Thank you. You look terrific. You? Oh. Jesus, Jimmy. Would you go to lunch with Jimmy? I would love to go to lunch Whoa, with Jimmy. Oh, my God. Now Jimmy and his situation. Jimmy and his parents. Oh. No, because there's like lunch and there's company. There's, lot. There's, yeah, we, there's brunch and there's lunch. Why don't we go oh, hack and do a date? True. Let's do a dating game now. Let's go hack. Oh, and, yes. out. and have Jimmy like pick one it's of these. It's not uh, hack if ladies. it's done correctly. True. There's no oh. such thing as hack unless it's if so, it's done right. You guys heard my airplane hunt well, yesterday at the keynote. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> Any other uh, single ladies here? One more for dating game this uh, day. No, you got to count. No more. Look at that. This is already. So you're taken back there? So, you're taken. So, Jimmy, why don't we ask the two girls a couple questions and then maybe. Oh, and then Jimmy can decide. Put them on the dating game couch. I want to see. Yeah, let's put them on the oh, couch. Get on the couch, let's girls. Yes, here they come. All right. Let's bring out Woo! our bachelorettes. We got the makeup artist and the accountant. Oh, Woo! well. Oh, boy. Oh, oh well. They're we very, very beautiful. Uh, yes, a couple beautiful girls. The girls kick at club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, you're going to have a tough Little decision t here. Yeah. They're both fantastic. <laughs> Whoa. What are you going to oh, do, Jimmy? Wow. I don't know. So, Jimmy, you got to ask these two girls uh, a they're couple most questions. Delightful young people, girls. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies, oh. the lovely and talented Colin Quinn, of course. Hi, ladies. There you go. Hello, Colin Quinn. Oh. Oh. I didn't like the way uh, Katrina was batting her eyes at Colin Quinn. <laughs> already better <laughs> dealing me. I didn't know you saw that. Since I, think I, I did. I, I think that. it's my Norma Desmond wow. stance. Yes. You girls can catch a man in his final days on this planet. That's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a great story to tell. I went on the last date with him before he hung himself in Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, this is good. We got them on the couch. We could get to see them a little better. Yeah, they're both very beautiful. They both. Have... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just bunching up because I had some milk product. Oh, oh he is a bad flirt. That's what he calls horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, maybe a question. Yeah, um, answer. What do you got? Let's see. Uh, what, what kind of question? I didn't really watch the dating game. Well, we don't. Um, um, well, yeah. uh, ask something like um, what right, would there... Bachelorette number one okay. <laughs> over there. Um, what would the perfect first date exactly. with me be? Yeah. <laughs> Are you asking you as Anthony? Why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Well, hopefully you have a keg of beer and a clan hood. <laughs> <laughs> The perfect date would end with a fire, yes, on someone's lawn with a crucifix. <laughs> uh, so what do you, yeah, what's, what would be what's that I, perfect I, first date for am you? Am I bachelor number one? Well, number one? well that's right. if we were, if you're bachelor number one, yeah. Japanese then. writing. Yeah, yeah you, you're two, just because we're a little tired. We've got to yeah. keep this. Yeah. I was going to say, if, if this is Anthony asking, if you're dropping 12 grand on a hand of blackjack yeah. and you're getting served at the Montreal Casino. Yeah. yeah. That would be a perfect date for me. A little gambling, a little gambling uh, casino and, action. Yep, yep. Us like laughing it up because we're winning. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yes. You're cock blocking he's, Jimmy. No, he's not because the end of the date is her comforting him on the ride home. <laughs> that it was okay. It wasn't real money. He didn't blow it. <laughs> is he asking her for can fare? <laughs> uh, Right, so she uh, that gave you a little insight. She Absolutely, likes, she likes gambling. She likes a gambling bit. and having fun. She likes the high life, materialistic She's... thing. What's, what about drinking? I like drinking. Wow, <laughs> like a lot. I wish I had been already right now. Oh, <laughs> oh man, get her a drink. What are we doing? Uh, uh, what are we fucking? This girl's all right. Wow. Okay. The goer. How about number two? A lot <laughs> of pressure. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe beer darts and LA guns. Whoa! Oh, you like the band LA Guns? Well, I just, I just saw them last night. So. Oh, you did? Oh, okay. And I don't I don't play be I don't I don't, I don't play beer. I don't drink beer. I'm not a good dart player. But um, man, it doesn't matter. But how about the fact that she came for the LA Guns concert, probably two hours sleep, and she's here? You I like, like that kind of. I do like that a lot. I like both yeah. of these people. Like she's probably a little hungover, and and I like the fact that she drove. Did you drive here from Toronto this morning? No, I flew a couple days ago. Oh. Oh, you got on a plane just for this. Wow, she's That's got a little good. money. Hmm. A little and it shows, it shows some real incentive to meet mm -hmm. this yes. uh, program. Yeah. So. But how about the girl who likes L.A. Guns? She must love me. I was, when L.A. Guns was big, I was a fucking legend in this business, miss. <laughs> 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 fucking MTV. Uh, I, I, I met L.A. Guns like eight times. Like, hey, Colin, I'm like, up, guys? How you doing? You're the MTV. <laughs> yeah, you're on MTV. That's fucking bad. I've never met L.A. Guns. Fast a pussycat, the whole thing. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I once shared a cannoli with King Diamond. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> you're my hero. Uh, uh, you like uh, King Diamond? Yes. Oh, very cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's so, a rare one in a hot girl. Usually you do a Merciful Fate reference to a hot girl. I'm like, oh, there's okay. some wow, uh, points uh, for um, number two. Yeah. Some music thing going uh, there. Yeah. You like uh, any uh, older rock like Ozzy? Yeah, yeah Black I Sabbath. Love, uh, I love Black Sabbath. I love Randy Rhodes. Randy Rhodes is oh, one of my favorite oh, oh, Look at that. Uh -oh. Hey. Oh, oh, shit. What? Man. No, I don't know. And She's whole... winning with the Randy Rose. They're back together. They have a new album without Randy Rose. But... Yeah, well, yeah. Well, they haven't had a new album since Randy Rose since 82. Um, wow. Sorry, Rod. Randy they Rose did get back together, though, yes. And uh, the three of the original members did the album. And uh, well, let me ask you an important question. Um, either, either one of you, this is off the subject of music. Do you find uh, that Thong. I wonder or... what the subject will be. The thong, <laughs> a thong or boy short underpants are more comfortable. I'm not asking you what you're good wearing question. now. Good I'm good saying, question. in a general sense, do you find thong or boy short underpants more comfortable? I, I think I'd go with the boy shorts. Oh, oh those good are nice. answer. Good answer. Yes, I like I those. <laughs> are you, you, I agree. You would, you would agree I as agree. well. Yes. yes. Do you find today's culture of everybody shaving all their pubic hair off <laughs> <laughs> to be uh, right, a silly not. fad that everybody's going through? Or do you think that it's a, it's a good direction and, and it's kind of a, a streamlining, sexy thing? Incisive. Yes. Makes it I sound think he's, very official. He's, yeah. leading, he's leading the witness, though. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Definitely leading the witness. Well, no, I'm saying, do you, do you, no, I'm saying it's her opinion that it's a, that it's a, it's, it's a passing fade, and it's just something kind of silly that people are doing, or that it's a good thing, and it's probably here to stay. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like every every decade had their own thing, right? Like uh, in the 70s, it was one thing. And it's time to, you know, yeah. maybe that the uh, it comes back the other way. We going yeah. retro? A little I bit think of, it might uh, go backwards, just kind of like the mustache came back, you know? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> yeah it took a real hit after 1945 in Germany. Uh, 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 the mustache uh, uh, took a real fucking hit. Uh, uh, it's going to be ironic hipster pubic hair. <laughs> yes, ironic. <laughs> yeah, because... Um, you know, well, I know what Jimmy's getting at. What are you sporting? Really? <laughs> what? She goes, really? What? This is where we need the alcohol. Oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, I am not. I mean, you want to answer that. I mean, I'll listen. But... <laughs> I don't know how it works. Do I show you what it is? Yes. Whoa. Oh. No. no. I, I didn't think you would, but you, when you no. said that, I had to jump on it with a yes. That the radio was very, uh, very good. No. no, you can tell what, you, what kind of, uh, you know, what you do. Do you, do you, is it, is it a uh, wood floor? I, I would say I take care of things. It's, you take uh, care of things. But do you take it's care tight. of it, you like, <laughs> she says tight. all the way, keep it tight? Uh, no, not all the way. That's, oh. not, that's a little extreme for me. Yeah, you like oh. to leave a little something. Sure. Yeah, yeah. A little mystery. Now, a little is mystery is it, good. Is, is, the, uh, is what's left um, natural shape, or is it shaved into like a landing strip, a Hitler mustache? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd go to a place, so they, they usually do it for oh, me. Oh, you go to a place. A maple leaf once in a while, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mix exactly, it up. Exactly. Some national it's pride. the Habs logo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> LA Guns uh, yeah, exactly. album cover. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Rhodes V guitar. Yeah. Nice. What about the hip poster from '88? What about Kelly over there? I got greedy. <laughs> Kelly, what do you do? I go to a place. Nice. Oh, you go to a place also. I yeah. go to a place. Yeah. 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 And do they? Uh, is it? Is it complete or do they leave a little something? It's it's almost complete. Yeah. Almost. Uh, almost complete. Almost complete. Like okay. Uh, I can uh, imagine uh, that. When, when you're on the beach, say you're going beaching. <laughs> <laughs> When beaching, do you enjoy wearing white bikinis? Oh. What would you answer. wear a white bikini? Or what a disturbing you... question. No, no, no. <laughs> it's a very nice question. Like, would you, would you wear a white bikini on the beach, or would you say, oh, I can't because, you know, my vagina's bulging is going to really bother people? <laughs> oh, great oh, question. Oh. Oh. Jimmy likes Jimmy's a particular type. Right. Infatuation with vaginas that look like a sideways chimp's mouth. I feel like... <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like this is one of those questions on the list, the guy that had those women tied up in Cleveland for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> Just to ask them. Jimmy yeah. likes a sloppy sandwich. Yeah, yeah. To be honest with you. It's not necessarily true. It wouldn't matter to me. It's oh. about who the people are. Right. <laughs> Jimmy likes a vagina that looks like an explosion at the Steakums factory. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Steakums. It's been described many ways yes. by Jim Norton. Many ways. Yeah. You want to uh, take that question on, ladies? Yeah. Is I it, wear a know. bikini. Oh, okay, oh cool. you could. Yeah, I don't really see the problem either. I yeah. don't know why you seem to think it's a problem. Hey. Oh, no. Whoa. Nice. A feminist <laughs> twist onto the show, Jim. <laughs> No, wow. I, 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 I let me that, point Kelly. Let me let me say, let me rephrase. He was saying just the opposite. Oh, I was saying sorry. just you the opposite. You might want to phrase it delicately as a three-year-old just walked into him in the back. All right, well here's the thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, no, I was saying because I think uh, society a lot of times gives the 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 the, uh, the the protruding big vagina a bad name. I happen to defend that vehemently <laughs> in all walks yeah. of life. You're right. Like a lot of times, a woman with a large clitoris has been shamed. Oh, hey, elephant trunk clit, or whatever uh, it is. Oh, look at you and your giant lips and the she, nerve. Oh, gee, mm. she's hurt. And I defend that. So I think the white bikini on a larger vagina okay. is appropriate. It's so, quite a guy. Yeah, I'm good like yeah. that. So I was wondering yeah. if either one of you would be ashamed to wear a white bikini. He was hoping you, you know, yeah, yeah. He was hoping you'd <laughs> he was be, hoping ashamed. Would be ashamed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was hoping Sorry. you'd be like, no, no, I had to put it Sorry. in the locker when I changed my <laughs> nice clothes. Nice tight like a cherry stone <laughs> clam. <laughs> That's good. One of those unshuckable clams. <laughs> I like that. Where the guy has to put it down and go, fuck this. Can't open it. Nice. Uh, see, I don't like that. What? I don't need that. An uh, unshuckable <laughs> clam. What do you like? <laughs> I want it to look like... Just fucking the two shells with sashimi piled on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a romantic, isn't he, Colin? 
Oh, my oh, God. No. God, I love him. Sure conjures up an image. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, exactly we're, why I came here. If we're, yeah. <laughs> if we're going the delicious treat route, I mean, I might, yes. I might as well go all in. Yeah. Am wow. I asking sexy questions? This is quite... Yep. <laughs> What's a good question? Maybe somebody from the audience would have a good question I could ask one oh, of the girls. Oh, all right. That, yeah, you guys Roberts. know what Jimmy likes. Anyone have a question for the ladies? Yeah, ask the, the back uh, there. Right on back Jimmy's there. behalf. Yeah, oh, but be oh, nice. The girls yes. are very nice. Troy got fired from his job. I'm glad to see Sam really isn't oh, charged. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. right. Very busy. Sam looks like a Montreal resident, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Like a hipster in Montreal. How many people have spoken French to you immediately? <laughs> Everybody. Everybody speaks French here. Wow. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Everybody speaks French here. It's like they got a different word for everything. You got your number. Yeah. Sir? Salut, yes. Sam. Comment ça va? Oh. I have a question for the... Uh, I actually have a question for the friend. How awkward is this? Oh. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, they're just friends. But is the friend trying to, you know, get something going with her? Were you? Were you trying to get... No? No. Okay. He's it's like, yes. Yeah. A friend is a friend. <laughs> No friends. means yes. That was a question on Jimmy's behalf. Anyone have a question? Yeah, some like, lovely yeah. lady. Ah, Sam, Sam the second row. Over yeah, here. ask him the question. Yeah. That serial, remember the serial killer on a dating game? What about the question they asked yes. him? Yes. Yes. Oh, long, long arms McGillicuddy. Yes, this guy. Oh, he's got big God. long arms. Uh, have, have you ever worked at like an animal shelter and had to milk cats? <laughs> oh, wow. Why? Why? Delicate, delicate squeezing. Wow. That's a. I didn't even know they milk cats. They don't. <laughs> I think he's implying... I think you caught somebody jerking a cat off and they lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> Over their cereal. I might be wrong, but I think he's implying the fact that Jimmy does like having his nipples tweaked. Oh! oh. I like my nipples toyed with... Sometimes I'll just brush them like this, and I'm like, ah, that was delightful. Like, I like a nice brush of the nipple. Would you just put on a disgusted face if you had to deal with that? No, I don't, I don't think so. No? You'd, no. you'd find that, like, sexy? The cat thing, or the nipple? No, but... <laughs> no. that was no. just weird. That is weird, but I I, I saw where it was going there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't think that's strange. No, you don't think that's no. strange. You'd you'd be into that. Oh, now, okay. how how do you feel about uh, spanking a gentleman? <laughs> As a theory, do you think spanking a gentleman <laughs> while he's over your knee with his trousers pulled down, <laughs> sobbing softly? <laughs> yes. Yes. With his... In that case, you'd probably have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, you'd have to. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Wow. A couple <laughs> of good swats, right? <laughs> yeah, because most women like to be spanked, but a lot of them don't like doing the spank. No, they don't, but then they get into it if you just they get a couple of... A lot of hostility women comes out if you let it come out. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. On a um, one to ten scale, let's say, five being just normal, average sexual conduct, a one to ten scale. Yeah, you don't have to say five but, was no. No, 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 because <laughs> <laughs> but it doesn't. The middle of that would be a five. <laughs> but, but Carl, yes. one isn't the 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 base here. Five is because five would be normal oh, sexual yeah. conduct. Oh. Ten is outlandishly <laughs> perverse, and one is a bore in bed. No, it ain't. Oh, oh no, I, it's not an age scale, Uncle Paul. You're a goddamn uh, liar. Uncle Paul is just Big despicable. <laughs> How would Ooh. you, where, where would you, where would you place yourself in uh, your sexual prowess? And uh, oh, that's, I don't want to tell everyone. Good so point. Giving it away. It's just a number. Are you really fucking crazy? It's just a number, which is what he said to his last three girlfriends. Like yes, it's just a number. I told the DA. I feel like if I tell you the real number. Everyone's gonna think I'm putting you on, and oh, if it's I really whoa. Want to pay, oh, all right. If I pick something in the middle, it's like, uh, yeah. so I'm just gonna say five's. No, whatever's average? on. Five whatever, is average. We won't think you're putting us on. We we won't because it's just for you. Right. Well, just for the sake of things and being a lady, I'm gonna say eight. Oh, nice. But but she means ten. <laughs> She's crazy. She's nodding. She's a little nutty, yeah. I like what she said it. She said it with total conviction and confidence. Yes, yeah. no, yes. Like, acting. She's like, look, I know what I do. Kelly, <laughs> what about you? I was going to say seven, but I, <laughs> I guess yeah. I better say eight now. No, no seven. Seven is fine. Seven is She could serve. She's an accountant, so she's like, hey, yeah, yeah, seven's yeah. the good number. Uh, yes, better to err on the side of caution. That's yes. right. Exactly. Sometimes it's missionary with my shoes off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's a wild woman.
<laughs> Only on special days. Yes. Yeah. I think they're both pretty good. Yeah. We're going to have a tough choice, Jimmy. They're both yeah. fucking great. Very uh, well be a lunch to remember. We, we, can, <laughs> we do have to take a break. Yes, we do. We've been so maybe, uh, you know, maybe you could think about it. We could come back, ask more questions. Yeah. Yeah, you know, maybe, maybe they'll tweak your nipples or something. Ooh. Oh. You, you're both staying for the show, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. We have, By the way, do we have dogs today for the... The crowd? Yeah. So, that's All right, good. Oh, we have oh, treats for the crowd. Oh, lovely. very nice. All right, we'll, we'll take a break. We'll yes. uh, hand out the donuts. And thank you to the gals who are very good sports. Yeah, we'll figure the, out. Uh, yes. Yeah, we'll bring them back up on the couch. Yes. Colin Quinn, you're sticking around. All right, we'll uh, be back at the Just for Last Festival here in Montreal, Canada. <laughs> From Just for Last Montreal. Coming up. Crime, things like this, gang related violence, it's going to be minority. Montreal. It's awesome. It certainly are. Love right it up here. Who decided that Sam was going to be the crowd warmer up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. It's, it's not working. Could not find a more disdainful warm up guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think he's likable and warm? No, I just think his natural contempt oozes through and he really doesn't want to warm people up. <laughs> We're going to go back to the, the dating game in a little bit. Yes. Yeah, what the hell? There. Any thoughts during the break? Hard to say. They're both fantastic. They're both beautiful yeah. and really nice and kind of open. I think they're both perverted. Yeah. Um, oh. And I say that with great affection. Uh, sure. It's hard to say. They're both really nice. So we're going to have to up Beautiful, the, uh, nice girls. We're going to have to up the ante then to get a winner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll figure, Ooh. Yeah, we'll figure yes. it out. The winner is the uh, one that doesn't have to go on the date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which one is, which one is wincing? The girl from Kelly. Toronto? Why are you wincing, Kelly? We wouldn't do anything un unpleasant. She knows oh, what goes on. Oh, man. But she knows the soft cell setup when oh. she hears one. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, soft cell. I didn't save up any logs to dump on Jimmy's chest. <laughs> oh, silly me. Well, oh, the other one doesn't know what that's about because she's new to the show. That story I told about shitting in Bob's tub was a joke. <laughs> Oh, now she's not interested. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's Without. turning her on. Yeah, really. <laughs> I really blow it quickly. Uh, Did your friend say anything bad about me? Yeah. What? All right. Okay. Yeah. He's a good boy. All right, we're going to get back to that. We yeah. got Christy Stefano uh, back uh, stage. Yeah, where is he? We want to give him another shot because he didn't talk yesterday. What happened? He was a little nervous, Colin. Was he? Yeah. Was he nervous? He just he was a lot of guys. Yeah. Uh, he was a little nervous. Come on. I was... You were a little nervous, Chris, right? Take a seat. 
How you doing, buddy? He was busy lifting the couch full of comics. <laughs> <laughs> or, uh... Were you nervous yesterday? No, you know what? It wasn't that I was nervous. It was, I just, you know, all the guys on the couch have done the show a bunch before. It's my first time. I kind of felt like, and Bobby was really just aggressive. So I just, he I kind was. of felt like Spider from Goodfellas. If I fucking say anything, he's going to rip my face, you know, shoot me. You get shot in the foot. I felt like Michael yeah. Imperioli, yeah. And but, uh, yeah. you know, it was, it was, it was good. Yeah. I'm, fucking I'm glad you're bringing up that Bobby. Tattoo. I'm glad you're bringing up that Bobby was aggressive. Yeah, he was uncomfortably aggressive yesterday. I don't know what the fuck. That's because he's heading off all the insults. I think he's had with the he's... fat joke, so he's like, "Fuck you yeah. all! I'm gonna beat the shit out of all of you." He comes yeah. out of the gate like a maniac, just we to take hi. away yeah. from that. We said hi, and he was ripping our faces off. You yeah. know how you know Bob's ba like mad about something if you say something, if you joke with him, and he goes, "Really, dude?" <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Oh fuck, I pissed him off." <laughs> yeah, with that look in his eyes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. He's yeah. seen some things, that guy. Yeah, Bob's yeah. had it with all. Now this. he figures he'll head it off at the pass and fucking uh, but attack you first. But the story he told, the narrative of Bob yesterday, when I saw him, was like, I come there one hour sleep, everybody just starts attacking me. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, I yeah. couldn't say anything. They're calling me fat. They're making fun of I, my eyes. I don't think he told just the opposite story. I don't think that happened. Yeah, no, it, it did. I think that's what he thinks is happening in his head. How would you feel if he was just sitting we there said with hi. some sunglasses on? <laughs> right. I know. He, was, he had the sunglasses on the whole time. How do we not fucking talk about that? Dolt. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Scratched by corny at that What? And then fucking... Uh, Ow. Fucking Joe DeRosa just uh, uh, talking about, uh, we couldn't stop him, yeah. talking about how much he wants to suck dick. Uh, that was That's Joe all Joe he was fucking yeah. talking yeah. Like, about. Jesus Christ, it's okay to think it. <laughs> 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 Colin, we were trying to move on, and he kept going back to the point that, you know, he wants to suck a dick. Bailey J, Bailey J. Oh. Not like it's a guy, it's a girl. It was the conversation at the steak dinner. It was the conversation at the steak dinner. A dick and balls. We think Joe might, you know. Yeah, Joe's ready to make the move. He's ready to make the move. <laughs> and it's, well, it's great. Cause that's why you're having, like, that hyper-masculine kid like this big wop over here on the show. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just hey, he came in. I He's mean, an enforcer. This kid looks like an ass kicker, right, Chris? Yeah, he looks like a problem. Yeah. Uh, you he know, could be a problem. I think people think that about me, but I, I don't get into many fights, man. I, no. fucking, I always try to talk it out, but like I said yesterday, there was a couple of times, one time in my life I really snapped. And uh, but that was about the it. The baseball bat. Time. Baseball bat to the back of the head. That right, was the only right, thing that right. I did. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. But it wasn't, That's you know. Step. And it's um, uh, you know, a racial, racial incident. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. With some slurs thrown. Yeah. yeah. What was he doing? Waiting for a bus in Howard Beach and <laughs> 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 you carry it. You're in the wrong neighborhood, guy. Uh, um, how many and, times uh, he said that? <laughs> yeah, guy. You know, it's a bad uh, thing. Oh, what's uh, up, uh, guy? Yeah. I fucking all right. Calm down. Um, no, nah, it's fucking. Yeah. We're playing basketball. Oh, and a uh, kid fouled me, and I uh, fucking just went home and got a baseball I bat. I happened to have a bat on me at the baseball <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he went home and got what? the bat, which is all right, worse. You're, you're, all right, you're a psycho. Plenty of time to you think about it. You had plenty of time it. to calm down, but you still went back with the baseball bat and, and gave it, a shot. It was a time in my life where I was really, like, exercising a lot. And I was taking this thing called N.O. Explode. <laughs> uh, which just fucking <laughs> makes you lose your mind. I almost had, like, three heart attacks when I was 19 <laughs> from it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, I just, this kid fouled me, and I just fucking went nuts. Yeah. <laughs> and I fucking lost it. And my mother yeah. was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? No. And I was like, fucking kid fouled me, mom. Oh, big mom. Wow. How long I want pancakes. How long was the walk home? The uh, It was about a five-minute walk. Holy Plenty shit. Plenty of time to cool off. Yeah, no, I fucking, my heart. I, 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 had to go to, I honestly had to go to the hospital twice taking that shit. Wow. And the doctor's like, you got to stop. I was like, but I got to get fucking ripped. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd rather have my heart explode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did he wow. apologize after he fouled you? you uh, got, did, did or he after he got hit with the bat? Well, no. It was a whole big. It was a whole big thing. His his father was going to press charges on me, oh, and then shit. my father paid his father a visit and was like, you know, give I don't know me, what give happened. Give him an envelope but, full of money. <laughs> yeah. No charges were ever pressed. You know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what did your father say? You think? I don't know. I have no idea what my dad said. He never. He would never. He would handle situations like that. And never tell me. Hey, what we happened? Could, we could work to sell like gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. The God. problem always went away though. Kids, uh, you know, kids they lose their heads. Ten percent. Yeah. What are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. Ah. What yeah, can we do? That's all you do. Well, what are you gonna do? And yeah. then everything's cool. We, there actually is another situation where I snapped. I just, uh -oh. I remember oh, shit. this. Okay. I'm sorry. It's fun. Right. I, honestly, no, it's just great. all coming back. You were on a date and she said no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> this is a situation that I think most of the guys would snap. So, and this is one time where I did see my father. It happened in front of me. So, 
9-11 happened, right? My mother worked in the building. She was okay, but um, I th she worked on, like, the fucking 95th floor. Holy so shit. So I didn't speak to her. I didn't know where she was, you know, Jesus. whatever. I went to all-boy Catholic high school. I start just fucking, I lose my emotions. I start hysterical crying, just going crazy. This kid, Frank, starts laughing at me. Uh-oh. So I took a, I, and I honestly, I took a chair, and I broke it over his head. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, over his shoulder, though. And, uh, you know, that was a big issue. Yeah, sure. Yeah, the guy's cool. And um, so they, they, they were going to throw me out of school. They were going to expel me from, from school. Until it was all put in perspective of 9-11. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, so my, I call my dad right away, and I'm like, Dad, I'm going to get thrown out of school. He goes, no, you're not. Nothing's going to happen. Don't worry about it. So the, we, we get off. We, uh, we had off the next day, off Wednesday. We go back Thursday. I go back to school Thursday. I just tried to show up like Larry David when he said he got fired. Yeah. And then yeah. he just showed up. Like, yeah. that's what happened. I just showed up. And they were like, Stefano, you're expelled. So I called my dad again. I said, Dad, they're going to throw me out. He goes, I'm going to be there in 10 minutes. I was like, you live on Staten Island. We're in Queens. He goes, I'll fucking be there in 10 minutes. Wow. He shows up in like 12 minutes with New York Yankees batting practice jacket, a coffee, <laughs> you know, and flip-flops. And he goes, I need a meeting with the principal. And, uh, I need to sit down with the principal. <laughs> Listen, Brother Alphonse, we got to talk about this. <laughs> well, and he says, and they're like, well, you can't just get a meeting, you know. And he goes, just give me a meeting with the principal. So we go, we sit down with the principal, and I swear this is all true. I'm not making any of this up. The principal says uh, he's expelled. And my dad said, there's got to be another situation. There's got to be another. We have to figure something out. He, the kid thought his mother was dead. He was getting laughed at. Come on, wouldn't you do what he did? And the brother was like, well, no, I'm a man of faith, you know. Uh -huh. and, and he said to my dad, aren't you a man of faith? And my dad was very specific. He goes, I lost my faith September 6, 1979. Oh, Jesus. And he was in prison at the time, so I, I think something might have oh, happened. Oh, no. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> that I wouldn't want to ask you. And then he just looked at me, and I was like, all right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Head down. <laughs> There's a date he remembers. <laughs> yeah, I was like, sorry, Dad. Um, oh, wow. And then, uh, and then he really goes, and then he really does. He, he, might, he says, um. The key says to my dad, what part don't you understand, Mrs. Stefano? Your kid is thrown out. Oh. And then my dad takes like a deep breath. He got fucking beyond pissed. I think this is, number one, he just revealed the fact to his son that he got fucked in the ass in jail. <laughs> 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 in some weird way. And, you know, number two, he fucking, you know, you don't, my dad type of guy, like at that time, he just didn't say that type of stuff to yeah. him. So he says, brother, brother, brother Roy was his name. Brother, brother Roy. I'm going to give you two choices right now. <laughs> what he oh, says. shit. <laughs> he says, the second one's really going to suck for you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he goes, choice number one, we work something out right now. Choice number two, and he said, I, again, this is going to suck. I'm going to come over that table and break both your kneecaps. And then he says, I know you're going to think that I just heard that from a movie. I'm the guy they write the movies about. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> So I was like, holy shit. And then he stands up in front of the door. Waiting for the answer. Waiting for the answer and says, I'll call 911 right now. He says, I'd rather go to prison for the next 15 years than have my kid get thrown out and have to listen to his mother's fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he said, so you make the choice, uh... make the right one. White is a ghost. And he says, well, what do you want to do? And I was on the basketball team at the time. And uh, my father was like, well, let's just expel him from the basketball team. I was like, fuck that, Dad. Break his kneecaps. I want to play oh. ball. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and that's what wound up happening. You know, they, they, and then actually they became friends somehow by the time of graduation. Uh. But I got expelled from the basketball team. Who became but, friends? But my dad and, and, the, and oh, yeah. the brother and the oh. principal became, became friends um, after that. But it was, uh, that was like the second time I snapped that I just remembered. And then I almost got thrown out of school for it. But instead I just lost a basketball scholarship. Oh wow! But, uh, Man, that yeah, and then uh, my dad, you know, revealed the real this specific deal. thing. Yeah, and then I started, you know, want to become a comic <laughs> after that. Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. The pain. I was like, oh shit! Couldn't go go into the family. What business. high school was this? Archbishop Malloy. Oh yeah, and you started for them. Yeah, well, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I fuck. I no. know that Queens basketball. Yeah, yeah. My brother played for Ford, so I don't want to hear his scholarship. Yeah. 
Well, not that no insult, but you don't seem quite tall enough for a basketball. Well, I was, uh, you know, like 40 pounds lighter and just fucking, like, ripped. ripped. Yeah, Fiery. I was ripped, and I was that just, like, very that was aggressive. Heart, Plus, right. he, was hard yeah. to, he was hard to stop scoring, because if you fouled him, he'd go home and get the back. <laughs> right, yeah. right. So and there were no, well, there well, no chairs. You the... drive the lane. Yeah. 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 That. <laughs> now, my team was good, though. We were top 10 in the country. Yeah, my lord. Yeah, we were fucking You got to rep everybody sitting on beanbag chairs. Yeah, we had a couple of kids go to the NBA. So it was fucking oh, really? pretty. Yeah, on my one team, which is not white though. Pretty, no, no chance. Yeah. No, Man, no white. The baseball my kid Mike Baxter, he played for the Mets. White guy. We were in the same uh, wow. home room. He saw that whole shit go down. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, holy shit. He saw the whole shit. And I, I tell him to give you free Mets tickets, so the same will happen to him. <laughs> yeah. yeah throw, throw that weight around. Yeah. Wow. Another kid in my high school class was a Golden Gloves boxer. Full of. Then also in my class was the Cannibal Cop. That guy a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> we were also. Wow. His name yeah. Gabriel something? Gilberto or? Val. Oh, Gilberto. Are, right. Another true thing. We took Christian, you know, the Cannibal Cop. Um, was the guy who uh, in New York City, what was it, maybe five, five months, six months ago, he got busted because yeah. he wanted to eat, he wanted to uh, cook and eat women. His wife, yeah. It was, his wife and a whole bunch of other women, which I found out actually a couple of weeks ago that number three on his list, I actually used to hook up with her, she was pretty hot. Uh -huh. um, but he was a fucking, I was like, yo, you were number three, you were close again, fuck. Um, <laughs> I was like, hey, but I was in, I was in, Christian marriage class with this kid, and they would always, I would always remember, he was, we had to, you know, have that egg, you know, like, it was, it's supposed to be a boy and a girl, you know, but, oh boy, Catholic high school was just fucking mean, oh, two, two husbands, and we had this egg, and he always would say, let's just fucking crack the egg and eat it, you want to crack the egg? Oh, and wow. Then, Ten years later, it turns out he fucking wants to boil women in a pot. I was like, you psycho. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Like Christian marriage. And he was, if anyone doesn't remember the case, he was a, he's a New York City cop, and he was online with some guy in England, mm -hmm. and they were talking about, like, cannibalism as a sexual thing, but he was actually, like, giving details of his wife's jogging route, yeah. and uh, it, they, they, I don't know how he got convicted, because they said it went way beyond fantasy and, way, and, and very deeply Because he never it. did it. No, he, he didn't really know. ate anybody, and he talked about it online, yeah, like Jimmy I mean, said, and they convicted him of, of some kind of fucking crime. He was he was plotting to do it. I don't know what details that they, they, they came out that they said he was for real. Well, I know I know a couple of guys who know his family. So one one of the guys I know was in the courtroom. You know, came in the courtroom with him oh. and said that the uh, the prosecution said what they think sway the jury. The prosecution said if if we found because they found this guy. The last at the last second with fucking shovels and pots, ready and to go. Knives. They, they, yeah. They were like, if we found a, a terrorist with all the fucking bombs, about to press the button, and we caught him. Is that not attempted? Yeah, you know, murder. True. Is that not attempted terrorism? And the jury was like, yeah, I guess it is. So now they fucking this kid's gonna get life. Although we're the same age, he's gonna he, get life in prison. He it could be, again. I'm not defending him, but he could be like just a weird ritualistic sexual thing for him to buy, knowing deep down he's never gonna do it. Yeah. He, I think, I mean, I Why'd know him. not defending him? Yeah. Well, because, because uh, I, yeah. That could be it. I, I don't know. The particular I mean, defense he's ever had in his life. Yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was like a sex nut, you know, in high school. I mean, oh. you know, with the egg. He always, you know, you know, an old boy Catholic high school, if you walked with your book bag in front, you're like, fucking boner, you have a boner. 24-7 this kid had a boner. A always boner. with a book bag. <laughs> wow. You know, and it was a weird thing. You know, it was like maybe it's just, and he wasn't gay or nothing. It just fucking kids can't wow. stop thinking about sex. I like that he passed the psych for the police department very <laughs> yeah. handily. Yeah, that <laughs> yeah. is. That's yeah. odd. Apparently right was close there. to making detectives. Yeah. Wow. You know, I'm friends with uh, one of the girls. She's a porn girl, and she was in one of the videos that was found on his computer. We talked about him when I saw her. Small world. It really is. And, and I, I, <laughs> she does weird, Holy like, shit. lesbian fetish porn. And uh, she goes, and you know that cannibal, that cop? And she's like, I was in one of the, because she was like, what did one where they cooked her and ate her or whatever? And she's like, it was so silly on the set. We were all joking about it. It wasn't sexy to us. That's crazy yeah. ass that is, fetish. That's and, crazy. Uh, and uh, I want to eat some. Uh, yeah, and uh, so she, he came up. She was lovely. I, I got nowhere with her, by the way. <laughs> nowhere. Hey, uh, you know Sammy from Queens? He wants to back you up about the neighborhood. All right, put some headphones on if you oh. got them close. Oh, well, we're uh, taking a call? Why not? Let's see if wow. this works. Can the audience hear it or no? Of course not. They'll be able to hear? I'll oh, put it through the monitor. Can you switch yeah. carrier for this call? It's very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. <laughs> These guys are great in the corner, oh, setting yeah. up this whole fucking place. Thanks again, guys. Uh, Sammy, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey, hey. Chris, it's uh, Sammy Rodriguez from Ridgewood. Uh, hey, oh, Sammy. Boy. What's up? What's up oh, Sammy? That, How you doing, Sam? -O? That was How not doing, a bro? recognized... Uh, 
Well, he, listen. He gave, I, let me let me I, I, let me put that yeah, look in on. words. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much. And by the hold on, Sammy, Sammy, hold on. We, we'll say that for the record. You're saying you're this guy from Ridgewood. We don't know who he is. Uh, I, don't I, don't say that. I don't know who you are. Sammy from Metropolitan. Yeah, we'll yeah, we'll see him no I more. I am from Saint Matthias. He knows who I am. I know his yeah. dad. I back up all this shit. His dad's a nice, sweet guy, but you can't cross him. Don't cross his father. But I know his well, dad for a long time. Now I know. Now I'm recognizing your voice. I know. I think you're one of the guys that may have crossed my father. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I was on his side. I was on his nah, side. No, I'm joking. No, nah, I know. You're good. I remember you now, How's Sam. How's that wheelchair? Yeah. <laughs> He's in the candy store. I need, I need some men who explode, Sammy. I'm getting fucking weak. Okay. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say, Chris. I wanted to back you up. Uh, I've, been, I've, hey. I've been following your comedy, and you're doing pretty good. Oh, thanks, oh. man. I appreciate it. Pretty good. Pretty good. He's blowing I, up. It's always him, my father and his friends are always fucking just a jab at the end. Yeah. So he's, <laughs> hey, you're doing, you know, yeah, pretty, pretty good. good. I did. I did. I was on Letterman three weeks ago. And my dad comes. And he was like, it was fucking good, but you know, you're not hosting the show. But it was good. It was oh. good. Because <laughs> I'm not Letterman. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? Did you talk to him at the end when he, when he uh, he came over to you? Let him in. Yeah, I, cool. I did. It was it was cool. Talked for a couple of minutes. John Travolta was on the show with me, so that was the fucking oh, thing. Wow. Oh, oh, nice. Gee, my mother was going crazy two days, and my father was like, "You better clench your ass cheeks, kid." You know, what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Johnny T. Did you meet him? Oh my God, boy, did I meet him! Really? He's, oh yeah, he was. Um, you know, he was the the first guest, and I was you know do my stand up next, and he came back and he said, uh, "You have on a beautiful suit." And I said, thanks. Oh. And he said, are you nervous? I was like, well, now I am. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy wow. shit. And then I'm telling you, man, it's not a f I fucking looked into his eyes, and that guy's eyes are fucking piercing. Yeah. Light crystal blue, like the ocean. It let me was let, let me ask you something. Are you going to remember a date like your father did? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's that, comes letterman, out. that Letterman yeah. date. Oh Jesus! Yeah. It was in your mind. Uh, and, wow. Uh, yeah, and he just yeah. fucking and he was weak. You know that Scientology shit. Like he put his hand on my chest. He was like, "Just go out there and come from a place of strength." And I was like, do you want to fuck? Was... What's going on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you trying to <laughs> you fuck with Scientology? <laughs> yeah. And then it really did calm me down. Yeah, I was fucking nervous. You know, it was my first time That's doing it. What does guy. that mean, come from a place of strength? That's great advice, but I wouldn't know how to do that. He, well, as, he, I, as I wallow in weakness. Well, what he said was, he said, come from a place of strength, and he said, all the work is done. Now just go out and have fun. And I think what he meant by that is like, you know, I did went through the fucking audition process and strenuous waiting for the call. And he's, and he's like, now just go have fun. Thanks, I think Chris is. A, I think Chris is a Scientologist. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I, I, I don't know if Chris is a Scientologist or recently was sodomized into being one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The piercing blue eyes of John Travolta. It's yeah. like touching you though, like Jesus. Yeah. What the fuck. And I swear this is true. I got that advice, and then two, you know, like a classic. You know, guy, I felt on top of the world, and then I wanted to go downtown and feel like a piece of shit two hours after I do Letterman. Uh, did comedy for seven people from Sweden who don't oh, speak English. Man. Fucking Village Lantern. And, uh, <laughs> and um, oh. Tracy Morgan was there, and he said to me, I swear, this is, and I don't know what the fuck he meant. And then he walked that's away. Tracy. That's Tracy. That's girlfriend was like, you know, yeah. Tracy, uh, Chris just did Letterman. He goes, oh, that's, you know, for real, take a walk with me. So we're walking down the block, and then he said, Two things. He said, number one, your girl's toes look mad good, painted like Skittles. I like that shit. <laughs> oh. Taste the rainbow, son. She got, she's nice. And then he said, back to back, he goes, two things I want to tell you right now. Working hard is different than commitment, and pregnant pussy stay wet. <laughs> That, I swear to God, and then you don't even away. have to swear to God. Yeah, we know. So fucking. We that's actually know. better advice than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then just walked away. So you're doing good. Yeah. It's like, all right. Thanks, Trace. Life is like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> yeah. It's sweet, and then you peel it. Yeah. What? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck do you mean? Yeah. Life is like a box of chocolates with stretch marks. <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> Yeah, Tracy is a weird guy, man. Yeah, very good. But that's, uh, that's good. Oh, thanks, yeah, man. that is yeah, pretty good. goddamn Thank you. good. A set kill, too, man. Oh, I appreciate it. Christy Thank Stefano. You. That's a great fucking room to do stand-up in. I've, I've done it twice, but it's... uh Ooh, it's braggart. Uh, well, you know, I'm a lot older than Chris, too. It's a little humiliating. He did it at uh -huh. a much younger age than I did. And uh, it's, like a, it's like a fucking regular theater gig. It's a beautiful Ed Sullivan theater. The lovely yeah. space. I had no. nothing. I had no, nothing. you really... I was thinking that while you were saying it. Believe me, I was thinking of it, too. I was going to just try to bond and say it was a good theater, but then Aww. I'm like, it's not about me. You just wanted to tell people that you also did. did Everybody learn. knows. <laughs> like, I would I would then say something like, you know, I remember when I did Letterman, too. It was very exciting. Yeah. yeah. 
which mm. then lets everyone know, oh, wow, he did oh, Letterman too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Call? I, I did it a couple of times. Right. I don't like the fact that he barely fucking talked to me in the breaks. He just sits there. Yeah. Oh, so what you're saying is that's Colin's way of saying he did panel. And no, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Very good. No, I did, the, uh, I did the thing, but then he sat me down once, but he didn't even say a word to me. All right, we didn't sit down. We talked talk to Dave at the end, and he came over, and he was uh, standing up, and we chatted with him. Oh, oh yeah. look Lovely. who's here. Mark Marin has arrived. Mark Marin. Hi, Mark. Take Marin. a seat. You know, wow. Hi, Mark. What's up, Mark? The lovely good to see you, Mark. Mark Marin. It's like I, I can't stand when these guys get TV shows because you were fucking like just Mark Maron, yeah. the comic guy, yeah. and now I'm like I saw him on TV, and it makes you you're a different guy now. Yeah, now you're I'm the just TV a, guy. Yeah, I'm just that asshole on television. Right. Yeah. And now I'm looking like all kind of ooh. No, don't do it. No, I swear. No, just stay. Let's keep it the way it was. It's very what, funny. What the fuck's wrong with Mark? Let's just keep I, it there. I, do you know yeah, Chris Stefano? Okay. Do you know Chris? It's very funny. I need to so call Hi, hey, buddy. How are you? Good, man. How don't, you doing? Don't cross his father. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. Be nice to us. Be nice to him. <laughs> Trust us. Don't even cross him. He'll fucking lay a yeah. chair over your head. No, no, no. Ouch. I don't got any NO explode in me, so. No. Yeah, you are. You're looking weak. I know. I am. Get your hands some of that. You go to the Canadian pharmacy, you pick up heroin. <laughs> whatever, fuck, whatever you need, my friend. I love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, uh, what do you want? Codeine. What do you need that for? Yeah, I have some back pain. Oh, right. Okie doke. Here you go. Whoa, that's no all problem. it takes. Yeah. How, I love how, it. Mark, how's the engagement? You announced that on our show that you're getting married. Yeah. They, well, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, it's a little difficult. It's di again? Uh, yeah, already. Why? Already. Well, you know, it's weird when you get engaged. A couple things happen. There's supposed to be joy there. That didn't happen. <laughs> There's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Uh, but, but no, you know, as soon as you get engaged, I just find myself now I'm overly critical of her. Like, you know, I'm sitting there looking at her like, oh, no. You know, like a lot of that. Because now uh, it's not just a girlfriend. Now it's the future wife. Right. And I thought, you know, I got engaged. It buy me a little time. But now every day it's like, when's the wedding? When? When is the wedding? Where are we going to oh, have the wedding? Boy. And uh, we actually had a fight uh, a couple nights ago over, over that. Like she, well, yeah, because at some point, like, I don't know if this is true for everybody, but she, she goes, well, what kind of wedding you want? I'm like, I'm not the fucking girl. You know, you know what I mean? Like, isn't that your choice? And it, it became a, it's sort of a big deal. And so uh, because of that fight, we, we almost weren't engaged anymore. Wow. Yeah. So I need to, I need to. They want to, they want to feel though that the guy is as excited as they are. So when, when they say what kind of wedding, they expect you to go, oh yeah, I want this, that. Oh no, yeah. I don't. I, what I say is I've been married twice. This is number three. It's nothing to me. Yeah. Well, no, not I'm not gonna. Oh, you, you say can't it say that. Nothing. <laughs> it means nothing to me. It is a one-sided contract I'm about to enter into. Outside, yeah, outside of that, it's going pretty good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, no, I mean, huh? Do you know what year you're getting married? Well, I imagine next year. Too. Oh, it is next year. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't. Date not uh, set. No, that's a mm. big problem for them too. Mm. I mean, I really thought it would buy me a little time, but it's not. It's and it's not her first. Mind. Yeah, it's her first. So, so she wants the whole deal. No, she doesn't. It's beautiful. Oh. She's like, uh, she said, no, I just want it to be us. And then she said, your mother can come, but I'd rather she didn't. Wow. <laughs> My father said that a lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> hey. So what she wants to do is just get married, the two of us, so it's our day, and then uh -huh. she wants to take a trip and then maybe have a party for other people. No, it's great. Let me tell you I how that won't work out. <laughs> because yeah. you, uh, you don't invite people they get mad you invite one or two people now you have to invite other people because yeah. they'll get mad that you invited somebody yeah and you can't invite nobody because there's people that are very close to you so it's going to be quite a few people it's going to be, it's it's gonna be 400 people. people yeah it's just this leads to a 400 people wedding. i tried that i was like uh, you know i don't want at my at my lovely lovely wedding yeah that i had at a place that later became a strip club in comac <laughs> in, in honor uh, of your failed wedding Yes, it became a strip in club. Honor in of honor of my wedding. failed wedding, <laughs> it became a strip club. Was it a and was it a the accountant hole? that used to do mine and Opie's taxes did it in the basement of the same strip club that I got married in. It's all one whole big <laughs> melange of shit. Uh, yeah, so so um, uh, w w we didn't want to invite anybody. Yeah, and then she's like, "Well, my mother has to." Right. Do. And then I'm like, "Well, now if your mother comes mm -hmm. and my mother finds out." And then I didn't invite her. So then you got to invite that. And now what? Mom going to come alone? No. She needs fucking Sal with her. And this one needs that. And then the, the fucking brother and sister now have. And before you know it, full house. House. 400 people. Well, the second. What were you asking? Sorry, Mark. What were you asking, Colin? You were asking me. I was asking if it was a catering hall. 
First, I'd like to know for an episode of the fucking talk. Now, listen. Um, <laughs> now, I'd like to ask you, was it? You asshole. I want the name of that catering hall that you got married in Comac. Oh, well, it's now called. It had to be um, like the debonair. <laughs> the debonair. It was the inn at the crossroads, right where Jericho and 347 split uh, in Comac. I bet the De Stefanos have a piece of that, too, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> we may. I think I saw you at the door a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that was. That that was wonderful. Uh, yeah, what a wedding. What a yeah. wedding that was. It I was did, a place did, my mom worked at. I did the small wedding, the second one, and that didn't work out. I mean, I, we, I got married in the backyard oh. uh, for this for the second wife, and that, that happened pretty quickly. And the rules on that one, I think, was you know, no fathers. So there were no fathers oh, at this boy. One. Yeah, so you know that's going to work out. A little she baggage, says, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when she says, I don't want my dad here, I'm like, all right, this is this is not a red flag. That, that is good. Right. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. I'll just step into that role, I guess, is what's going to happen. <laughs> so, oh, the steamer truck of baggage. Yeah, yeah, but I knew it. I knew it. And I kind of I kind of know it this time, too. But I have, I'm older now, so I figure I'm tired. Uh, she wants to have a kid, so I think, you know, that's uh, what. I, I, no, no, that's okay. No, I, that, that was not what that look was. Well, he doesn't like kids. I was just thinking it on uh, my own. Unless Again, he's dating I, was, him. I was thinking it personally. Of yourself? Not, not anybody. Everybody I've seen that has had kids, yeah. Opie and stuff, and yeah. Travis, they love it. It, it changes, changes love your it. life, right? And that's a good reason it to have a kid. It changes your life. It changes your life. It changes your life. Yeah, yes. yeah. I want to have a kid because I don't feel good about me. Well, that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that the reason people have children? That's kind of why I don't want to. I kind of like the fact that I could just fucking, you know, yeah. walk around. I don't have to worry about looking at my pool if there's fucking something at the bottom. <laughs> you know. I, I, yeah, it, it's great. Yeah, that's the last thing you need when you're taking a dip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, see that little uh, chew toy? Oh, oh boy. Oh, a shoe. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, sweet. I don't need that shit. <laughs> it's, it's all going well. It's going to be good. good. I'm excited about it. I love her. It's it's crazy. That's and good. yeah, But uh, the Has, neighbors haven't called the cops or anything, so we're on a better trajectory. Has every girl you've been with had some kind of father issue? Yeah. Don't do they go, all? Do you go for I'm assuming they do, and the ones that say they don't are full of shit. Yeah, the ones they say that don't, uh, you know, they're kind of boring. I mean, if, you, if they, people don't really have it, if people aren't fucked up, I mean, they're not even on my radar. Yeah, it's yeah. not even going to register other than like, oh, what's that person doing? You I've know, had I people tell me, though, after a while, because I, I, apparently every ex-girlfriend I've ever had is batshit crazy. And I've had people go, you know, maybe it's not them. Maybe your pick, Absolutely, and, and right. they start doing that, and I'm like, "Fuck, man! I don't even have anything to come I, back to." I find if a woman is like, like, and I'm not just meeting somebody, but if I date somebody and they're attracted to me and they enjoy our sex, there has to be a problem there <laughs> by default. <laughs> Something yeah, wrong. I, I found that in my, like in my life, as soon as a woman says. Uh, you know, I'm getting along so much better with my father. I'm two weeks away from a breakup. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the one thing you don't want is to get together with a girl that has problems with the father, and then they have this, like, makeup thing, and now oh, yeah, he's in your fucking life. Yeah, she's talking to oh, him a lot. Yeah. You're, you're, you're just an idiot yeah. she made a mistake with. I well, dad's to... telling the same stories you've been telling her <laughs> about the same shows. <laughs> my favorite Martian, where have I heard that? Oh, my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you could really carry on a... A real relatable conversation with the dad. You know, hey, I remember graduating that same year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets a little uncomfortable. Yeah, that's what, the boat I'm in, yeah. Why don't we yeah, ask the, yes, eh? why don't we yeah. ask the future uh, possible lunch dates if they have uh, father issues? That's a good question. You, yeah, yeah, go ahead, uh, we Sam got a whole, Roberts. We got to uh, uh, yeah, all right. You fucking twink. Jimmy might go out there. Dave Mark Marin with one of these girls. I, was, I met a couple of the gals uh, here. Yeah, I mean, he's still trying to figure it out. You're going over there, huh? All right. Any uh, daddy issues? They, they, don't, the mic in her face. they don't always know, you know. I know. That's they, why I'm I mean, gonna... they, they, they don't see that they have any issues. They're right. Just, they're just not speaking to him, and they cry when they hear his name. <laughs> <laughs> this would, my, here's, here's the baggage my ex-wife had yeah. as far as daddy oh, issues geez. goes. Uh, I guess she was probably 13, 14 years old. Uh, Christmas Day. Mm -hmm. Christmas Day. Nice. The dad... Walked out on the family on Christmas Day when she was 14, got himself a whole new family, yeah. and never spoke to the other family again. So Christmas was a joy with her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was sure. Every fucking here comes Santa Claus, here comes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. He <laughs> fucked them up. Oh my God. Big time. Oh. Christmas Day. So every Christmas and Father's Day and anything to do with Dad yeah. just was a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, I was terrible. Let's ask the girls there. Anything? Uh, Kelly? How's your relationship with your dad, Kelly? 
I guess if I said I had no daddy issues, that would you would know I was lying anyway. So maybe I, a little bit. I could say the fact that you flew here alone to see this show <laughs> leads me to believe that you don't have the Ward Cleaver type dad at home. You're no. probably right. Yeah. Uh, so when did he walk out? Mm, I was 19. 19 oh, when yeah. he decided he was just going to what? It's take off and was it another uh, lady? Yes, it was. He was cheating on your mom? Yes. And well, it's, it's nice he waited till you're at least legal. Yeah. 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 So he yeah. left his in childhood. <laughs> That's good. Did, Did you still talk to him? Yes, oh yeah. Oh, all right. Did you know things were amiss before he left? No, I was. I was oh, wow. I, well, afterwards, I was like, oh, yeah, obviously. In hindsight, yes, right? Of yeah, whenever yeah. I walked into the bathroom, he was washing his dick in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. This is, oh. this is the saddest dating game ever. It's, it is sad. <laughs> did, uh, did your mom badmouth him a lot after that? Like, uh, not too bad. It wow. wasn't too bad. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe she kept it to herself because that's, that's always the best thing. Because my mom and dad, believe it or not, uh, didn't have the most ideal marriage either. <laughs> and uh, and uh, my dad pretty much got as far away from my mom that he could in the continental United States. Uh, and it was, she badmouthed him a lot. Which just made me want to go out there and live with it. It sounded great. What an asshole. He chases women. He drinks. He goes, oh, this is fucking fantastic. I'm going to base my life on this. <laughs> so uh, so you, you, you still talk to him. Oh, yeah. Yep. But you think he's like, you can't be happy with what he did. Yeah, you get over it. Right. She never got over it. <laughs> never. <laughs> That's good. Okay. Well, now let's see what happens over what here. What do you got? Yeah. Top that. Yeah, I don't know if I can. What did your dad do? Oh, my dad. Oh. Cross-dresser? No, my dad's a... <laughs> I like to wear women's clothing. Yes. Not quite, not quite. He's no? a very large man. He's a very oh. much a, a guy's guy. Uh, I grew up with a bunch of brothers. Nagel? So... <laughs> What's that? I thought his name was Nagel. Nagel? No, it's Paul. Huh? Uh, no. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't get any of these jokes. I have she's, no new idea. The, she's new to the program. Yes. She's never heard the show before. No. <laughs> and so, she was the second choice of the friend. Yeah. yeah. What did I miss? Uh, oh, wow. Paul's a different character. Let's recap 20 years of he's wonderfulness. He's a lighthearted character. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, so he's a large man. A large man. Uh, still married to your mom? Yes, they're still married. Uh, uh, miserable? He, no, he had a wife. <laughs> he had a wife before he met my mom. Oh, ah, okay. This is a little uh, evilness. No, Any yes. family? Any, uh, you have any half brothers? Yeah, I have two half brothers. Half brothers? I do. Do they want to fuck you? What? <laughs> Anthony! <laughs> Anthony! I just, I just say what everyone thinks. <laughs> wow. That's fucking terrible. The question is have they? <laughs> Uh, no, no, one of them is gay, so no. Oh, oh well, <laughs> Jimmy. <Yeah. laughs> oh. oh, wow, okay. That's, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so that is your, your dad can't be uh, um, happy with that. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, it's a bad thing. I'm just saying most dads don't want the thought of their son listen, getting a big Greek, dick in their ass. It's, uh... <laughs> Yeah. It's, Greek? We're Greek. Ah, okay. So, uh, so you're Greek? It's kind yeah. of mandatory. It's a sexy national. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Comes with the flag. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Are you 100% Greek? Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Wow. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> right? You know the stereotype. Right I, I, I remember the first Cooper. first time I heard the term Greek was my friend Dean Miller, <laughs> who taught me. He, taught, he was a little older and more advanced than I was, oh. and um, he told me about, about getting Greeked. And I'm like, what's that mean? He's like, well, just go home and tell your mom that you want to get Greeked. <laughs> so at home, I was telling my mom, I really want to get Greeked, or I want to Greek somebody. <laughs> called in your dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, did she know what you meant? Of course. Wow. <laughs> Apparently she was a better egg than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so... Uh, is she answering that question? or? Yeah, she doesn't have big daddy. The second issue. family no, is, is she answering the group yeah, question? Had, uh, There's something going on there. Before he met yeah. my Any... mom, and then they uh, ran away and got eloped, and they've been pretty happy ever since. Did you ever have the feeling that he feels more strongly for the first family than you? Oh. <laughs> 
No, no, we actually uh, all get along pretty well, but uh, oh. he's uh, he's got a pretty nasty, angry Greek temper, which can be ah. pretty funny sometimes. Oh, really? Funny. Oh, funny. she says yeah. it's funny. funny. Yeah. yeah, that's funny as yeah. she's in tears. Yeah. 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 As he's exactly. throwing people out of the diner. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> Too early. Yeah, you that. want the peas carrots? <laughs> yeah. Cheeseburger, oh. cheeseburger. Brings home those dumb baskets with the pickles and coleslaw in it. <laughs> hey, pickle coleslaw. You want Very good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, that's not really any. You answer. win that one. Oh, oh you should ask the other, the other question. They're, they're, yeah, who terrible he was asking about. The Greek thing. <laughs> Either girl want to answer yeah, that. What's that? It's, it's, that's acceptable. I think people know that. Oh, you're it's oh. understood. No, but I mean, do you find that to be, not that you would do it, but do you find that to be an objectionable activity? No, no, I don't. Oh, whoa. Point. Back to Toronto. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What about Toronto? I can't beat that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. So, man, I, I'm not big on ass fucking. I mean, I'm trying <laughs> Whoa, whoa. I'm just saying. I'm being wow. honest. Is that what we were even talking about? We were dancing around that. My God. Yes. No, no, no. I'm just throwing that out there like I would no matter what you're talking about. Ah. <laughs> Jimmy, you ready to make a decision? Did someone no. try and no. fuck you all up about it? No, no. No one's ever tried. I'm gonna give come her on. that one. I'll you were give her asleep, that one. <laughs> yeah, drunk. Come on. Then I wouldn't know. <laughs> no, oh, <okay. laughs> you wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you woke up and you thought you sat in cranberry sauce, <laughs> 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 then I would know. Yeah, you guys was right. No. Hey, I was referencing an injury. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Jimmy's not ready to make his decision yet. No, they're both fantastic. They are very. Just taking one of these gals girl. to lunch Be there, Mark. Beautiful, Meyer. beautiful girl. To very lunch. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. The okay. one girl has never heard the show, and the other one's a yeah. you know a fan. pretty big fan. Such so. a fan that she flew here alone from Toronto. Well, then I, I think you should go with the one that you're going to surprise in a couple hours. <laughs> <laughs> You've got yeah. a whole new audience here. To <laughs> yeah. I've never had anybody want that on their chest before. <laughs> you might want to break that to her, Jimmy. I thought this was lunch. Why are we showering? <laughs> you want to break that one to her, Jimmy? Well, just, you know, I, I've joked about being tinkled on. Yeah. You know, maybe it's just a crazy yeah. thing. Yeah. Joked about. She's, yeah. she's nodding. Yeah. Yeah. She said she's an Eight as far as craziness uh, in on the a ten. ten. So she was, she was being ten. conservative. She was lowering her number said, though. Yeah, she said an eight, but she was lowering it. And so she wasn't bragging because we asked, and then you know. We're thinking you're ten crazy, which would probably include you know a little squat over somebody, a little tinkle, <laughs> right? Well, no, she spends two hours with Jim. She goes to ten point four. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, okay. You get add percentage points. <laughs> yeah. That's it with that crazy little sound girls make. <laughs> Know, that's, that's, that's a girl pissing. Or... Oh, that's what that is? Yeah. That's an amazing impression of a girl You've never, impression of you've never been in the bathroom when a girl's taking a leak? It's no, hilarious. I have, but it didn't sound like a balloon. <laughs> it does, no, it's like... <laughs> yeah? I mean, yeah, it makes like a fucking it wacky sound. It sounds like sound. a dentist drill. It does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did, now, did you work on that impression over time in the bathroom? <laughs> yes, I was <laughs> like, piss again, yeah, yeah. I gotta get this straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not quite it. <laughs> There's more water. Drink. Drink. I got it. Yeah, I got this. I'm the fucking uh, Rich Little of Vaginas. <laughs> I'd buy rich that CD. Little. Yes. <laughs> what are you kidding me? The Rich Little of Vaginas. Yeah. On sale now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pair of pussy lips doing Carson. I'll take Monday off. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was actually here. The, wasn't he here the first week of the festival? The, Rich Little? <laughs> no, the okay. Rich Little of Vaginas. Yes, I think the Rich Little of Vaginas was here. <laughs> He's a French He's club soda. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well, well I guess we'll answer. Are we, uh, any other questions, Jimmy, or we'll, uh, we'll get back to the ladies? We'll get back to them because right. uh, yeah, yeah. That, that was a good answer by both. They're both very honest. I prefer honesty over sure. Those guys are really close to you over there. I th actually thought that hand was your leg, was on uh, your leg. Did you, did you almost do that? Lean over and you're trying. Yeah. Are you working it a little Are bit? Are you trying to bump the knuckles against the back of the thigh? That's what I do. Just on the feel a little bit, right? I was thinking about it. I was hoping you guys wouldn't uh, talk to her. I was, I was working you. her before the show. I told her I was going to bring her to lovely Ronkonkoma, Long Island. Is Ooh. that where you're from? The conk. Yeah. The conk. We love uh, the conk. I'm from Long Island. I worked in Ronkonkoma. Where for, birds? For, you ever go to birds? No. Forbidden fruit, though. You ever hear that one? That's a, that's a gem. Oh, that's, that's a newer place. I, I love guess. the uh, Ronkonkoma strip clubs. 
girls with the fucking bullet wound scars. <laughs> oh, my God. You go in for lunch, and they're vacuuming the stage, and uh, the sh <laughs> shuffle away, and get back oh, on the stage. Oh, it's fantastic. Perfect. L fucking lubing up the pole. <laughs> they do that clean. I, I like when the, the stripper has to, like, get the clean, windex yeah. out. Clean the mirror. Just cleaning yeah, the yeah. mirror. It's like, yeah, yeah. You know, right, right, just dance. Dance. Yeah, who gives a shit? Exactly. Stop trying to class up the jerk. <laughs> yeah. Wow, the conch. Nice. You came up just for this show, or you got uh, business up here? Well, I, I moved to uh, Boston, and I uh, was going to be up here for a bachelor party anyway, so oh. I figured I'd leave, uh, oh, leave at midnight, party. get up here uh, a little early. Did you go to the bachelor party yet, or you got it? No, uh, after this. After this? It starts. Wow. <laughs> what, 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 what is it going to entail? A little strip club action? Probably, yeah. most likely. Blow jobs? <laughs> Everything for each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, little ten-man Greek session. Ah, oh, oh, all right. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, how many? How many like that one, Jim? How many guys? How many ten. guys in this? Ten guys. Ten guys, all fucking sexed up, just walking around Montreal. Suffolk County dirtbags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Long Island and Boston assholes. Just, just, just ready, together. ready to rip it. Oh. Landscape fucking pricks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? This cunt don't want to do nothing. You don't fucking answer. Speak exactly. your fucking English. I'll touch the fucking girls. This mook ain't going to stop me. <laughs> yeah, you guys are destined for some fights. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Oh, no, good luck. Nothing yeah. like uh, Mr. DiStefano over there, though. Uh, yeah. No, what did, why'd you move to Boston? Uh... Went to school up there. All liked right. it up there. Oh, I feel like a lot of family. N not, not a cool story. It is a traitorous thing to do as yeah, a New Yorker like, fuck? to kind of move yeah, to Boston. Tough. Were you a Yankees fan or a Mets fan? Yeah, Yankees, Jets. Oh. And you moved to fucking Boston? That's yeah. good. That's not right. good, right, Chris? My, yeah, my dad, would not, my dad would not approve of oh, that. Oh, shit. <laughs> at all. Oh, shit. That's like all he cares about is, what, are you the Sox? Are you with the fucking Sox? Are you Red Sox fan, you pussy? Oh, no way. This guy's an MMA fighter, Dad. He'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> they start the Yankees suck chance like in church. Yeah, yeah exactly. Anywhere they got two or more people. Yeah. Yankees yeah. suck. Yankees. Yeah. Sure they do. Yeah. I had that at the, uh, the DMV, actually, uh, yeah, two days ago. Yankees suck. Getting a lot of shit. I got the uh, new license plate with a little uh -oh, New York what, flair to it. What, what does what? it say? I'd rather not. Uh, oh, you don't want to give it Is it Yankee yeah. related? Yes. In See, Boston? You're nuts. Gotta. What's left for you're license crazy. plates that you could possibly get that's Yankee related that hasn't been taken? Right. It was the Yankees are great. Uh, <laughs> uh, <yeah>. Massachusetts. <laughs> wow, you're looking for trouble. That's crazy. Yeah. Drive around Boston and fucking... With that? It'll be all right. It's a little, uh... <laughs> it's it's got to be an old... It's, it's not as obvious. They're not that smart up there, so... Oh, uh, they, all right. Nice. Now you tell them they're not smart. Nice. It's got to be an old car, though. You don't give a fuck if they take yeah, a bat to it. <laughs> it's from Long Island. It's probably a Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, Angela, get in a fucking car, you fucking piece of shit. You talking to him, you fucking bitch? Yeah. An IROC. Is that what they were called? An IROC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I rock. Italian retards out cruising. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than the one they had for Pontiac. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was the first joke my father ever told me. Was that <laughs> <laughs> of course it it's was. true. Yeah. I always remember that. Of course Holy it shit. Was. I don't even know the joke. It's, uh, yeah, p poor, poor old nigga thinks it's a good uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, Look, I don't say the N word. Yeah. yeah except I'm offended that. by saying N word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's what it was. Yeah. I, I think in Canada I just committed a felony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, apparently. Like going out in Vancouver, they hauled off to jail. Human for, Rights Commission. Even saying that. I don't know. Very diverse crowd here today. <laughs> yeah. See, I was being sarcastic. Yeah, yeah. As always. As always. <laughs> as always. I was very uh, surprised. The streets of Montreal, so quiet, so peaceful. <laughs> really? No crazy people screaming on the corners. No one. Ho we were in traffic yesterday trying to get to dinner, and not one person honked a horn. No, it's wait, amazing. You Will you go to that theater tonight? You'll see. That's the fucking district. Is that when it comes out? Maniacs working on giant fucking homeless dogs and fucking all kinds of shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, right up the street, right? Is it, yeah, is it crazy? Yeah. Like that Occupy Wall Street 
They crowd. Crowd. Oh, no, oh. They're psychos. Yeah. Uh. So a guy fucking had a dog. He there was a needle in his. It was gross. It was gross uh. in that one part. I don't know what it was. Yeah, but. yeah. It's right. A few blocks away. It's yeah. heavy up there. Yeah. This guy had like you know I had my keys and I was fucking ready to go. I had <laughs> <laughs> keys in your knuckles. Yeah, ready to go, man. Not that, not that. Because I was with my girlfriend and she, they were saying something. So I was just like you know like I don't you know because like I said I don't I'm not a fighter at all. But it's like you know you don't say anything to fucking her. Don't say anything to her. <laughs> I almost lost oh it. shit. <laughs> That's, you, you, uh. you see. I'm not a fighter at all, but... but no. <laughs> well, I, I think, like, you know, like, we get, like, really protective, like, of women. I don't, you know. He'll start throwing if you yeah. fucking... Right, no, I, I had no doubt. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he just said, you know, he said something stupid. But he was all fucking junky out, say? so what was he going to do? What did, nah, yeah. She's got, like, red hair, you know, so he just said something. I, I, maybe, I don't know, it was in French. I just assumed it was I, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To me, it was stupid. Yeah. French is stupid. You can uh, tell no. by the tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. said... Yeah. What the fuck you say? You fucking pink pants. Panther, motherfucker, you want to go at it? <laughs> no, but no, you're not a fighter. Same, don't you're feel bad. He said the same thing to Sam when he walked by. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Rouge, how are you? Something about the rug matching the Nothing. chapeau. Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Oh. Very oh. offensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you jump in if your chick starts some shit, though? Like, chicks will do that. They'll fucking, you know, fuck you, asshole, and then they expect... Uh, and if it's you, that's fucking great. If it's me, ooh. chicks. No, stick. definitely chicks. I definitely try to diffuse it. Diffuse it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Hundred. Hundred percent. Tell but, your uh, chick to shut up. You ever do yeah, that? Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'd rather get into a fight with her than have to fucking you know right. knock somebody's teeth out and then what? Then what? Because your chick calls them an asshole. Right. They call her a fucking cunt. Now well, you got to jump in. I got a good chick because she's hot, but she doesn't. And she and she she knows it, but she also does comedy too. So she's kind of and she's got a lot of daddy issues, oh, and so yeah. she's like, but she's comfortable and she's good and she knows like she can take care of herself you know, okay. which, which is good and she's 100 percent sicilian so she's oh fucking, wow and her brothers are i mean machines of men so all oh, right yeah, okay so, so she's cool she's protected but i just i wouldn't i wouldn't no she's she's good but <laughs> right. this homeless guy just he almost pushed it too far and almost kicked this fucking dog in the fucking jaw oh wow <laughs> who are you fucking who are you fucking patrick bateman <laughs> <laughs> why don't you get a job well like after after i was on the show yesterday like one of you know my buddies were like hey we were listening he was like you know they were telling me like you know chris you snap more than you realize and i was like no i don't and then I, they were like, you know, you do. And then I started, like, getting, like, really aggravated. <laughs> you were ready to snap <laughs> expectations. I was like, yeah. I'm going to fucking put somebody in a coma right now. <laughs> <laughs> All I want is ham. Uh, <laughs> But, that's, uh, that's always the best response to that. You know, you have an anger problem. What the fuck does that yeah, mean? Right. Yeah. What are you fucking even talking about? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, uh, yeah. You know, so, I'm one of those guys who, uh, like, I, I just... I guess maybe you want people to like, you know, me or something like that. Or, yeah. And I just feel like I hold a lot of shit in. Like, a lot of shit bothers me, like, about some of the things my friends say. Or I just never say anything. I'm like, nah, I don't want to cause an argument. You look like you're having a nice day. I don't want to ruin this. <laughs> but then I go home and I fucking brush my teeth till my gums bleed. I'm just like, <laughs> you know, I'm fucking, I'm trying to wiggle my teeth out. I'm squeezing soap, you know. I just, just... sit on the toilet. I don't even have to shit. I just want to <laughs> squeeze. <laughs> You got a lot of that. You keep it inside. Yeah, but I never like have snapped. Snap. Besides right. the baseball bat. Baseball bat. Was a couple of times. Yeah, but, yeah, but it was 9/11. Yeah, it was 9/11, and the other guy fouled me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we understand. Yeah. The other, but other than I, I'll never. No, I, I don't like to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously. <laughs> I find that as I get older, like if I get in a fight with my girlfriend, obviously there's no bats or chairs. I don't know what happened here earlier. Yeah. But. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but I I'm literally too fucking old for it. Like we get into a yelling thing where because she'll go at it with me. Like yeah, oh, you know, there's wow. the, you know there's a couple kinds of women. They're the kinds that cry quickly and then the ones where it takes some time. Uh huh. And like so so we fight and she's yelling and I'm yelling and it's like Joe Pesci in that scene from uh, from Casino where he's kicking the guy and he's got to take winded. a break. Yeah, he's like oh, yeah, yeah. like literally it's like I'm screaming. I'm like I, I gotta sit down. I, I got no more. I'm too old for this <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's ridiculous and I'm exhausted. exhausted the next day. And she's like, what's the matter? I'm like. I, you're gonna kill me. I'm dying from this. Yeah, and that's why I love her. At the when I fight with a chick, it's like Pesci from JFK. She pulls off her blonde wig, and I realize it's just a bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible fucking weakness. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck me! Terrible weakness. That crying part is the that's the uh, a fork in the argument road right there. When she cries, when she starts crying. Yep. The original argument 
becomes like it morphs into something else. No, yeah. no, then there's no argument anymore. Right. Then, then you just become an apology monster. Because, like, oh. if, yeah, yeah, right. As soon as they cry, yeah. then they're, they're, it's a different issue. Like, you're an animal, and, you know, you're an, and there's no, the argument has no bearing on anything. Then you're, it's just packing clothes, things are being loaded. It's hard. Yeah, yeah. And then you have to, and I've talked about this before, having sex on a pile of clothing that's been taken out of drawers to leave you with is the best wow. sex. Wow. Yeah, wow. very, Jeez. everything depends. Depends on it. It's very important. Jeez, that's cutting it close. It's a, meta it's a metaphor. It is a metaphor. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Anthony, these guys are like, what, what's fucking yes, wrong with Paul? him? Right Anthony makes his girlfriend cry. Wah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> Uncle Paul. I, I want to say I fight less. We fight less. I fight less with this one less. than I ever have, and it's getting much better. Everything's good. I didn't know. It's just because you're resigning yourself to the fact that, you know. I have to. Yeah, Enough yeah, already, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Why well, jump in sometimes and get yeah, into just a, take it. a brawl? Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. More right. I, wish, I wish my girl would start shit with people because when she doesn't. Then I hear about it for an hour. Like if she, if something happens, uh, you know, like that guy's a fucking ass. Did you see what he did? I mean, it, it's it's entertaining, but and it's probably better that she doesn't start shit. But a lot of times, yeah. like the discussion of how much of an asshole someone is based on one interaction. Right. Like you know, he didn't say thank you. That's an hour that we're going to talk about that. The that assessment sounds, of that situation. That sounds like a problem. No, no, it's a, it's all right. It's entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Then I don't have to talk. I just listen and go. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. What an <laughs> asshole. It's horrible. That guy. Do you feel like Marky? Do you feel like your girl ever like provokes you? Like, like, I feel like my girl, like, if I miss something, yeah. like, she'll let me know, like, oh, that guy just said I had a nice ass, you know? And I'm just like, <laughs> well, I didn't see it, so yeah. would you want me to go back? Yeah. And then I feel like if I don't, like, there was one, like, uh, last week, she, I, as a guy was hitting on her, I didn't realize it. And she was like, you just, when we got back, she was like, you just let that guy hit on me? I was like, what? I thought you guys were talking like oh human beings. God. Do you want me to go wow. fucking find oh What do you want God. me to do? And then she just gets me charged right. up. Yep. And then, you know, it's just a fucking blowout fight. Right, and then with her, with her, yeah, with her. yeah. Well, that, I mean, the provoking jealousy thing—that's a—that's a nightmare. Because yeah, that oh, that doesn't happen a lot, but yeah. you know, it's when you don't give them enough attention. They're like, you, then they say something like, you know, guys, don't, they hit on me too. They they do all the time. And you're like, what do you mean all the time? Well, you just don't notice it. What are you fucking talking about? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're in it, and then uh, yeah, and, and then I'm. Maybe they're delusional. I don't know what this comes from. Yeah. But I every time that happens with yeah. us, when we fight like that and we have makeup sex, yeah. I never pull out. Yeah. <laughs> you want so you wanna have a, you wanna have an anger baby? Yeah. It's like some like it's some like I just want I'm like I just wanna fucking you know, I it's like a weird thing and she's she's brought it up to me because she's yeah. not on the pill and yeah. you know, yeah. we just pull out yeah. and you know and Every time this happens, I'm just fucking, you know, I'm just like, I'm going to come inside of you. She's like, no, don't. I'm like, I'm going to fucking do yeah. it. And then I do wow. it. Yeah. And then we're fucking, you know, plan B or yeah, fingers worry. crossed. Or, right. well, uh, it's a good story for a kid. You, when, The night you were conceived, I yeah. wanted to kill your mother. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was killing her with my cock when you happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm saying that through a fucking glass window in prison. <laughs> Wait, she's holding up the baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's another thing that that look that uh, a girlfriend will give you when you ask her a question or say something, uh -huh. and you realize from the look, it's like, oh no, she she told me this before. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I, yeah. I've asked, I'm asking yeah. her a question. Yeah. She obviously told me this, and I was just not paying attention yeah. or listening. And, like the question is, do you mind if I fuck my ex? <laughs> <laughs> You know, she's addressed And this. you get a look like, and then you go like, oh, fuck. And then you just start rattling through your head and you cannot remember what she was rambling on and babbling yeah. about. Yeah. Like, we're supposed to pick up the tidbits of real information in that inane, droning babble. Wow. Yeah. Damn. There's a lot of love there, and yeah. There's a lot of love there. <laughs> Come on. Or wait, wait, uh, what's, what's worse, I don't know, like, is when uh, I know that happens on my side where I'll tell her something. She's like, I know. We, you told me this before. Oh, yeah. And then you just feel like a stupid old guy. That, I mean, that's the other. Oh, no. You never want to do that. It's the worst. The old guy thing is it's oh, never going to go away. Yeah. She's 20 years younger than me, so I'm doomed. And it's just never going to go away. The old guy thing is just, it's a, it's a constant thing. Every day you wake up and you're like, I'm so lucky I'm dying. <laughs> you, you know, like, it's like, it, it, uh, I can't. Uh, yeah, that's nothing, the biggest problem. Nothing sexier uh, in front of a younger girl than having to pull out your reading glasses <laughs> right, and having them low on your nose as you look up at her. Uh huh. Yeah. What? Excuse me. Oh, it's just that so was, sexy. I bet. The worst yeah. thing. The worst thing is when they when she hovers right here, and she looks yeah, at yeah. the side of my head. She's like, we got to do your ears. 
That's <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why don't you just watch just whisper, you're old. <laughs> oh, you're old. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing better than looking at the multicolored nail polish on chewed up fingernails running it through your gray chest hairs. It's uh it's a treat. It's your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sam handed a note. We got a fucking break in for What? Time. Just because of life. Sam's reads. a killjoy. No kidding. So we'll take a break and we'll hang yeah, out. Yeah, we'll take a break. Mark Maron's here. Are you sticking around, Mark? You yeah, got yeah, yeah. To go? Not for 20 minutes. Uh, All right. Uh, 20 we'll talk about the second <laughs> season of the TV show. Congrats cool. on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Very happy yes, for you. Thank you very much. Of course, Colin Quinn is here and uh, Chris uh, DiStefano. Are you sticking around? Sure. And yeah. we got another comic in the audience wants to say hi that Jay Moore turned me on to. Oh, oh the little fella. What? That's not a nice way He's to respond. He's a little fella. Christ. What? what? The fuck? I don't know. It just doesn't seem He's right. He's a little guy. Oh, I thought you made me. Oh, oh Jimmy. <laughs> All right, we'll be back live in Montreal at the Just for Last Festival. Live from the world's largest comedy festival, Just for Last Montreal. 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 This is the Opie and Anthony Show. More, more, more. Yes. The Opie and Anthony Show continues. Live from Just for Last Montreal. Oh, yeah. We are back live from Montreal, Just for Last Festival. We got Mark, uh, Mark Marin on the couch. Yeah. We got Colin Quinn. Yes. We got yeah. Chris uh, DiStefano. And we got a little guy uh, sitting on the couch. Hey. And he just takes a Where? seat. We didn't even uh, we didn't even say take <laughs> no a seat. Intro, yet. Nothing. No, nothing. Why not? I, I, I figure it's the O and A show. Midgets are a great accessory. Oh, that's so politically incorrect. I, I was telling Anthony. I think he can say it. <laughs> no, it's I'm, called burdens. Yeah. <laughs> uh, teasing, of course. I was telling Anthony. I was telling Anthony during the commercial that mud, uh, midgets are just fun. Right? Uh, just oh, talking when, to you was kind of just fun. Right. When is a midget ever around where you're like, fuck my life, I hate this? No, never. You see a midget, you're happy. Oh, it doesn't matter. You get fired from your job. Honey, your wife is cheating on you. You walk down the street, you see me, you're like, <laughs> are you okay with the M word? Are you all right with the M word? I've been protested because I say the M word, because oh, I say the midget. Really? Word. Oh, really? I was doing a comedy club. Uh, oh, by the way, my name's Brad Williams. Hi. Uh, Brad, Brad Williams. Hi, yes. Brad. Hi. What's up? Uh, um, Jay Moore turned me on to you. Jay Moore yeah. tweets me one day and says, "You got to just you got to follow him. He's really funny." I'm like, "All right, if Jay says so, I guess I have to." Yeah, do that. Well, follow me on Twitter at Funny Brad. Thanks. Uh, and at yeah, Funny Brad. Yeah, Brad Williams was taken. I was drunk. I was like, well, "I'm funny. I'll work out." It's like, <laughs> it's stupid, but whatever. Uh, I was <laughs> I was in Detroit, Michigan, and uh, I was doing a show at a comedy club called Joey's Comedy Club up there, yeah. and uh, 24 midgets came out to protest me with the picket signs and everything. That's uh, adorable. Look, well, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I'm like, did you, did you, is it really a protest? <laughs> well, did you know what was happening when one parking spot got taken up? <laughs> like, is it really a protest if the entire thing could be blocked by a Mini Cooper driving by? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, really, uh, so, yeah. They're protesting and, their own? Yeah, because it's like, fucked it, up. Because they're saying, like, you, you say midget, and they did the whole, and I know it's kind of a. Uh, a hack bit, but they they're like, so when you call a dwarf a midget, it's the exact same as calling a black person the n word. Oh boy! And I'm just like, midget, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, like it's not like 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 because because black that's totally different because like black people had to go through slavery, which was terrible. But like midgets were never slaves because we would have been the worst slaves on the planet. Yeah. You know, the slave, fetch me that jar, second shelf, boss, you're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? Can I ask you a question? Yeah, fire away. <laughs> the so, so what what is the appropriate? Uh, is, is it the dwarf is okay, or is there a yeah. difference between a dwarf and a midget? Is, uh, yeah, technically, like we like being called dwarves or little people, but to me, those we, words kind of sound kind of condescending. Little people sounds bad. We like right. that like, does sound like, bad. Like, you're no. just a little person. Yeah, yeah. you are. Yeah, yeah. little yeah, people. Uh, but you're okay it's, with dwarf? Yeah, that's well, because well, we have dwarfism, so it's kind of like I like dwarf. I'll go with that. Yeah, you go with dwarf. But like to me, that's kind of like. <laughs> yeah, like, like, Mark, we've gone with kickables. <laughs> We yeah. have. That's the word we use on the show. That's the type of show you're on, Brad. <laughs> kickable. We call them kickables. That's awesome. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know, but like, dwarf to me has kind of like the fairy tale yeah. connotation. Sure. Like, you hear, oh, he's a dwarf. You're going to walk on the radio just, hi, ho. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. something like that. But 
So what is midget? What's wrong with midget, though? Oh, it, it's got some, like, carnival references. But to oh. me, to me, it doesn't sound bad. It almost sounds French, like fancy, like, my friend is a midget. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. What, Mid uh, midget. Now, when you walk on stage, you're, uh, yeah. you know, obviously, visually, everybody knows, okay, he's small. So sure. what point when you're doing material, <laughs> it, does it become like, okay, I, I got to talk about it, because you have to address it. You, you have you can to. just talk about other things and not yeah. at all reference that. Well, because when, when, when I first started doing stand-up, I was just doing, like, observational what's going on in the news and I didn't mention it at all <laughs> and I noticed the audience was just looking at me like does he know <laughs> 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 but so then I, I I have to address it at first. But yeah, then then we move on to other topics. But yeah, we, you you do have to satisfy that part of the crowd's desire of knowledge. And yeah, uh, it, it's funny. I did a gig one time where literally I haven't even said anything in the microphone yet, and uh, this woman was uh, terrified of little people. She has something called microphobia, which is a real. My brother has that for real. Like yeah. For, like yeah, he gets legit. freaked out when he sees midgets. Yeah, yeah. And, and like people are like that's not real. No, because no, it's real. Uh, her friends were all fans of mine, and they thought it would be an absolute hoot <laughs> if they brought her to my show, sat her in the front row, and did not tell her who the comedian was that night. So oh, I, boy. so I walk on stage before I even grab the microphone. This woman just stands up and goes, "Jesus Christ!" Oh. <laughs> and you said he obviously doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> See him move his arms? That was really weird. <laughs> Anyone else knows how weird that arm movement was? Jim Jim well, did a dwarf arm movement. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I like wow. how, Jim, I love that you tucked in your arms like, let's the little added T-Rex. Yeah. I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, 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 that was not intentional. It's just I, I become the character. Wait, so what? what is that phobia about? Do you know? Have you researched it? Well, because, well here's, here's the deal is I think it changes from person to person. But I asked this woman at, at the show, why are you afraid of little people? And this was her honest to God response. I said, why are you afraid? Goes, she goes, every time I see a little person, I just know they're going to rape me. <laughs> now look at her like this. And then you raped her. <laughs> <laughs> why would they? Well, out of spite. Right. <laughs> how dare her for being right. I can like, see if they said, how come you see, every time you see a little person with a ladder. Yeah, but like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like, I, I can't. It's impossible. There's no, like, it, it, like, really, you're afraid of this? Like, it's con it's not contagious. Yeah. I, can't, I can't walk up to you, scratch you in the knee, and you go, I'm melty. That doesn't happen. Right, I, I got to ask uh, uh, about the hog. The what? The hog. Right oh, there. midgets so have yeah, yeah, regular yeah. pieces. What's what's going on? Yeah. Uh, well, he see. Here's the best part: is that it's regular. It's it's average size. Right. But on me, it looks fucking okay. huge. <laughs> right. Yeah, my cock hangs down on my knees. Yeah, so. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Like I, like I can legitimately say me. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it, it, it's nice little feather in the cat. I, I think with, with with the dwarves, which I enjoy. Um, <laughs> They, they, I, I like get, how he says dwarf like it's a summer salad. Dwarf. dwarf. Yeah, I enjoy, very yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I enjoy a Waldorf dwarf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but I think the reason people freak out is because it's, it's you don't see a lot of you. Sure. And uh -huh. and and when you do, like it's sort of like a car accident. You know, when you're you have to look. Right. You have to look, but everything everything becomes very very immediate. You know right. what I mean? Like when you see a, a little person, it's like holy shit, there is right there. Yeah. And everything becomes very immediate, and you kind of the whole time the whole like. Uh, uh, everything revolves around you for a second. Sure. What, what, what's ridiculous is that I've realized that the only stereotypes about little people are fantastical stereotypes, like yeah. we make cookies, we make chocolate, live in a tree, all that you shit. Some of you yeah. can fly, correct? Correct, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so then I, I, I feel like whatever I do when people are looking at me, yeah, that's yeah. what people are think like all right. midgets do. Like yeah. if I'm walking out and I'm like eating a Twinkie, like, oh, midgets love Twinkies. That's their thing. Like, they do that. <laughs> uh, well, I think the sad thing is, is it's, it's always going to be entertaining for other people. No Absolutely. matter what, you could be having the worst day of your life or have yeah. a limp or something, but they're going to be like, yeah, look at that guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, it, you should do things that aren't conducive with what you who you are, but just mm -hmm. to fucking annoy, like just to give people the wrong impression. Once you want to walk into a room, just going, "What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do?" Oh, that that reminds me. St. Patrick's Day oh. is the scariest fucking oh, day. Yeah. I I never go out on St. Patrick's Day because I, I I know yeah, I, I'm just gonna go out to the bar. Some guys gonna stop drinking, look at me, go. He knows where it is. Yeah, so, yeah. Right. Hey, what kind of cereal you like? <laughs> I. I 
can't buy Lucky Charms without people like going, oh, that's funny. Like, no, uh, it's, it's delicious cereal, uh, asshole. Say, say, it right, right. say it right. Magically, yeah. magically delicious. delicious. It's magically yeah. delicious. Hey, uh, yeah. Ticket list. Cross that off. Brad, you go to the conventions? I, I, I do go to the conventions. It looks like it's a fuck fest. It, it, it really is. Wait, wait, dwarf conventions? Yeah, oh, I, I, I watched you guys a little. You know about this? I watched a little People Big World. I love yeah. the fucking show. Sure. I, you've never been on it, though. No. They should uh, have you. I, uh, well, yeah, they don't really like me too much either. I, why? Uh, a bunch of midgets don't like me because I say midgets yeah. a lot. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, stop yeah. saying midgets and get some more work. Uh, people so, McNugget. Oh, Let's no, go. the conventions, they get together. You're trying to find wives and shit because yeah. there's not other uh, little people in their in their hometown. Oh, but they now, mostly go to try to find yeah. you know, husbands so and wives. Your, your brother's terrified up. of midgets and you're obsessed with them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that fucked up? <laughs> I got, I got. He had a midget terrify him in a in a, in a old uh, Volkswagen bus when we were really young. Wait, how does what? The, the, Wait. the midget just started circling the car because he knew my brother was freaked out. And he was walking around the just, car. That's all he did. A BW bus, that, just walking that's around. That's all he did, and my brother was completely freaked out. That's by awesome. the experience. That's, I love that midget for doing that. Yeah. So damn. tell us friend. about the conventions. Oh. It's, sorry, Chris. It, it, oh, sorry. It, it, it is a damn orgy. Like you go there, and everyone's just like, and that, and it's great because we could fit more of us on a bed. It's fucking awesome. Uh, but really, like, you're going there just to, just to hook up because, like you say, you we're not around a lot. So then we all gather in one hotel. By the way. Shitty hotels. Is there a name for it? when uh, LPA, little, uh, little People of America. No, for when they just fuck. <laughs> Show on Discovery Channel now. <laughs> there is actually a te <laughs> the technical word is aw. Yeah. <laughs> but that convention is open to, to regular people too, right? Yeah. Because I have a regular who's, people. I, a, I know you yeah, almost said, said real people. <laughs> <Yeah. you? laughs> the yeah. normal people. They're open to human beings. <laughs> not <laughs> so uh, uh, not God's mistake. They can come too. Oh, <laughs> no, I got a friend who's banged like three midgets. Wow. Oh, so, oh, so he's, I, no, and he's, been, he's been to the convention. Yeah, he, I bet oh, he has. He absolutely yeah, his has name is Rich Voss. Yeah, we'll bet that in whatever convention we're, we're, we're doing, we always have it in a big hotel. And I'm always, like, fearful of the people that are just staying in that hotel to just as a regular vacation. Mm. Like, like, they're just coming in, mm. and they walk out of the elevator totally hungover. They, oh, there's yeah. a thousand midgets in the <laughs> damn lobby. They're like, what the hell did I drink last night? Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for you, too. Um, sure. About, uh, oh, shit, I forgot what it was. Oh, no. <laughs> do, oh, do, do other uh, midgets or dwarves, or do they see you as kind of like the way a black guy would see the guy who was dancing down the steps with Shirley Temple? Like, like Tom? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. literally. He's my an Uncle saying, Tom Thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. That's uh, my next album right there. Yeah. Uh, oh, that is fucking hilarious. That is great. That's great. Uh, some, is that why they dislike you? Some do. Yeah, some do. But then uh, it, it, they either fall on two different sides <laughs> of the midget spectrum. Uh, it, it's either they hate me or they just, like, they think I'm like a god of some kind. It's a insane. god. Yeah. See, uh, Buscemi said in a movie, there was a movie Buscemi did, and there was a mm -hmm. scene with a dwarf, and they were, they, the dwarf was fucking annoyed, going, how do you think, every time there's a dream sequence, I'm in it, like, just <laughs> talking about all these shitty things right. about that they put dwarves in. And it's like, after a point, doesn't it get to be fucking irritating? Like, we get well, it. Well, it's, sure, that's why it's so cool to see uh, guys like uh, Dinklage on uh, on uh, Game of Thrones. She's like, like fucking rock star now. So cool yeah. to see yes. the, the yeah, one yeah. guy. The, the, one, the one, one guy. guy. We have one. It's nice to know I have a billion in one shot of being right. famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The mini Dr. Evil. He was a famous. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with with all that dialogue, oh, he had Colin awesome Powers. <laughs> oh, Colin could have been in that movie. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> Way to go, oh, Chris. No. Way to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what you're talking that guy about. became a huge celebrity. Off that scab. Yeah. Huge couldn't... celebrity with no lines in that movie. Yeah. You would have been talking. Yeah. <laughs> How could they have found a mini Colin? It wouldn't. It wouldn't have worked. Hey, you know. <laughs> oh wait, was that who you were supposed point. to? Is that who you were supposed to be or no? <laughs> yeah, no, he was supposed no, to be Scott. Mini Scott. Oh, Minnie me. Well, <laughs> Minnie Colin. <laughs> well, I never saw the movie. But that guy oh, uh, yeah. has his own trip going on. What is he? Sure. Uh, he's uh, way shorter than you. Yeah, dude. Like, I, like he's I, like a foot tall. Would I, you bully him? Fuck yes, I would. <laughs> I have to know what that's like for once in my yeah. god. Like I just I like shit goes on the head. Way down I, think, like, yeah. I think he's got a sickness of some kind. The, 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 you know, you're, no, he has dwarfism too. Oh, but it's, but, but it's there, extra, extra. There's there's over a hundred different types because it's a genetic. Yeah. Is that many? Yeah. Yes. Now, do you guys like? Are like there subgroups at the convention yeah. where where you, each type gets to hang out with the types that are like them? Or yeah, 
Oh, there, there really? Is, yeah, there's a is it, there's is a primordial thing? dwarfism SED. I like that plate, primordial uh, dwarfism. Oh my god! Yeah, they're the ones that talk like this. Yeah. They, hey, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> I'm a grown man, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They talk how people think I should right. sound like. Oh, because yeah. I come on the radio, people are like, oh, you're a midget. And then it's radio, so listeners are like, we can't tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. Sounded a lot taller on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make fun of uh, the midgets that are taller or shorter? Uh, you know how, like, black people, they have this pride that they have to be really oh, right, black right, and right, right, shades right. of black? Uh, yeah, uh, so, like, if you're over four yeah, five, thing that sell happens with the midget shorty, thing? Yeah. <laughs> Where you make fun of him, like, oh, look, he's not as short as us. Fuck him. Uh, you know what? It, it's, yeah, well, it, it, it's, it's more like the short ones. Talk smack on the really tall ones. Oh. That's what they do. And, right. I, and I'm four foot four, so believe it or not, I'm like Yao Ming to my people. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's yeah, just a tall guy. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah I post up. We uh, One of the worst moments on our radio show. We, worst we have, or best. We have a lot of them. <laughs> we had a midget that wanted to become a stripper. And, and she came in because we're, you know, we, we consider ourselves mm -hmm. experts, especially at the time. Yeah. And we put her up on the console. And yeah. She, and she. Uh, to audition. We to wanted audition. to see if she had what it I took think, to be wait, a stripper. Yeah. I think I know this woman. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. L let me tell this story because I think it's the same person. Really? Uh, I was doing the comedy works in Denver, Colorado. and all Braggard. These, yeah, it, yeah. And all these fans came up to me afterward. They're like, dude, you got to go to this club, La Boheme. There's a midget stripper. And me, I'm like, I'm down. Let's go. So. Of course, you're down. Yeah. Yeah. Way down. <laughs> Choice of Both words. On that one. Right? Yeah. Oh, so Jesus. I go to the club, and, and there she and th She's not that much taller than Mini Me, if that. Wow. And uh, she's climbing the pole, but not shimming up. Like her legs are fully extended. Oh, And she's walking hilarious. up the pole <laughs> like it's return Rise of the Planet of the Apes going up the Golden Gate it's Bridge. It's like a koala bear. It really yeah, is. It's, it's, it's adorable. That, that one yeah. burlesque midget that tours with Margaret Cho, is that, do you know who I'm talking about? Oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah she, and uh, she does stand-up, too. Yeah, yeah, not very, that. Very, yeah, yeah, she's good, right? Very funny. Well, yeah, she's cool. Well, what but, happened with us? Uh, so here, oh, go ahead, uh, yeah. I go to the strip club and everyone's going nuts. Like, ah, and, like, and then I see her face and I go, holy crap, I used to babysit this girl. Oh, oh boy. Wow. Like back oh, in the Uncle day. Paul. Yeah, and then she runs up to me. She's like, Brad, oh, my God. And it's like, I, I love how I give her the midget voice. What if, <laughs> <laughs> did you say, did I'm fine, but world. she's like, oh, no, no, no. Did you say, I remember you when you were this? Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> when you were this? Oh, yeah. Uh, so was the dancer's name Little Sassy Cassie? I really Where don't do you know. Ooh, she she tried it out, and we were giving her some pointers, and it mm -hmm. ended with her. Some points. What? <laughs> it, ended, it ended with her crying hysterically. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my and God. yelling, I can't afford stilts. <laughs> right. she, I think she just decided it yeah, was the it was wrong bad. thing to do. That yeah. was a low point. The crying dwarf stripper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's trying to cover yeah. up. She's she trying was trying to cover, to cover up. up her little tiny body that oh. she thought was this a good idea horrendous. only five minutes earlier. There was one of those they drove home. Tom oh, Hanks. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Hanks. What are we doing? But I want to understand, how the hell did you babysit Sorry, another midget? I mean, how does that happen? Was well, there a midget babysitting thing? <laughs> yes, the website. <laughs> <laughs> Just coincidentally, you could babysit another dwarf? Well, like, a lot of us, uh, gro choice of words again, gr uh, growing up, yeah. uh, we, uh, like, uh, yeah, get it? Uh, we were all, like, we all know each other because we all hang out. We all kind of. I knew yeah, it. it. We all run the same circle. <laughs> yeah. So when people have kids, like, we understand that. Oh, I get so, it. I get yeah. it. I get it. There, cool. there, there's actually now a dwarf dating website. I was going to ask you if there's a midget. App. Oh, oh no. that there, is. Uh, there is. There is. Yeah, it's called uh, datealittle.com. Oh, date a little. Oh, date a little. Ah, date a little. See, the yeah. thing is, like, if, 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 if dwarves are, mm, don't want to be, like, it's kind of hard to get out of that. Like, all right, we, we're short, but it's, right. like, if everything they do has short involved in it. Like, sure. You know what I mean? Like, uh, big people, little little people, big world, all right, we're yeah, little. We everything has little. Right. Or, or, so it's like, how do they expect to... It, I, I mean, maybe I think, I think Jim is trying to blame you for people's <laughs> dumb no. fucking plays on words <laughs> yeah. throughout the history of dwarfism. <laughs> hey, you guys are building your own thing. You build your website and go a little bit. No, 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 no. But make your tiny You're little bed in LA and it's... Right, no, right. I don't mean You're that. Don't take fucking sociology 101. You're blaming the victim. No, no, I'm not saying it's a bad... I'm saying what is the plan to kind of get beyond that because it's got to 
to be, uh, you know, whenever it stops being funny, which so far, thankfully, oh, it's man. not. Oh, okay. Thousands <laughs> of years of humor. Oh, yeah, exactly. Curly <laughs> shoes. The whole deal. Little bells years. on him. All that jazz. <laughs> we, have to, hats. we have to say uh, goodbye to Mark Maron. He's Mark got Maron's all the press to go. go. Thanks, yeah. you guys. Let's hear from Mark Maron. Great seeing you. Always a pleasure. Nice uh, Any plugs, Mark? You good? Thanks, man. All right. Yeah. All right. Mark Maron, everyone. Great, See you, buddy. Love having Mark on. And I, I hear uh, backstage there is Judah Freelander. Oh, oh the world, world champion. Here. World champion, of course. All right. Here's why, okay. here's why I'll great. never get to a certain level in show business, because just now when you said that, I was laughing to myself thinking how Joe DeRosa's here and nobody's mentioned it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Why would that make me laugh? It is should... Joe here? Yeah. Yeah, he's I'm back there somewhere. Sam. Oh, he's back there. He's, he's, uh, he's back there pacing. I'm sure he's drinking or oh, something. He's fine. <laughs> we'll get to him. Jesus. Trying to scald his uh, arm. Bella. Hi, What's Judah. up, Judah? Hey, Judah, Judah, Judah. Take a seat. Isn't Mark Maron happy up, these days? How are you? Like he's, he used to be a miserable. Why are you shaking now? Now, now? How come you give all them the handshake and me the fist? Wait, you, don't like, you don't like shaking hands, Judah, in general? Yeah, because he saw what you did in Robert Kelly's hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to get you up to speed, we're making fun of the midget. So. Yeah, I know. If you want to jump in. Yeah, uh, Brad, make, Brad's a cool dude. No, no okay, Brad's yeah. actually hilarious. How long are you doing stand-up, yeah, yeah. Brad? Uh, ten years. Oh, okay. So you've been around a while. Yeah, I've been around And in midget long. years, how many years is that? <laughs> <laughs> Cut him in two and count the I'm rings. I'm really curious. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you're. I, I, I was listening earlier. You were saying like midget left and right. So, it is very you know, not fine. mystical. I don't. I know. I don't. I don't say it though. When I, I, I know. Say it? Well, I know it's the little people, and some I know get really offended. So I just. Eh. I just call them by their names, which are yeah. Wow, well, that's unique. That's, well, yeah, that's strange. Yeah. It's a very right. polite thing to do. Right. Yeah. Just treat them. Treat them like a real person. Yeah. Well, Great. That's the easy thing. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing around these parts, there, Judah? Uh, You're busy doing shows. Doing here shows. In town. Yeah. How is it? Montreal. How's the? Uh, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool, man. Yeah. yeah. There's some weird vibes in Montreal. What do you mean? Uh, well, I don't know. There's a lot of uh, like unspoken sort of. <laughs> Uh, like issues that nobody wants to talk about. It's like yeah. it's almost like the Trayvon Martin Zimmerman case, but it's with <laughs> French and English and what language uh, uh, to use. Oh, and, really? Yeah. So it's like I feel people. It's like not everyone, but some people are like divided. Like yeah, divided, and they're so afraid of. They're so polite, and they're yeah. so afraid of offending anyone. Um, but there's never any honesty happening, and, and it's just a fucking weird little... Vibe. Wow, that's going on? Yeah, they're trying to get rid of English up here, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's a little weird. Yeah. Right? Is that but true? But it's cool, you know. These guys know. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's like nobody likes to talk about it. You yeah. really want the English out of And then it's all. like... how so you own the Trayvon Martin case. That's nothing compared to what we got in the States as far as that yeah, whole yeah. division thing. Oh, wow, they don't want to speak English. Right, but here, Ooh. but in the United States, people are a little more like... If they disagree with you, they might just like yell at you and, and say you're an idiot. Where or here, they're like n nobody's saying anything. No one says it's just, anything. It's just like a weird energy. I didn't yeah. Know that. Well, how it's ingrained like... in this culture are you? I mean, it's like you might have just <laughs> you like you have. You know, how been, many of these discussions been, have I've, you been in? I've been, I've, walked, I've been here coffee. four days and I've just learned a lot. Martin. I'm just I'm very perceptive. Just taking it all in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I started a website and hopefully it won't get me uh, banned from every comedy club. But I'm starting a website. To try to and do it in a friendly way, uh, to, uh, to dis, you know, to discuss it, but not making anyone the enemy. But I want to try to get rid of, and I think every comic hates it. Uh, I want to get rid of the check spot, the check drop, the dropping of the check oh, during the show. Okay. Yeah, and I show. just I just launched a uh, free shows for everyone. No, 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 no. But I'm <laughs> saying, you know, dropping the checks during a show the yeah. worst while comedy guys. comedians are performing. Sure. All, co comedians hate it. Audiences hate it. At the end of the night, uh, yeah. or, or the comic is still on stage, and yeah. you see the waiters and waitresses come by and start handing out the checks, and then people start. Chattering about, about the, the check, yeah. and, and they're grabbing money, and it really distracts from right. the, the and guy. And you can't, and you can't blame the audience because no. they're getting the bill. It's dark. They're watching the yes. show. They're trying to watch the show. They're trying to pay their bills. And it's a massive disruption that lasts anywhere from five to thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> imagine if, no, but seriously, but if, if imagine if you're, you're going to the movies. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's like going to the movies, and uh, with twenty minutes left in the movie, all of a sudden all the ushers come out and uh, they're just giving you your checks and making you pay your bills right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. And like, what? Well, I'm, I'm trying to watch. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so what do you suggest? The, the website is okay. well. There's a few comedy clubs I know of in the country. I know. Who the, don't uh, do that. The stress factory doesn't yeah, do it. Stress factory. They wait. The stress factory does not do it. Uh, 
the uh, Comedy Cellar does not drop checks, and they do four shows every Friday and Saturday, and they still clear the room out and turn around in time for yep. the next show. It's amazing. The but the, you know, the stand does not do it. Yeah. Um, the uh, the Laugh Factor in L.A. does it a different way. They make people just pay for everything they get as they go, and that's still much better than having a, a check spot. That's I good. Mean, I, I guess I, I guess after the show's the best. We've taken care of you know cancer, Alzheimer's, AIDS. This is a good cause that you jumped on. <laughs> real well, real, real think... relatable to the ordinary person. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we all know cancer and AIDS are uh, o overrated problems that the media <laughs> but, uh, you know, has you, said that is so bad. I, I, I like, so, I, anyways, the website's called Don't Drop the Checks During the Show dot org, and you can sign it. And it just went up an hour ago. So who had Dot com. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no. Why not just? I was, I was gonna go dot com, but I was trying to be all serious. Uh, Wait, so why not just org. drop the check spot dot com? Well, it's that also. It's that also. But I don't oh. like in L.A. Like comics don't call it uh, the check spot. Uh, they call it the check drop. So well, drop. And, and, and on and on the uh, on the road, a lot of uh, comics who just do the road because uh, like like in New York City, there's often one comic. Who only gets the spot while wow, the checks are dropped, and that's called the spot. Yeah, and that's called well, the check spot. But yeah. on the road, when most guys are headlining, they don't call it the check spot; they call it uh, getting the checks dropped or yeah, whatever. It stinks. Right, right. So that's why. Uh, but it's it's jo it's uh, dropthecheckspot.org well, also. It's and the mean, same website. Other than the other than the comedy cellar, every other club. That's the only way to break into the club. Is you're a new comic, and they say, "Well, you know what? You're new. We don't know who you are. Write some jokes about the checks. Yeah, go up. It's gonna be go hilarious. Up, yeah. Go up and hey, what do you people pay them that? Yeah. Yeah. Go up into your best <laughs> spot while nobody's paying attention to you, yeah. and you won't get in the club. So, you don't have to worry about and, it. and my thought is, is like, it's it's it, it reminds me of this whole Canadian French English thing where nobody's talking about it, and and comics don't talk about it to club owners because they fear they might get banned from it, and mm -hmm. and club owners they don't want to look like the bad guy. I'm not calling anyone the bad guy. I'm like, hey, look, let's just look at it and. You know, th there are some. You know, there's some great comedy clubs that don't drop the checks, and and they're doing fine, and their business is great. And right. I think it's something that can it's work. Like the muscular dystrophy no, telethon. Let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> give it a shot. Off. Let's go to the tote board. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, wow. Do you guys do you guys have yeah. a right material like for the check drop spot? Like I have, yeah, like, of course. Yeah, and like, I'm tired of fucking doing them. Yeah. So, like I like <laughs> yeah. long story jokes that people don't yeah. really have to pay attention to. Right. They can tune in every now and then. Right. Oh. Right. But it's annoying Call? that you have to like. Like yeah. any input on this call? Well, I agree because it ruins the show for the. I mean, there's so many things comedy clubs do to ruin the show for the fucking crowd. Never mind just for the comedian. Right, team. right. And it's like the person you actually came to see. Yeah. Thirty minutes into their forty-five minute hour set, that's when they fucking change the whole show every time. It's bizarre. Oh, it makes yeah. no sense. Because they and don't it, care about what the show. They just care. About, I mean, I understand them getting the money, but Vinny does at the Stress Factory fine. And again, you're right. The seller four shows a fucking weekend, and they pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, the other thing is, I think, you know, not having dropping checks during the show will make it uh, the comedian be able to do an even better show. Yeah, the audience far. will be happier, and a happier audience is going to lead to oh. more money. Wow. Repeat business. That's why he's exactly. the world champion, everybody. More money. There it is. And it's easier for a wait staff to get the bills paid what if a, they're not trying to whisper plea. to people during the show, and then they can... You know, when the show's over, the lights are up. It's easier easier to pay bills. I like stuff. yelling. Yeah. This check's outlandish. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you got to you got to get jokes for it. Like I'll yeah. say like like I'll say something like, "Look at this guy's going. Who ordered the tax? I didn't have yeah. the tax." <laughs> oh, it's oh, a good one. Oh yeah, every time gets yeah, you laugh. laugh. Yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Where was that guy from? What was that dialect? That was um, who was the tax? Yeah, that's kind <laughs> of like that an attack on the French Canadians. Yeah, no, I, I was kind of a French Jewish old man in New York, nice. <laughs> jack of all was? trades guy. I um, <laughs> I, had, I have something here that I was uh, playing around with. I don't know, I don't know if you could hear it, but what what what, what does this say? Let me see. Où puis-je utiliser une poignette sur votre visage? <laughs> oh, they, they, they it's killing. It. Yeah. You know, it's killing. It's killing. <laughs> do it again. Well, that's cool. Wait, do it again. Do it again. All right. Let, do me, it again. let me see. Où puis-je utiliser une poignette sur votre visage? See, I, 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 fucking bilingual. I was using that funny. last night because mm -hmm. it sounds like something that could be legit for someone that just doesn't understand the language. It, it's something to the effect of, "I need to go to the toilet on your face." <laughs> So if what I was going to ask somebody in the bathroom, what? What app is that? <laughs> it's, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, 
It's uh, I need to go to the blinds. Blinds. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a fun thing to just make. You know, you, you, you put little quotes down there that sound like, you know, I need directions in your asshole. So it's like, wait a minute. Oh. You know, he might need directions. Need He's not directions? trying to be offensive. Is there like, a wrong Whoa. turn there? You got any more? No. That was it. That um, was the, my that's favorite. That's killing. I mean, that was my favorite one. You need one. ten of those. Yeah. No, we need ten. I'll tell you what you want to do. do. now. I, I play it when the checks are dropping, apparently. <laughs> Judah's all behind no, that one. No, I, 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 I like this we app. We get it, you Judah. Yeah, no, I like, like your app. I like Why yeah, you not? Fun. Two questions. Why yeah. did you not finish the dating game? Yeah, we should. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we Kyle's right, the, man. The, the girls Kyle's producing the show today. I have my other production. Yeah. Take this second kid there that looks like a Marine. Yeah. And put him here with Joe DeRosa and make him fight. Ah, I <laughs> love the idea. Knives or fists? Fists. Uh, just do plastic knives. It'd be a fun little fight. <laughs> Crack. Plastic oh, knives hurt. Win. Plastic knives Those fight. <laughs> would hurt. Many a backyard barbecue. Yeah, me and my brother. Had some <laughs> knife fights. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you tie your wrists together with paper napkins. Yeah. Have a plastic <laughs> knife fight. It's great. Jimmy. Yeah, paper plate as a shield. There he is. Come on out, DeRosa. Yeah. Come on, there man. Is, everybody. Yeah. Joe DeRosa, everyone. Take it. Where are you going, Carl? Are you going up here? Nice. Carl's coming on the dais. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Take a seat there, Joe DeRosa. Uh, Hi, Joe. How you guys doing? You're back. Did you get a little banged up last night, Joe? Oh, you know, sometimes you fucking go after it a little hard. On a, on a I hear you. Thursday. Fuck. Uh, all I remember is, I don't know. I, the, uh, Sam, yeah, Sam was making fun of you. What was he? What Where's it? Sam? I, I heard the pre-show. Sam doesn't fucking drink. Yeah, Sam ran into Pussy. Joe, though. That's why it makes it good. Yeah. You guys should make, make DeRosa yeah. speaking in check spot tell the story. He was telling us about the bar, uh, bar mitzvah gig he did. Oh, oh wow. What's that? The bar mitzvah gig? You had a check spot at a bar mitzvah? I per Dude, that's <laughs> terrible. I performed at a bar mitzvah yeah. once. Uh, I didn't order the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, a comedy club in New York emailed me and they go, these, this lady's throwing a bar mitzvah for a kid. We showed him a bunch of comics. The kid really likes you. Oh, wow. The best. So come do it. Self-hating. He picks the Arab. <laughs> the Arab. <laughs> Jesus. I know, what, by the way, I know what you're all thinking. The money must have been great for you to accept this gig, Joe. And it was. It was uh, $200. Wow. Nice. Wow. <laughs> And uh, I, so I go in to do the gig. They, 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 it's not the, like this nightclub that they rented out for the day. And all these kids are, like, dancing to club music. They're, like, 13. They got, like, their first hard-ons. <laughs> and then they stop that. They're like, hey, guys, we know you feel like you're about to come for oh, the first man. time. Oh, man. And then they bring Joe DeRosa out. to a halt. Yeah, and bring Slouchy up on fucking stage. <laughs> and I go on stage. I'm bombing so – I'm trying to do crowd work with these kids, and I'm just fucking eating my ass. I don't know what oh, to talk about. Exactly. I, I swear – this is totally true. The uh, kid whose party was cuts through the crowd and walks up to me, right? and he walks right to the front of the stage, and he goes – he does that. <laughs> oh. And I lean down, and he goes – he leans in, and he goes – Stick to your material. Like that. Oh, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> wow. And then, yeah. And then I, so I keep bobbing some more. And then I walk off stage. I'm muttering under my breath like that bad show, these fucking assholes. Thing. <laughs> and I, again, I swear, this, 12, this other 12 year old kid walks up to me and he goes, Hey, buddy, you were funny. These kids are a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> holy shit. <laughs> well. Yeah, I swear to God, I swear to God. A little businessman. Uh, and yeah. I had my first, I, I, not my first, I had a girlfriend with me on, like, one of our first dates. Oh, man. I brought her oh. with me. Why like, would you gig? bring her to that a bar mitzvah crazy. gig? Yeah, yeah. Hey, no competition. We were, already, yeah. <laughs> we were already hanging out, and I was like, look, I got to go do this ridiculous gig. Oh, you, nice. you, you just come if you want so we don't have to stop hanging out. No, she out. didn't. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> And she came with me, and I'm like so fucking mortified. And I walk in the back, she's like doubled over laughing. She goes, I'm so fucking happy I came to this. <laughs> did you fuck her? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you she did? Was, okay. Yeah, she was like my girlfriend. She felt oh. fucked going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, that's fucking tragic. Well, what are you going to do, you know? Yeah, what are you yeah. gonna do, How do you think Joe? the poor 13-year-old bar mitzvah kid feels his, yeah. the most magical day of his life? Oh. And all of a sudden, there's a, a fucking slouch-shouldered man just <laughs> making no one laugh. The music stops. <laughs> 
He picked me. I don't know why. I don't know what that says about my stand-up either. That that kid picked me for bar mitzvah for yeah. his thing. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. What do you? By the way, I liked when I was sitting backstage. Colin, Colin made his little joke about me. I heard it. I heard it, and they got a nice laugh. Oh. And then you go. Uh -oh. You go. Joe DeRosa's here. I didn't even see him. We talked for five minutes over there. <laughs> I walked in. Did we? Yeah, I walked up to you. I go, how you doing? You go, ah, uh, hey, pal, yeah, I'm kind of hurting. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> I was a little hungover. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Joe. Who's that guy that was talking to me? Uh, it, was a, it was a rough night. What did you do last night? I went to the casino. What'd you do? You win, you lose. Yeah, you exactly. About it. I won, yeah. then I lost. Right. How much can you today? How much? I I started with two thousand. Yeah, I started with two thousand. I worked it up to That's uh, ten bar mitzvahs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, ten bar mitzvah is uh, what that was. I worked it up to twelve thousand. You worked it up to twelve, and then lost it. All of it. Yes. And then some. Even the original just... two. So you just went down to zero from 12. You didn't lose more past I, that I, original two. I lost the 2,000 that I came with, and I had 12 at one point. Fuck. And, um, yeah, then the shoe just turned. Yeah, but, you know, 2,000 to you, that's like couch cushion money. Me a bag of shells, Joe. It's, it's, <laughs> it's nothing. I don't, easy know. come, easy go. I had it, and I went with it, Norton. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I, you always walk away going like, oh, I should have left earlier. I should have walked away. Yeah, but, you know. and, and what? You yeah. came and stood next to me in the corner of that bar out there. No, I, I should have left with $12,000, gotten a better night's sleep, and come here full of piss and vinegar, ready to That's entertain. Right. Bright-eyed and bushy instead tail. Instead of not even realizing I had t spoken to you minutes earlier. <laughs> 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 a little rough there, Joe. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Could, uh, Sam, could you tell the story of running into Joe last night? It was actually Sex Bagel's story. It was. The Nagel? Where, where, where is Eric? Where is Eric? Eric's been hiding. I know. Get out of here. The whole the, time. He's got his face in a donut box. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, well, I thought it was a Kool Aid commercial just then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Good visual. Uh, e Rock came through the wall. Yeah, it pretty much came through the wall, yeah. E Rock, what's going on? I, I heard you and Sam talking about Joe DeRosa before our show. Uh, last night they had a big open bar thing here at the hotel, and as I'm walking around, I run into Joe, and he's just kind of doing this, feeling good, walking around the room, puts his arm around me, says hi, oh. puts his hand out, and goes, There's a lot of stank in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and then he wandered off. <laughs> Did you mean? Did you mean pussy? First of all, I said stink. First of all, uh, I didn't say stink. Yeah, of course I meant pussy, but I was joking. I wasn't all like. Right. I wasn't saying it like fucking Willie Ames on Charles in Charge. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it! Well, that reference was my word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but was there? Was there a lot of stink in the room, as you say? There was a, there was like a there was like five hot girls in front of us and I turned to Iraq e and I go ah there's a lot of stink in this room Iraq e but I said it like that like That's ironically not how he said it Thank it was you, ironic yeah. he, he meant it. it right how did he say it Iraq e he was doing that huggy bear kind of walk where he's just <laughs> grooving through the room oh my ah. God. that means you had a few Joe. We've all seen the, the I, stagger. I had, <laughs> We've all seen the stagger. I hadn't drank at that point. Oh, huh? He kept pointing out that it was an open bar five times. <laughs> you were wandering around. I, did you ever see a fat guy oh, clearly oh, wow. in search of a fucking deli tray at a party? <laughs> And there wasn't one. Oh no! The fucking look of sadness and loneliness on his face <laughs> that he couldn't find some kind of fucking salami product somewhere <laughs> being carried through that room. Oh. You ever see a so gay I put guy walking around, around the room pointing out to women so people don't think that he is? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Erod, e go for you! Go for you, Spider! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> Awkward. Joe, Holy Joe, shit. back to you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> your that's, turn. Uh, your turn. Yeah, that's Look, wow. Just because I want to suck some guy's dick doesn't mean I'm gay. <laughs> First of all, 
Uh, let me say that in my own defense. Oh, I know I was good. on here yesterday said I'd lick a guy's asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, oh, that guy's got tits, so, you know, it's not really that gay. Well, Bailey J, <laughs> of course. Yeah. The lovely Bailey J. Eric, I, I, you, you were wandering around. Was he alone? Was it Iraq of alone again? Of course he was alone. Iraq's like a lone wolf. Have you ever seen him in public <laughs> with around. somebody? No, no he I have never to... seen him anywhere with a partner. He likes being anywhere. alone. He's a loner. I was yeah. supposed to meet up with Roland, but then Roland just kind of wandered back to the room and passed out. So he'll, he'll do that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I'll just walk around by myself. Back yeah. on his pullout couch. Is he still on the pullout couch? Yeah. We, we haven't heard from Roland. Where is he? Yeah, Let's get him on. And we got to talk to Denny. Uh, I want to know if he's did Denny, a good radio uh, show. We'll get him on yeah, we'll from New York again. before we uh, wrap course, up here. Of course. Did Sam have a story he had to tell? No, I, was no, I, I guess it was an E-Rock story. Yeah. yeah. What, did you guys do anything last night after dinner? We went down to the bar for a little bit in the hotel and just said hello yeah. to people, but we were That was about it? Oh, okay. We had a radio show to wake up for. Yeah. That's weird. I know. Why would you do that? 6.40, I woke up. <laughs> like, oh, shit. And then you look at the alarm clock and you're trying to, is, am I like, do I have another hour to sleep or am I fucking insanely late? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was the, bad last night. Yeah? Did you, they didn't... kept saying, and everybody's like, you fucking casino, you can't drink at the tables or on the floor. They don't bring you drinks. They don't do... Fucking waiter bringing me Captain and Cokes at the table all night. So I don't know what the fuck anybody was talking about. Yeah. It was much too easy well, to they drink. Make, they could have said no. For a guy flushing money down right. the toilet. Maybe that's <laughs> it. Maybe the fact that I, I, I got three uh, captains and cokes that cost $12,000. Well, that's why. Keep bringing them. This asshole's going to bet it all. <laughs> yeah. I felt like, yeah, I got free drinks. Really? Did I? Yeah. I got, I got hustled so bad at a casino once. We were at the blackjack table, and we were, we were winning. We were, we were up. And um, this guy, the pit boss, comes over and he goes, "Hey, so uh, what do you do, buddy?" And I'm because I was like excited that I was actually winning money and being loud about it. Uh -huh. He comes over and he goes, "What do you do, buddy?" And I go, oh, "I'm a comedian." And he goes, "Really?" And he starts asking me all this questions. "Where do you play? The Where are you cooler. from?" Da, da, da. And he's doing all that shit, and I lost all my fucking money and yeah. then went down. And my friend goes, "You're a fucking idiot." Yep. Like that's what I didn't even know they actually was the did cooler. shit like that. Yeah, they fucking engage you in a little conversation. I thought the cooler just sits next to you, like in the William H. Macy movie. Oh, that's no. not magic. Got, yeah, it's not that's magic. It's not magic. They want to throw you off your game. They made They're it not look... mystical, magical <laughs> creatures like him. <laughs> we can't all be blessed. We can't all be blessed. <laughs> yes. You know Brad, Joe? I know Brad well. I know yeah. Brad well. We hung out the other night at the, uh, yeah. at the comedy work. Oh, God, another oh. note. Oh, and uh, another break we have to do. Yeah, I got a piss and yes. live read, so I'm oh, sorry. This is great. And then we got Jimmy Carr that's going to stop in. Uh, is he before. coming? Yeah, next. I don't get okay. to go anywhere. So, I don't know. We got Judah Freelander, Joe DeRosa, yes. Chris Stefano, Brad Williams, who's killing it as well. And Colin, Colin Quinn. Of course, Colin. I'm who's getting out of here. I'm going to break What? Why you wait? You're producing the show today. Why don't you wait for your friends? You didn't even finish the fucking dating game. The show's off on the rails. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna finish thirty. So what? We'll finish. You go to breakfast now. Why don't you wait for your friends to go to breakfast? Yeah. Wait for your friends. Yeah, you're, you're among friends, Ricky. I thought you were going on a date, Jim. I have to do press after this. Call. You see, girls, he's blowing you off, ladies. No, 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 I'm not. But I'm gonna have a later date. No, you can't do it after He's blowing show. you off, girls. Go home. I gotta do a radio show. Go home, girls. It's over. No, no, no. Don't listen. Let's go, girls. Don't listen to we're gonna get the conclusion to the dating game after yes. the break. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna and and Denny. Denny's gonna grade right. us on our fucking performance. Love Denny. From back in New York. Ah, he's so. terrific. All right, stick around. We're live in Montreal, the Just for Laughs Comedy Ooh. Festival. Live from the world's largest comedy festival, Just for Laughs Montreal. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. More. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Live from Just for Laughs Montreal. Wow. What a, what a time. We are having here in yeah. Montreal. Uh -huh. Montreal. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Let me see something. Hold on. Puis-je avoir des relations sexuelles avec moins de filles en âge ici? Puis-je avoir des relations sexuelles avec moins de filles en âge ici? This is the weirdest bit ever. I was asking if there's some. Um... Uh -huh. 
could have sex with underage girls here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Apparently, I have that in my phone, too. Gets great looks when you, I think I'm asking for Why food. is Bobby giving everyone yeah. the finger? You just sat Bobby down. Bobby is doing a preemptive strike. What he does doing? this now. He softens the beaches before uh, he comes he in saw. here. Yeah. Is that a fucking oh, fat I joke? <laughs> oh, I swear. That's what he saw. Okay, all right. Well, why are you giving the audience a, why are you giving you the finger? Because you usually soften the beaches, too, no. with nice little little fat jokes before you get <laughs> No, bigger. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to. Why, why are you because giving them the finger? that's what the kids want, Opie. They nah, want a, a little nah. rogue photo. Nah. It's Bob K. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The French one up all here. All right, fair oh, enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Crazy it's, Americans come up and take over the town. Yeah, fuck you, fuck man. Fuck you. F, F you. Uh, fuck, oh, this guy's oh, back. This crazy American. You got fucking Yassa fucking Arafat. What is it, Colin? Don't ask Colin for help. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was a double joke. I, I'm stupid and he's so fucking smart. Our, uh, Just give him the photo of the eye. That's all he wants. For two days, he's trying to get the scratch yeah. cornea. Well, he's the one picture. who fucked up my eye. Go ahead. You. Let's see. Ah, is it right, red? It's still fucked up. It's still... Oh, so, hey, oh man. Hey, what's up, Chris? <laughs> hey, what? Yeah, I thought you shrunk. <laughs> oh, shit. I made a joke. I'm sitting next to Chris for like a before and after picture. Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, well, that's your your head should be on his it. body. Because <laughs> 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 Chris has a small head. We though. got it. Yeah, we understand. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we, were, we, we, were, we were backstage at the Nasty Show, me, me and Bob Kelly, and we're all like talking smack at each other, and, and Robert just looks at me and goes, you can't talk shit with your legs dangling from the chair. Oh. <laughs> it was too cute. I know, yeah. yeah. They stick no, straight the famous, out. Yeah. When you were standing in front of me, I must put you on my lap. <laughs> right there. Yeah. yeah. I would have did that, mm. but it would kind of go. Well, he was cuddling with uh, Colin Quinn during the break, and everyone, yeah. got a, everyone got a nice photo op. Thank you, Colin. Yeah. Yeah. He, was, cool. he, he, he was giving me some nice fatherly advice. He was. Oh, no. I thought you were talking about Talia. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Chris Lee was cuddling with Colin. Oh, that would have been. Who's How about Chris Lee? Oh, sorry. Fuck <laughs> Jesus. Uh, wow. Jesus. You really just scar me. You know that? I'm gonna fucking kill you one day. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or his dad. I don't think the fight's gonna just be one way, cocksucker. <laughs> oh, oh so dude. dude. Bobby's no, gonna. The fight's gonna be one way. Nah. You're gonna hit him in the throat. He's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I love. I love that this worm talks about fights like he knows. He's talked himself out of so many fucking beatings. Uh, hey, wait a minute. I was just kidding. I know. Tattoos don't mean nothing. I'm not tough. You never had, I know how to back my way out of a room while talking shit. That's my thing. Oh, my God. How busy ever. Jeez. You wouldn't Fuck hit a guy you. with tits, would you? Huh? I said, uh, I, I said, you wouldn't hit a guy with tits, would you? He's implying, <laughs> Joe, that you're, that you're, that you're very wow. visible breasts. Joe, you're going to take that. You're going to take that. <laughs> he, can't, he can't hit me. If he hits me, it's a hate crime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the oh. audience, do a midget laugh. <laughs> Oh, Bobby's kicking his feet. Oh, that's adorable. I wouldn't fight you, Brad. I'd just pick you up and burp you. Yes. Over my shoulder. Oh, wow. Hey, Brad, let me ask blow, you. Blow. Have you ever been accidentally injured at a bris? Even the second camera guy loved that one. Yeah. Um, no, uh, no, but uh, la but last night I did get burned by a uh, cigarette that someone that, that someone was just like they're they're smoking and they just had oh, it down, down by, by their head. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like trying to do like wheels through the crowd and I got like a little burn on my neck. Like, <laughs> all right. Oh, right. Would anything make you laugh harder than watching him accidentally get burned in the eye by somebody's dangling cigarette? <laughs> no, if it was unless it was on the side of a building and he fell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, I'm wow. Kidding. It's early. I just woke up. Well, yeah. well, plus he knows if if midgets fall from a high distance and hit the ground, we just explode into skittles anyway. <laughs> 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 They are magical. <laughs> Jesus. That joke was mean, and it made me happy. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Skittles. I love Wad looking at his little Chucky shoes fucking dangling from the couch. <laughs> My name's Brad. What a play. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so humiliating when I have to go shop for clothes because I, like, I was like watching for the, I was like walking to the damn Foot Locker, all the nice Jordans and all, all there, and I got to go shop for the shoes that have Hello Kitty on the fucking Velcro. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. Yeah, little shoes. 
<laughs> chip. 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 Why'd you bring Chip to Montreal? <laughs> Give a fuck. Shut up. I hate Chip. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Weren't we gonna finish up the uh, dating sure, game? Yeah. Wait, I was and fucking ripping on him. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were yeah, you were great. Keep save, it up, save Chip. Some. Keep it up. Bobby, we got two girls that might want to have lunch with Jim Norton, and we've been kind of going back and forth with her all morning. Uh, uh, like here, here, like physically. Jimmy Carr yeah. not coming due to time confusions. All right. Time confusion. What's time confusion. It sounds like a movie on I sci-fi. Know, it's like Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah. That's the time, time confusion. confusion. That's the weird Canadian thing I've been talking about, where they don't give you a yes or a no. He's British. Ah, he's, oh. he, he's British. Oh. Like, like, like. Uh, <laughs> But they're not Canadian. Just, by the whole I, I, they have Canadian those things thing. like go on constantly. These you've seen a lot of miscommunications and lying, and, and it's just like just tell me the truth. You yeah. know, you're not going like, to come. You're not yeah. showing. Yeah. I was after a show. I was trying to get to another show, and the van wasn't there, so I was going to jump in the cab, and it's right on the sidewalk. And and the guy working at the festival was like, Oh no no no, don't get in that one. I'm like, Why? It's 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 right here. He's like, it, It's dangerous. I'm like, It's a red light, and there's no cars behind. And then he's like, Well. Go a, a block that way. There's the the hotel what where the there's a, a line of five cabs waiting. I'm like, is it illegal for me to? Because you know some cities have weird yeah, tax yeah, laws. You can, laws. Yeah, so, yeah. So yeah. so then right, By laws. Yeah. yeah. So then so then I go, is it illegal for me to go in the cab that's right here? He's like, well, it's a uh, it's proper etiquette to use the ones over there. I'm like, that's a block away. This one's right here. What is was it, his idea here? I'm like, is it now? illegal? He's like, well, you you might get a ticket. And so I'm like, dude, is it illegal? And I never got an answer. No one gives. And then I told that on answer. stage the other night. And then I went about this, you know, g g give me honesty, give me a yes or a no. And I'm talking to the crowd uh, at, at the show, and I was talking about the, I was going into a bit about the legalization of marijuana. I was like, is marijuana uh, legal here? And, there, and the woman in the front goes, well, it's decriminalized. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> Give me a it, fucking like, answer. Yeah, get, well, yes or no. That's like time confusion. Right. What the fuck they're does that very, mean? They're very, like, you know, yeah. you know English, French, it's, we don't that know. That could make sex very confusing. That might mean Are you consenting? Told, well, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What's going on with the pot up here, though? Wherever you walk, you smell pot. So yeah. they're, they're not like, They just don't arrest you for like pot anymore. Weed. Well, maybe. Wow, it's maybe decriminalized. Not. It's decriminalized. Can you smoke it? You, people are smoking in the street. Everywhere you smell it. So what? Hold on. A girl offered an what? answer. What? Oh. What was the young lady's answer? Hold on. Let's Sam. Let's Sam put his little One skinny of the, uh, spider uh, monkey on there. Look at, ew. Look at his arm. This is the Greek woman. <laughs> oh, Greek. Greg. can only arrest you for a certain amount. So yes. and if, you're, if you fucking I, I mule it up your ass, it's okay. <laughs> what? How much? I, I think it's over three grams. I'm not sure. So let's bring this to New York. What the fuck? Isn't it time? No kidding. Yeah. yeah. And you could buy <laughs> fucking shit right in the pharmacy. Yeah. Isn't it time? Codeine I mean, and yeah. you don't see products. Montreal uh, yeah. has the pot smell that New York had in the early 90s. Yeah. Because okay. yeah. Yeah. people used to smoke. It used to be much easier to right. like, legal to smoke. It smells yeah. good when you're walking around, man. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. seem like there's major problems, so let's bring this to New York. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, it's yeah. time. Yeah. Enough already. Well, it is legal in Vancouver, isn't it? I don't know. Ish. Why would I know? Ish. Ish. Same shit. It's just an answer. You say it. Say it. It's on to right. something. Dude, it's like, say it, <laughs> man. Say it. But don't they have, like, bars where you can smoke weed in Vancouver? We're talking about Montreal, though. But, I mean, what, I would think... Why were you about Vancouver? Yeah, let it go. Dude. <laughs> Let it go. But yeah. it, I was saying, if it's legal in one place, wouldn't it be legal in the other? Judah, Judah, I think Joe's got the check spot on this couch right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking pay your tab. Oh, fucking oh, wow. shit. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my website, uh, don't drop the checks during the show .org, it, it applies for all comics except Joe DeRosa. Actually. Ah. <laughs> They prefer. That's the that's the web address. That whole sentence. Yeah, yeah that exact whole sentence. <laughs> Why don't you shorten it? He's I'm, trying I'm to take care I'm of you. I'm not smart at marketing, Joe. I'm not. Don't drop checks. Dot org. Yeah. You're in and out. That's Three. the funny though. It was fucking long winded, Joe. Yeah, but then nobody remembers it. Yeah, Actually, but it's, he's fucking. No, he's it's Bobby, a real I, website. Bobby, I, was oh, really? trying, I was trying yeah. to be serious. Yeah, yeah right. Serious. No, okay, man. Sorry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jimmy, are we gonna get a date or what's what? that? What's going on with the date thing? We got fucking them both. No, Chip. <laughs> Not Chip. <laughs> we got <laughs> terrible. And he wonders why. Hey, where do you buy your fucking pants from, like the doll store or something? <laughs> the doll store. He wonders why it's hard to get a girl. It's fucking nine different characters. <laughs> yeah, you'll be dealing with this one in bed. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah. date yeah. all. You're the first adult I've ever liked. Oh. <laughs>
go fall. <laughs> what about Edgar? Is Edgar here today? Uh, oh, please. Edgar was trying to poke Anthony before. I know, yeah, constantly with his dumb little baby nails. I don't like that we have to fucking acknowledge these people like they're real. Thank you. What the Thank fuck you. is wrong with us? We're not... Just say no. You're right. There's Thank nothing you. wrong with acknowledging Valley Jim talking about meeting Brad. Who's Valley? Oh, Val <laughs> fucking Valley Jim. Please, Jim's. please. please. Like Valley I've never met all. Valley Jim. You don't want it's to. The most, uh, it's one of the most annoying characters. I think it's I the best him. character. It's terrible. I've heard it's the best character, too. Somebody actually came up to me in the street the other day. goes, why does he ever do fucking Valley Jim anymore? <laughs> 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 no one said that. No, I swear to God. Somebody really? Said that yeah, why wouldn't they? Do you not do it anymore? I do it occasionally. I spark. I, I sprinkle it in like a gift. You won't do it. Well, why don't you he do it? Doesn't you know, do, he doesn't Brad do it on from, demand. He Brad won't do it from, on demand. No. Brad is from Southern California. Oh, yeah? yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Valley Orange Jim? Oh, yeah. yeah? What do you... I can't think of nothing. <laughs> Brad, no, I want it to be Valley Jim. What are you, so like a dummy. Little, a little orange or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> Florida. That doesn't make any sense. Orange County. Chipper. What is what is uh what does Valley Jim do? Just just, just talk to the fucking accent. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> really. But there yeah. See, oh. His whole face is changing. Yeah. He gets ready. <laughs> no, I can't just do it on command. Oh. I can't do it. Well, it doesn't happen that way. It has to come. Yeah. Okay. And so it's an organic it's process. impression. So it's organic. Yeah. Thank you. It's, an organic it's like impression. Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Ted Sheckler, I don't do as much because he hurts my throat. I tried oh. to do Ted. Oh, what is this? A serious fucking... I know. It's in the, the actor's no studio all the time. Well, when somebody well, asks well, about a character... I like get James myself. Lipton in the audience. When I transform <laughs> myself into yeah. the character. I'm 42. I have a kid. I'm done. I'm out. <laughs> I would like to know. I'm doing James. all his characters on fucking James Lipton. I would love uh, to talk great. about that. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, can we speak with Chip? <laughs> yeah. If I could have a moment with Mr. James Lippers... James Lipton, what do you make? Fucking tea or something, cocksucker? <laughs> I'm fucking cracking up. <laughs> Your inspirations, Jim. You was a pimp. Did you ever beat a girl or something? <laughs> you ever knock a fucking tits off? <laughs> I'm feeling Edgar in the room. <laughs> right, Jim, Jim in 1979, Jim marks the anniversary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was that. fucking good. I was, it was good. Jim thought it was good. Yeah. In 1979, you ate your first cum. Tell us about that. Uh, it still wasn't funny when you got it. Oh, 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 my God. God, you are as grody as they come. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> I hate it. There he is. It's yeah. fucking, oh my it. God, don't you like I'm back home. <laughs> this, this wouldn't even have been funny in like 1980. Oh my God, going on. What Valley Girl? Yeah, I fucking love it so. You much. don't like Val You don't like Valley Jim? I hate it. It's, it's fucking. It's infuriating. Yeah. It's oh no, don't do it. <laughs> It's infuriating. Let's talk to the girls. Yeah, where are the beautiful girls? You can do this, Jimmy, or what? Lunch date. Lunch it's date. Time to pick. Which uh, one? We're running time out of radio. Well, we, we, da, 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 da. Uh, we have uh, time to make that decision. The yeah. lovely girl that might give you Greek anal sex. Mm -hmm. That's right. Which is uh, a wonderful thing. And then we have uh, Kelly. Yeah. From Toronto. From Toronto, who came here alone, flew here, and that's like a guaranteed fuck. Yeah. Because not necessarily. What? I think fan Kelly, of the show. Kelly's yeah, fan I think show. Kelly's here for business. HJ. Kelly's here for business, I think, right? For what? Why? Because she's an accountant. No. Oh. No. No. She's here for pleasure. She's here for your cat, kid. No. Oh. <laughs> it just uh, if she's willing to go this far just to see this show, she'd probably fuck someone from this show. I would think. <laughs> right? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Uh. So we got mm. some daddy issues over here. Yeah. That's me. Right. She is, <laughs> her father left when she was 19 years old. It's not bad. Just abandoned the family. <laughs> What's wrong with that? She was, he was her cheating out. on mom oh. <laughs> and stuff. It just shows this thing that she probably felt if I was good enough and right. my dad loved me, right. even if he was oh. miserable marriage, he would stay here with me. Please. So it's father rejection, <laughs> which, which my Why? dicks can sniff out like a, a pig smelling truffles. <laughs> <laughs> 
Except dirtier than the pig. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. 19, but you're that didn't happen until she was 19, is that what you said? Yeah. That's, a, that's come on, that's still you got Could it. you sit in a more effeminate manner? Uh, <laughs> Joe's, <laughs> fucking, uh, Joe's, oh, Joe's oh, legs are beautifully oh crossed. God, they really <laughs> are. Uh, yeah, so that there's there's a daddy issue there, which is pretty. It's a lot easier to fuck girls with daddy issues. Can they stand up? But so the Greek thing like? is really. Yeah, they were on the couch. They earlier, were very. They're both very lovely girls. Why don't we bring them up? Yeah, bring the girls. Bring them up. up. Let's get up here, ladies. Let's kick the midget off the couch. For oh a God! Oh, come on. I am kickable. Come right up here. Yeah, you gotta jump off the. <laughs> Careful you don't fucking die or something. Oh, God, Chip. I'm That's fucking really murdering funny. that cocksucker. Let's go. We got uh, a little white skirt, wow. which is good. Yeah. I like, I like the flip-flops. Hey, Brad, this girl's Very cute feet. Da, 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 da. Brad, come over here, sweetie. Got an interesting oh. set of pants on. Well, go sit with Uncle Bobby. Yeah, hop up here, kid. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, God, he popped up oh, on the couch. Yes, he like, did. Like a child. Yes, he did. Oh, man. Maybe I the just, lady should give us some uh, final thoughts, final things here. Right? Yeah, they anything both, else to add to the they, dating? They game? look extremely uncomfortable. They both have no, no they're, 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 they're cool. They're, they're fine. Both yeah. have nice feet. Can I ask you something? You, yeah. are, are you wearing panties? Yes, I am. Fuck! I thought I saw hair. This looks like the game. Of, <laughs> this looks like the Game of Thrones over here now. Oh, <laughs> 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 I didn't even think of anything. <laughs> it was but a, the game was a great setup, though. Just to catch you up, we, it was the most uninspired fucking dating game questions. None of us had anything. They were. You're right. We had nothing. Well, which, I didn't. I, I was the I, worst dating game ever. I happen to be very good at the dating game. Well, the, today we're not. All right. None of us were. Yeah. Really Jimmy, good. any uh, final questions, or the ladies want to say something? Something. Well, I could ask maybe if either one of them might have any type of a physical or sexual attraction for me that might m make a decision oh. easier. I would ask oh. if they had it for Chris first and then would, uh, find off no, because oh. where Chris, their standards are. I would never cock block Chris, but he does have a girlfriend. He's fucking gorgeous. Ah, cock blocked right there. I know. By saying he had a girlfriend. Absolutely. Hey, uh, so do you girls have any attraction to Jimmy? It's okay if you don't, but I just want to know. Like, I don't want to waste are you wearing, an hour. Are you wearing blue panties with white like, your, dots on it? Why are you looking up her skirt? Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> why wouldn't I? Hey, yes, she is. Do you like, have a I'm trying. Just, do you even have a repulsion that's an attraction? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd say as long as Chip doesn't come to lunch, we're good. Oh, yeah. oh, that How might about be if impossible. I come on lunch? <laughs> <laughs> that's not sexy, I'll Chip. fucking tug my pecker right on your meatloaf. <laughs> Chip is so smooth with the ladies. <laughs> and you, oh, oh, and the, Jesus. And the girl that never saw the show is looking at him like this. What, what, yeah, what yeah, the hell is that I don't get it. I don't get Chip it. Chip just comes out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Uh, have you have you ever just on a whim gone gone out with a guy that you just met like minutes before? Yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah. Both of you. Fucking Can I ask you a question to, to you? Uh, a couple of hooies. <laughs> They know. I know, right? Do you do you and the camera guys shop at the same store? Oh, oh they're both wearing a little scarf. Thing. Both wearing scarves. Not a horseshit French out Why are you this? wearing those scarves every day, man? Because of their throats. You look like the BTK. He's killer. pointing at the ceiling. He's gonna, he's gonna hang himself. <laughs> get cold with the rafters. You get cold. You look like the guy that tried to fuck Arnold on different strokes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Finally, finally, one of your thirty-year-old show references fucking pays off. Finally, yeah. I don't want my goddamn ancient references. <laughs> yeah. well, Joe, Joe, you look like Colonel Potter's roommate. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You had a Sandy Duncan yesterday. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well. You know what? What are you gonna do? It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> can I ask? Can I ask this girl a question? You could ask. She said something very interesting. Just then, oh. you said you have gone out with a guy like minutes after meeting him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you don't mind, if I ask, did, did it get physical in that immediate day? Punched her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. Did yeah. it, seriously? Did it no. get physical at all? It was just a friendly lunch kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it was. Hey, let's hang out. All right. Cool. Can I ask you a question? This is for both of you. Mm -hmm. If you're at a guy's house, you come back after dinner, not for sex, just to come back and maybe have a drink or an espresso. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> you get back and you go, hey, can I use the bathroom? You go into the bathroom and there's plastic all on the floor, neatly <laughs> placed. Would you, uh, A, sit down and continue to pee or shit? Mm -hmm. Or would you leave? Would that scare you to make you leave? Jesus. 
<laughs> what the fuck are you getting at? Like plastic just fuck? on the floor of yeah, the just toilet? Yeah, just on the floor. Or like, or no, on the floor. The it's bathroom, just on the floor. Like just on the floor. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Something's yeah. being set up. Don't yeah. just stare at it. Eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably wouldn't yeah. question it too you, much. You would question it at all. I don't yeah. know, but, but I also here's one other thing. He starts playing. Vagina. He starts playing Huey Lewis in the movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell you how great they it's are. Fucking sold. Nail right. gun to the back of your head. <laughs> Something like that. That says a lot about her. Would you leave? Oh, would... I might give it ten minutes. Yeah. Jesus. Ah, that says a lot about these girls. Jesus. They definitely have issues. Can you ask about the? Podcast? Kelly's a goer. I think Kelly's the goer in <laughs> yeah. this. But although, I don't know. Well, she, she's asking Kelly's about the plastic. The Jimmy, you want to tell her about the plastic, or? You know, I just, I just, I sometimes will lay, lay down plastic because one time I was walking into the bathroom, <laughs> and a girl was urinating. I didn't know she was urinating. I tripped and fell, and when she was trying to help me up, she kept urinating, and all of a sudden got all over me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I paid her three hundred dollars. <laughs> That was that was a Bob Kelly setup, an assist by Opie, oh, and a home amazing. run by fucking little Jimmy. Fuck yeah! That looked like a triple play, right? <laughs> Beautiful. A fucking dunk. Uh, well, I don't know. Just do, do, now, you don't have. You, you can be very honest. Do you, is there any attraction? Because if there's not an attraction, I respect it. If you if you, if you don't feel it. Seriously, you're asking this right now? Can you yes. How about a microphone? Yeah. No, you don't have to answer it. You can be honest. She's, She's nervous. Honest. Be She's honest. nervous. Yeah, you can say it. Yes. Oh, but I do what? think that yes, since Kelly, oi. I think that since Kelly drove in from all the way from Toronto, she flew. she's a bigger fan that she deserves it more. Oh, she's Trooper, pawning you off. Trooper. She's yeah. pawning you off. No, she's being nice. No, she's pawning. No, it's not. It's not exactly. that. Exactly. She's know? basically saying Kelly deserves chlamydia. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody. Now, if she was, Jimmy, if she was totally into you, she wouldn't even fucking, like, for a second try to say, nah, she probably is that's a bigger true. fan. No, that's true. No, that's not true. It's Canada. No. We're, we're very, we're played. Yeah, they're really nice. Oh, here. bullshit. That's, right. that's no, horse I, shit. That was a political no. move. I agree. Yes, I agree. I agree, too. That's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying. Jude, Jude, is, Jude is fucking proving yeah. himself right Jude, here. Yeah. Do you like Jimmy yeah. or not is what yeah. Jude yeah. wants to ask. I do. I do. Okay. I just feel bad because this is the first time I'm <laughs> not as bad as you to show and I don't... She's a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, but she oh didn't come. God, she didn't a little honesty, dude. That's around. all we're yeah. asking yeah. for. Honesty. A little fucking that was honesty. honesty. Yeah. Now she's I getting Jimmy. Yeah. Joe, get your dumb Jimmy's long hands excited, out of my face. She's going to go, well, I don't know. The ambivalence is making you on her now. Uh -huh. you Jimmy, did you think that was political? That, that was a pawn off of the other chick on to you? No. Cause she... Think of how you'd feel if the situation was reversed. There's two, you're, you and another guy and a hot chick or something. Well, a disgusting pig <laughs> uh, is sitting here. Is sitting here. <laughs> And, and she, if she was, if you were into the girl, you wouldn't try to pawn her off on the guy sitting next to you. In no, Canada, you would. No. Uh, yes. You know, but here's the difference. Uh, uh, no, you, she came with her friend, and uh, you know she doesn't want to just come in. She said, "Well, this girl's a big fan. I've never been to the show." Take and, the insult no, as you should. No. She doesn't like you. I, doesn't find you attractive. I think she does. I think she wants to stick her feet in my well, mouth. Well, what? The yeah. girl. Oh. Oh. The girl who's the big fan. What's your answer with your attraction? Oh. Attaboy, boy, Judah. Way to bring it home. Yeah. I said as long as it's not Chip. We're good. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's, a, that's an answer. Yeah. Yeah. So you think, you, think you find Jimmy attractive? I like Jimmy. And without oh, yeah. and without anything, Whoa. without saying anything, is there any possible inkling for a little romance? <laughs> Doesn't have to be sex. I, I just a little romance. And by romance we mean you coming. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, I can tell you, there's no chance of either of them coming. <laughs> and, and hang on one second. If you, if, hey, little guy, if you ever grab the mic like that again, I'm gonna push you off the couch. Oh. <laughs> he didn't. He no. He thought it was just turn it back. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance, little romance, maybe. Sure. Maybe, yeah, sure. So you have lunch and see how it goes. Right, yeah. but no, yeah. some girls are like, you know, no, so. I, there's no chance, just lunch and that. But you're open to, to anything. Yeah. She can said I, yes, but Corey said she could have locked it in. What are you doing? Can I ask a question to either Call? both of you, you and you? What's your favorite porn, uh, porno to watch? What what style of porn? Yeah, that's what I said. I this girl. Uh, what? Talking to the microphone. Yeah. I don't know. You don't watch porn? Not really. No. Okay, oh, hang on. Wow. Now, what's yours? I know. I have the same answer. Are I don't you, know. Oh, either. so you both you lie. I'm not yeah. both liars. Yeah. Unless you don't watch porn because no, you're too busy fucking. Far. We made it this That's far. That's a bad fucking <laughs> answer. Oh, so neither one of you likes it that much. What don't you like about it? Let me ask you both. What, what don't you like about it? 
Hmm. It's depersonalized. I never said I didn't like it. I just, it's like, I can't name you, like, titles or directions. No, no, no. What style, though? No, no, no what style. style like, I didn't ask you which Godfather you liked better. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> what, what style. Yeah, do you like, do you like, like lesbians, girl on girl? Do you like blow bang, bang, interracial? Yeah, she male. Cum shots. Up your ass. Hand jobs. <laughs> gin <laughs> fetishes. Hey, yeah. Hey, fucking sex. mom on mom. Mom, daughter. Daughter, son, mom. You guys are just Father, naming. son, mom. <laughs> Mormon. You guys are just naming everything that happens in every porto. Yeah, You're just like anal, no. cum, tits. They're all the categories shop. from every one of these sites you go yeah. to. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 yeah. But yeah, I know. have a question. What? Has either one of you I ever had a threesome? <laughs> oh, oh, is Jimmy trying the fucking ultimate score? Ooh. No, no, I know. Oh, I didn't think of that. How about a two and a half some? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. How about yeah. we, we use Brad as an extra penis? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a a three-footsome. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> yeah, how do yeah, you know how just know when Jimmy asks you to go get a foot long, he doesn't mean Brad. <laughs> oh, gosh. Have you ever had a threesome? It's a subway joke. Threesome? Uh, <laughs> that's a yes. That's a yes. Yeah. You don't have to think about well, it. Well, she's thinking Not intentionally, that. maybe? Whoa. What happened? But it's also Montreal, so that's not uncommon. Again, there. Judah. <laughs> yeah. Really? See yeah. what we yeah. fucking yeah. so yeah. Judah is, Judah is one of the most perceptive people I fucking know. That is, he hit this nail right on the head. Yeah, yeah. He did. I didn't even notice this. Yeah. It's like a conspiracy. It's, it's a form of PC stuff. But, yes. But not with specific words, but with just not an communication answer. in general. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. This is so. That's odd. why the transportation department stinks. They fucked up our rides this morning. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Again, they're After terrible. They say no, I'd yeah, be yeah. here. They're terrible. Uh, I would be here. In the festival's transportation department is horrendous. Uh, yeah. What about uh, you? Anything? Well, I'll try to answer directly. Yeah. I'm an accountant, so I'll let you guess what my answer is. No. Wow. Well, that doesn't mean no, though. Um, doesn't mean no. Mm -hmm. I have not. Really? That's a very tough one, choice. One plus one plus one. I think it's time. I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to put it in terminology. This is not necessarily <laughs> a, a good dating game. Maybe the audience might have an, an opinion on it. We could give them a vote because I, I think both are very beautiful. Why don't we oh, get yeah, the I vote, yeah. too? Yeah. yeah you well. think, oh, you think it's a bad idea? Huh? You should let us vote. Yeah, yeah. Only because it's hard to choose because I don't know either one of you. You're both hot. Shut you up. Gotta go, yeah, you, you gotta go. You gotta go. this Kelly. fucking thing out. Yeah. This is ridiculous. This is a big <laughs> It's a done deal already. You got yeah. it. You I know. know there's, a, there's a. There's, it's yeah. a girl that fucking flew in. Yeah, it's Even obvious. The other contestant you gotta go with Kelly. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. it's Kelly. It's, it's Kelly. Kelly. Quinn's don't be fucking silly. losing his mind. I love it. Look at him. Don't be silly, Jim. You weren't here for the question. The dating game was horrendous. And there was your answer right there when you Quinn just goes. Even the other contestant agrees. She went like this and got all like uh. blushy, and she was going. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, she's wearing a skirt. She had to take you 14 hours to untie that fucking oh crazy <laughs> pair of French pants. <laughs> You're gonna have to make three fucking... wishes before you get those. Yeah, pants. I dream a genie. Ah, Joey. Oh shit. <laughs> Strong. Oh, uh, oh unfortunately, somebody is coming to yeah. lunch. <laughs> what, are you living in a bottle of something? Oh, uh, it's time to choose. <laughs> we got to make Jimmy choose. <sighs> yeah. Jimmy, you, you got to choose. Jimmy, your choose. moment of decision is here and now. That's right. I like both. Um, I will have to go uh, with Kelly because, ah, because yes. she flew in and because I just don't know if the other girl likes yes. me. Yes, yes. But, exactly. Good choice, good choice. Flip that skirt up. And here's how I know I made the right choice. Both girls are clapping. Oh, God. <laughs> Kelly's, like, <laughs> Kelly's like, yes, and then she's like, yes, thank oh. God. I would have went with the other one. Yeah. Uh, I would have went with Jeannie Pants. Uh, I like her, too, but yeah, she's, she's dirtier. Uh, uh, I think so, too. Nah. And she's Greek, and Greek girls a lot of times have big vaginas, which I like. Uh, hey, Greek girls take it in the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, here's my yogurt sauce. Yeah. When you plow yeah. them in the ass, you shoot your goo. Yeah, fucking like Larry Hagman, with, but he's dead now. <laughs> fucking hate you. I hate you. Well, Kelly, you're our winner. You'll be whisked away to room 216. <laughs> where you'll have mediocre sex. And today's contest was sponsored by Valtrust. <laughs> and apologies.com. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we got a winner. How happy yeah, are you? Happy. Very cool. I'm very happy. 
Yeah. Why don't you go over and meet your? Oh, you go why don't you two give yeah, a little yeah. hug? Jim, come over and give a hug. Come on, a good give photo a op for everybody too. Who knows? You could be taking the first pictures of the yeah. uh, uh, the new Mr. and Mrs. Norton. That's right. How about that, huh? Yeah. A little marriage. Where, where do you guys go to lunch? You go to a nice Montreal restaurant. <laughs> there is a really nice one. It's called Berger King. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you're going to eat at the Y or something? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Wow. It's like the fucking paparazzi. Wow, look at this. Snapping pictures off. It's like fucking Jay-Z and Beyonce over here. Look at wow. That. Look at the way she's holding him, though. Like he's a fucking mannequin. <laughs> yeah. did, are we all going? Did you feel? You going, did you feel an aversion? Us? What was her body language like when you felt her? She's very she tense she's, up. She's, she's, no, she's sexy. Yeah. Is yeah. she sweaty? Yeah. You're sweating. Yeah. That's kind of sexy. Should we hug goodbye? Do you think we should hug goodbye? Because I feel. Like oh yeah, come over here, loser. Yeah. Tell. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, I would have went. With Here's her. the bad news: Genie since pants. you're not going to bang Jimmy, you have to fuck E Rock. We oh, forgot to tell God. you. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, oh! Whoa. I Look. noticed that, that little Whoa. small of the back uh, thing Jimmy did. I like, That's it. Smell your hand. <laughs> Is it good? Is it good? Mmm. <laughs> Are we all going to lunch with you guys, or is this like a private Does it smell thing? like George Stephanopoulos? <laughs> He's great. Well, I, He's great. we can't even do this now because we, ha we have a, uh, an interview, and then I have to do another radio show. It's going to have to be a little bit later in the afternoon. Wow. The afternoon. Well, you might get her number. Yeah. And I then a so. backup number, just in case she doesn't show up. You could take, see, and then you, later on you call her anyway. <laughs> see what happens there, Jimmy? You double dip into him. <laughs> Spread your goo around, you fucking faggy. <laughs> what fun. They were fun, though. It's, yes. It's, it's they were great. It's a show. Man. It's fucking the great. The whole crowd is fantastic. Mm -hmm. What I a think... great time we've had in uh, Montreal. Even though they're a bunch of dishonest fucks, uh, Judah, right? According to Judah Freelander. <laughs> let's, uh, let's hear for Judah Freelander. Thank yes, you, sir. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. And, of course, the great Bob Kelly. Bobby. Joe. Joe DeRosa. Joe DeRosa. Somebody took a picture with Joe's tat. It, I'm not kidding. He, but Joe had to well, put it's his the arm the tattoo now. And just yeah. show the tat. The ladder? Yeah, the, the ladder, ladder, the KKK, the kitty, right? the tit. The... All night last yeah. night at the party. All night. Let me yeah. see this tattoo. Let me of see course. This tattoo. Oh, yeah. just can't. And when people say that, do you walk in the room? <laughs> <laughs> get played, get played, boss. Let's hear for Brad Williams, who killed it today. I want to thank Jay Moore for turning us on to Brad Williams. Yes. And Chris. Great job, Brad. Great yes. job, Chris. Stefano, but how do you say your last name? Stefano, that's fine. Stefano, okay. Yeah. Chris Stefano killing it as well. And, of course, Colin Quinn, everyone. Colin, Colin. Quinn. Yeah. Oh. All right. I think that's it. And thank you to the audience. Uh, thank you to the guys that set up the, the broadcast in the corner. It was a perfect broadcast. Without a hitch, uh, the electronics, long. that never yeah. happens. Who, what company do you work for? Certainly isn't serious. Ah, oh, good. Man. See? Yeah. All concert. right. Thank you, Mr. And, Almost and looks like Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> and our, our staff, of course, doing a great job. Yes. Yeah. All right. We're, uh, we're Gary, out of here. A hand for Gary. He did a good ah. job. Ah. A hand for Gary. Oh, say hi. Yes, applaud the skin flint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went by sandwiches. Why are we applauding oh. him? Everything went off without a hitch at the broadcast. That's great. great. Yeah. Thank and the you, fans, everybody. of course. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank, you guys yeah. thank you, Montreal. Yeah. We're coming back to Montreal. Thanks. Yeah. We'll see you on the radio on uh, Tuesday, I guess, live. Tuesday yeah. morning. Tuesday back in New York live. So thank you, guys. No more reads. That's it. Oh, oh. The OP and Anthony Show is now over. This special live broadcast from Montreal's Just for Last Comedy Festival will repeat today at 3 p.m. Eastern and Pacific. The Ron and Fez Show is next. 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 On the OP and